All right, chat, we are live. How are we doing today? <sighs> okay, we're playing Shen Pao today. Uh, this will fry my brain, but not as bad as four hours of Lost Zone yesterday. Holy shit. That was... Those last couple of games, I actually... That was just... It was almost embarrassing, but it was more funny than it was embarrassing, right? So that kind of makes it okay. Uh, but definitely not my best gameplay ever. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be playing some Chin Pao today, and uh, it's going to be a good time. I want to get more familiar with this deck. It's not high on my radar for EYC, uh, as far as decks I want to play myself, but uh, I do think it's worth respecting. I, I do think I initially didn't give this deck enough credit. I do actually think it is pretty reasonably... Um, position for EUIC, right? Did you did you vote that POW is very hard on Twitter? Did, you mean, did I, did I say it was hard? I didn't say it was very hard, but Chin POW is, I mean, one of the harder decks. I, like, yeah, no, Chin POW is one of the harder decks to play. Uh, I mean, like, anyone could sit down and just the poll. I haven't seen the poll. Um, right? Playing Arc Armor is nice. Nice. Tried Zenith Ogre to help single prize matchups. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, we talked about this actually like a couple streams ago where um, basically we're trying to minimize the amount of bad starters in the deck because you're playing 70 HP Friggy, which actually might get cut, but we'll, we'll see. Um, you think you'll play the tourney? Well, I mean, it's starting literally right now, so uh, I, don't, I don't know if you could sign up. <laughs> Which one is? This is late night. I, I'm fairly certain the tournament was supposed to start a minute ago, so you're going to have to be the Flash. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Played in the list yesterday and helped me a lot against Nation Box. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, well, so what we were, what we were talking about is that you want to maximize... Um, let me turn on the music a little bit. Uh, you want to maximize your good starters, right? Uh, because playing both the Phrygia and the Iron Hands, right? If you start either of two, these two, your game uh, becomes a lot harder. So if you also have the... Um, if you also have the Kyogre, then it's even... Like, you have even more bad starters. So I think if you are playing the Kyogre, you have to play... You have to cut this and have to play three of these. Which I'm not I'm not ready to disrespect Lost Box like that. Uh, I do think... Um, I do think it has potential. I'm not ready to write off Kyogre yet, but so far I'm not favoring it. But I also haven't put that much time in the Chin Pao, right? I'm really just playing Chin Pao to have a better understanding of the deck so I can play better against it. It's not really uh, a deck I'm considering for EUIC, right? Um, at least not currently. Like, like, I don't know. Shit can change, right? We have about a week left. I, I have zero issues. Um changing decks right uh like between or like i guess i should say like day or a couple days before the tournament not that i'd recommend it but uh if i have to i will uh there is a delay on tournaments i think because we should be starting right now right so the tournament's about to start hmm interesting uh this is my other count no i'm, I'm i only know one davis so <laughs> Yeah, assuming it is the Davis who is typically active in chat, right? Um, link you, please, for the event. Oh, round one's up. Uh, I mean, I can send you the link afterwards, but uh, yeah. We are against Arc Vulpix Noivern. <sighs> chat, what's our Vulpix response? It's Iron Hands, right? We have, okay, we have a Vulpix response. We have a Noivern response. But this might get scuffed. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Yeah. Evening, 5 p.m. here. Yeah, it's 8. It's 5 p.m. for me too, right? <laughs> uh, just make sure. Yep. Ooh. We have to reload live real quick, so I'll just do that. You guys can sit here and stare at a blank screen. Isn't that fun? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> but it's bad. What is attack with the backs? And if I have to attack with the backs, I'll attack with the backs, right? The most important thing is that... Um... 
Or what? Do they play Vulpix? Or oh, the medical energy? I don't even know what medical energy does. Uh, they do play medical. Oh, is when you attach it, you heal 30, right? Okay. Oh, that makes sense. So we go, we would have to amp it because that's our only attacker, right? We go 120 into Vulpix. They go attach medical energy, hit us. Interesting. They also play two Turo, so they could like loop Vulpixes. Okay. And they play Lost City, so they could Lost City our Iron Hands. I think the key to this matchup for us is going to be, um, uh, what's it called? Is going to be trying to like get as much early aggression as possible, right? And then, um, and then like you know taking out their uh, their more wall Pokemon uh, afterwards, right? Okay, we're just waiting for our opponents to come back online here. Should be this is my point, right? Hold on, let me check. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let me check. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's a very hard matchup. I'm not. I'm not sold that it's a hard matchup. Um, it might be right, but I'm not going to make that claim until I've played it. Yeah, like there's definitely plenty of like plenty of ways we can cheese this. Um, I mean, especially if they only have one, like, they have to only have one Pokemon in play, right? Or else we just go boss crash, uh, boss prime catcher and just punch stuff with Jin Pao. Like, we can just punch stuff with Jin Pao if we have to. And the Noivern is only a 1 1. We can also kill all picks before it evolves. That's also an option, right? So it's really just about, um, our ways of optimizing our early aggression, right? It's going to have to be the line for us. <sighs> All right. We're going to get a mulligan. That's pretty good. That's a very good card to draw. Uh, we did choose first. Nope. Okay. We didn't. Okay. I didn't choose. I would have cho chosen first, though. <laughs> I would have definitely chosen first. Uh, of course, playing Chen Pao, you always go blind first, right? Well, it just doesn't blind, but I still go first. I'm playing against Arceus. Um, yeah. So I think. Let's see what they do here first, right? Before we lay out a game plan. But it's like... I mean, just by look at the hand, this hand looks good, right? Uh, we probably start by going Chills for Energies, then Nest Ball for Ninja. And then depending on what we hit off of the Ninja, we... Um, we Irida, right? And they pass. No energy. That's massive. Okay. Fridgy Top Deck's huge. Um, let's chills first. Okay, so they're not attacking us next turn. That is extremely important information. Uh, how many energy do they play? Is that 16 energy? Am I just miscounting? No, that's 16 energy and they whiffed. That's wild. Okay, um, love my RCS decks. Did we prize hands? No, it's in hand. Okay. Haha, uh, hands, hands. Yeah, kill me. Um, oh, we also have, wait, Cologne's just abilities, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just tripping balls. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we have what we need to have, so uh, this should be fine, right? We just grab the Greninja. Uh, because if we can avoid using the Arida, that would be really nice, just so we can guarantee the Arida for next turn, you know? Uh, heavy Ball, might as well slam it down. Yeah, nothing special in the prize cards here. Uh, we have this. And now what we could do is we could just play the Ultra Ball here. Grab, like, the Doof and pass. I think that would be fine. But I also, I think I want to play the Irida. Just so I can get another use of Irida next turn, right? Um, so I think the line is, like, Friggy Nest Ball? There's no reason for us to go for the second Friggy yet, right? So what do we go? No, we have the Ultra Ball for the backs. Uh, maybe Irida was a misplay. Hmm. Well, we're definitely grabbing Puffin. Or unless we just grab the cards now. We could grab... Actually, you know what? I don't hate that. Hold up. Um, we put those into hand. We go... Probably these two, right? The, uh, well, we don't need the Cologne. I'm going to keep the hands for now. Um... And then 
We're just going to grab the Bidoof here. And we might as well attach in case we get iono right? They got rid of, they, they Ultra Bolt and Iono, so I'm assuming they're trying to research next turn. Um, yeah, so the reason I'm doing this now, right, the reason I am uh, playing the Irida uh, prematurely, right, full like knowing full well that I will get railed by an Iono here, is namely, A, they got rid of an Iono, um, right? Uh, there's the arc, that's fine. Uh, but B, I'm trying to hit Prime Catcher next turn. Okay, there's a Judge, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm trying to Prime Catcher next turn, right? Uh, so if I have to Irida for my back setup, then I'm not Iridaing for Prime Catcher. So, was it risky? Yes. Was it worth it? I don't know. Well, uh, we got punished regardless. Uh, if it was the correct play or not, we will never know. Um... Sand is definitely not ideal. We have Poffin Thin... Um, shivery chills, and then we're probably just yeah. The choices were bad. I mean, yes, but no, right? I think the most important thing is that we launch an attack next turn, because I think they went attached to arc. If they went attached to arc, then if we kill arc, we win. Or they haven't attached yet. Okay, they haven't attached yet. They're going attached to Vulpix. Okay, that's correct on my opponent's end, but it's obviously not good for us, right? Um, a pass. Okay. Four card hand. They've already used Starburst. Air to top deck is huge. Um, okay. We're still going to dig for the deck here. Um, I'm not actually going to bench the hands yet. I probably should have played the Nest Ball, but that's whatever. Uh, instead, we're going to go Friggy Bidoof. I'm going to go Shivery Chills. Uh, hey, bro, what time does late night start? Late night starts at, uh, 17. This is round one. Yeah, it used to be 18, um, but time zones. It's because the U.S. has, uh, daylight saving times. So. Alright, what are we looking at here? Not a lot of options. Uh, we could just... You know what? Yeah, you know what? Actually, I think this is better. Let's damage the, uh, let's damage the, uh, Vulpix. Uh, yeah. I want to put pressure on this. Like, I don't actually think attacking the Arceus and killing the Arceus does us any good next turn. Yeah. They will stall you with two retreat Friggy? No, they will not. <laughs> no, they will not. Uh, not if they want to win anyway. If my opponent puts this in the active and doesn't announce an attack, I will win the game. Um, and I don't mind winning the game. <sighs> okay. Mm, let me do... I'm gonna update the score thingy. What late night is this? This is late night 179. Hold up, let me update that later. Um, all right, so what did my opponent do? They didn't do any, oh, do not click that button. Um, yeah, they really didn't do anything, okay. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna have to let them take a knockout here, but that's okay. Uh, that's within what we kind of expect, right? It's like, we're gonna go... We're gonna go chills. Ideally, this is where we kill the Arceus, right? Ideally, this is the turn the Arc dies. Um... Medical doesn't work as well? What do you mean it doesn't work? I mean, I haven't actually read the card. I think it just healed 30, right? When you attach this Pokemon from your hands, when your Pokemon heal 30... Yeah, well, maybe, no, we're fine, we're fine letting them take prize cards. Um, what isn't fine is the fact that I keep whiffing here. They have four card hands, they had a four, they, bleh. They have a four card hand, they did nothing, right? Um, the thing is, they're doing, they're doing damage. So as soon as they knock something out, we just come in and we smack them with hands, right? That's the idea here. We're fine giving our chin pal for that. That's not an issue. Uh, we're just trying to set up to get ready to hands, right? 
Let's see here. Um, you late regged? You can do that? I did not know that was a thing. I think we just hold this hand, right? Yeah, I think we do. This is just a pass. Taro? Oh, okay, that's fine. Sure. That's interesting. That's an interesting time to Taro. That's a very interesting time to Taro. We just win if we find lightning energy. Hello? How can I register? Dude, I don't know. I think just go to the tournament page. Go to Limitless Online. Find Late Night. And, um... And, I mean, if it lets you late, uh, late register, then I guess that's what we do, right? I think my opponent doesn't realize... Like, literally go to Limitless Online. Limitless TCG Online. I don't... I don't need... Uh, yeah, I don't need to send you a link for that. Or Mark Avillion has it. <laughs> Are we just going... Yeah, we're just going Conceal Cards here. Iono Retrieval. So we go... Ooh, okay, we're in some... Shin Pao sequencing stuff. Okay, no, that's fine. This is fine. We go... Two here. Then we go... Super Cold. One, two, three, one. Then we do... Superior. Because we want to keep Irida as an out uh for the vessel but if we have to we'll just um we'll just try to i don't into it right so these energies uh, don't really matter where they go right i'm just gonna toss them somewhere uh and we're gonna bib for four yeah i don't know why my opponent are out there yeah lightning energy is there yeah that's gg yeah i don't i don't know what my opponent was doing i'm gonna be real yeah I mean, I guess, like, if they have nothing else, then they lose to Iron Hands anyway, because then their board would literally just be Arceus, right? Um, and a board of just Arceus loses regardless. So, okay. Well, I guess we take those. Whew. All right, cool. Uh, well, we have some time to kill. Let me see. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I had no idea late registration existed. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let me show off the list I am playing. Uh, I say that as if I, this list hasn't been built on stream. Yeah. He trolled by killing Pal. Uh, what else can he do? Like, you, if they pass, the effect isn't there. The, like, the effect of Ulpix's attack is only on the turn you attack, right? So if they don't attack, they lose. If he doesn't punch Pow, I just kill the Ulpix. He has to, he has to punch Pow. Stall what? You can't stall anything. The, like, Vulpix, Vulpix is only immune when it attacks. If Vulpix doesn't attack, um, I literally can just kill it. So they have to attack. They're forced to attack. Yeah. But, no, but that's the... Th okay, so I think I think Turo was a misplay, right? Um, the, the problem is that even if my opponent uh, doesn't use the Turo there, I still go for the hands play, and their board is literally Arceus, no energy. They still lose the game, right? Like, whether or not they Turo doesn't actually change the fact that the game is lost. So, I don't think Turo was correct, but in my opponent's defense, there wasn't exactly a lot of, you know, situate, like, there wasn't anything they could really do regardless, right? Uh, thoughts on Kyogre? Uh, I talked about this a bit earlier, but I guess I'll go over it again. Uh, I like Kyogre on paper, I like the idea behind it. I'm not sold on the card, mainly because, um, Kyogre means you're playing three bad starters, right? Uh, the 70 HP fridge backs, the Iron Hands, and then the Kyogre, of course, right? Uh, which is just a lot. We ran some numbers on it, like, a couple streams ago. Like, what was the actual uh, statistics? And they, they, weren't, they weren't pretty if you run the Kyogre. I think if you run the Kyogre, you have to cut 70 HP Frigibax. 
Um, but I'm not ready to do that because I respect Bluffstone. Uh, and I also think, like, the main use case for Kyogre, at least to me, seems to be, like, against Ancient Box, which just isn't popular enough of a deck to really tech for. I do think, like, I do think Ancient Box is a very good deck, and after EUIC, there's a real, sh there's a real chance people have to tech for it, but going into EUIC and before EUIC, I just don't think that's worth it, right? Um... Theoretically, Belt Arceus decks should have a nice KO with Pow Hands. Judging on game. Eh, yes, but that requires them to find the first attack. And also have the first attack onto a Chin Pow, right? Which kind of just makes it a coin flip matchup at that point. And also, once you kill what they have, like, once you just kill the thing with the Belt on it, they can't kill a Chin Pow again. Unless you're playing, like, Tina. Yeah. Um, I want to play 70 HP Frigibax because I respect Sableye. Uh, I think Lost Zone decks are the best positioned going into EYC. So if I am playing Chin Pao, I don't think I am. But if I am, I want to have the best chance possible. You registered? All right, nice. Good job, man. Yeah, I did not know late registration existed. I'm going to be completely real with you guys. Yo, Cash is playing Arc Arm Rouge? Fuck it, let's look at the list. <laughs> okay, chat. I'm going to make a promise to you guys right now. Last time we played a tournament, I knocked Cash out of top cut and cash rate at my stream, okay? If I am knocked out of this tournament before cash, we raid cash, okay? Does that sound like a plan, guys? I think that's the plan. Also, gouging fire is really interesting for this deck. I'm not sold that as necessary, but I like that as an option. Um, this looks cool, though. This looks cool. Damage pump is kind of is kind of sick. Probably unnecessary, but a cool concept. Care for uh, V-Star? Um, I like Reggie V-Star right now, actually. Although, I don't know that I would play Reggie V-Star, um, with, uh, with Tina V-Star, right? I think we're playing Gigas, uh, if we're playing Gigas V-Star, we're just playing Gigas V-Star, and then, of course, Arc V-Star, right? Um, that's just my take, though. That's just my take. Alright, let me update, uh, the thing. Hold up. We are 1-0. It's not even on the screen, but it's whatever. <laughs> it will be when we go back to live, okay? Uh, let me... I should actually probably move it. Any second now. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the meta. Um, interesting. So Zard is the most played deck. That's not surprising. Followed by Shin Pao. That is surprising. Uh, mildly, I guess. Followed by Future Hands, Lost Box, and uh, Lugia. Interesting. Honestly, this is not an impossible top six most played deck to the UIC. Low key, I think this might actually be like a pretty respectable top six. Not in this order, but this is this is worth keeping in mind. Then there's stuff like Ancient Box. I really want to check out Lost Box, uh, or what's it called? Um, Sable's Art, I should say, uh, in a bit. But uh, yeah, Great Tusk. Uh, Lax, Arc Variant, Control, and then, yeah, a bunch of gimmicky stuff, right? Interesting. Uh, any updated thoughts on Arc Pidgeot? I like Arc Pidgeot, but not so much because I like Arc Pidgeot, just because I like Pidgeot, right? Um, yeah, I, um, I, I don't like Arc, but I do like Pidgeot. But I don't, it's not that I dislike Arc because I think it's bad in the format. It's because I have a personal vendetta against it. Uh, <laughs> you beat round Zard? Good. Round one Zard, we take it. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, I have a personal vendetta against Zark. How'd my game go? I won. Beat the, beat Art, Vul uh, Art Vulpix. Yeah, so let's take a look at these Zard lists, actually. A lot of Japanese players on this. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. What do we got? Well, so I, I heard, like, about a potential Sablesard renaissance. Um, so I'm pretty curious. Uh, so this is Sablesard Moon. This is just Eclipse. Um, which is interesting. I don't know how I like Eclipse right now. I'll be real. It's not a bad shout, though. Is this also... Are they all playing? Not quite. No, this isn't the same. It's close, but... How many rounds? Uh, let me check, actually. We're looking at... Oh, we have a phase two. Oh, fuck. We're going to be here all night. Okay. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh, we're looking at nine rounds, then five rounds, then top cut. 
Well, so nine nine rounds, uh, then the players with 19 or more match points, so that's six to one, uh, go into phase two. Okay. Shit, I did not realize we were going to be here for this long. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. I guess that's fine. Yeah, it's a, it's a long event. We're a lot of players, though, right? We have to be at least a, yeah, at least a couple hundred to have enough players for a day two. Well, a phase two, I should say. We're not, we're playing the tournament in one day, but, you know. All right, back to the, back to the Sables art lists, actually. Uh, are all the Japanese players playing with Moon? Because I'm less interested in that. Not that I don't see the vision, but I definitely care more if it's, like, a bit more unique. Um, yeah, they're all just on Sables Art and Moon. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Now, here's something interesting. So, I think this is what people are talking about, right? Interesting. Yeah. Late Night Day 2. Well, I mean, Late Night used to almost always have a Phase 2, right? Back in the, back in the glory days of online tournaments, uh, we always had Phase 2. Right? It was always nine rounds, then five rounds, then top cut. I remember um, I remember back in, like, when it was, like, chill series was a thing. I signed up for a chill series once during summer break because I didn't have to wake up for school, right? And chill series was uh, for North American players, right? It started, like, 6 p.m. Um, yeah, it started, like, 6 p.m. Um, uh, what's it called? American time, Eastern time, I think. Um, so it was like midnight for me, right? Uh, aren't I supposed to be on the missed rounds to be registered? I have no idea. Dude, I'm going to be real. I have zero clue how late registration works. Um, I think these are people who just actually missed the round, right? Who signed up before, or, or no, Piaz on here. It'll probably, it'll probably update. I don't know. Either way, back to the story, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so like I signed up and the tournament started like midnight for me, right? And then I made top four uh, at, at this one in particular, right? With uh, with Blaze Concero Aura. Actually, low key. How, wait, how much time do we have? Enough time. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, God, this is far back, right? Yeah, this is definitely far back. Here we go. Um. Was it? No, it was later. 16. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did with Blaze and Zero Aura. This deck was so cool. This deck was so much fun. It was kind of shit in hindsight, but it was really, really cool. Um, <laughs> but uh, I had to stay up until like 8 a.m. to finish the tournament. I, I think I was uh, I was knocked out in top four, right? Um, and really, like, in, realistically, I only lost top four because I was just so goddamn tired. Um, monsieur, I do not see French, dude. I do not know a word of French. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Figured out Lost Zone? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I played this. I probably should have won my top four game. Uh, but I, when I ID'd into Top Cut, um, I went to the bathroom, right? It was like 6, 7 a.m. at this point, right? And my parents had woken up and they looked at me and they're, and they're like, Christian, why are you, why are you awake so early? And I'm like... What do you mean early? <laughs> what do you mean early? <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, and then I had like morning coffee despite the, the lack of sleep, right? Uh, and then once I finished the tournament, I uh, I went to sleep, woke up, and then went bouldering. That was a good day. That was a pretty good day. Uh, but yeah, this deck was super fun. But I mean, that was how like Europe didn't really have that big online tournaments. But I mean, this was literally like. Nine rounds, followed by oh, I got the round one buy. I that that's crazy. I got a round one buy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, nine uh, nine rounds followed by five more rounds, and then top cut top cut is obviously best of three, right? Kentucky Fried Vegan Chicken. That chicken was not vegan, Emma. That chicken was not vegan. <laughs> the Dene sounds like a bad card nowadays. Nah, the Dene was broken. The Dene was broken. This card is so sick. Do not reprint it. Um, mainly because squawk, right? But like, imagine you could squawk, but not just on turn one. 
Um, that's what the Dene was. Which was kind of dope, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, this deck was just fun. This deck was just really fun. Alright, enough of uh, enough of that. I'm sure me and my fellow uh, COVID babies uh, <laughs> um, are done hearing about chill series and hexters and OG late nights, right? All the all that stuff. Yeah, but only from hand. But Nest Ball wasn't in format. We had Quick Ball. And Quick Ball put it to the hand. So really, it was just the same, right? How did round one go? Uh, we beat Arceus Vulpix. <sighs> Currently 1 0. Yep. All right, who are we waiting for? Who are we harassing? How many stall players we have here? Okay, not a stall player. Also not a stall player, although that is Gardevoir. And Lost Box. You know what? That is understandable. Squawk, you gotta use. Yeah, exactly. But you don't have to use the Dene turn one. You probably want to use the Dene turn one, but you don't have to, right? So, isn't Vulpix bad for you? Yeah, but we just smack him with Iron Hands. What can you play with old cards? What do you mean? Uh, I need I need a bit more context to that sentence. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's take a let's take a look at these actually. This was another hand sword, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I see the vision behind putting hands and rad sword in the same deck. It's interesting, but like I don't know why we're doing it. Oh my god, Shinpawa is played a lot today, and I'm playing it too. Yeah, I think Shinpawa is good. I'm not, I'm not sold on the deck, but I think I definitely underestimated it at first. This deck is better than I gave it credit for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean like, could we play with old cards? No, no, this is, this is like, the, the deck we were looking at earlier, that was a deck from 2021. That was just an old deck. Yeah. No, no, this tournament is, is, you know, standard post-rotation, right? I mean, whatever. Yeah, just the current normal standard format, right? With, uh, yeah, usual suspects. Analyzing lists of uh, soon-to-be O2 feels weird, man. <laughs> nah, trust. I just think it's interesting to look at, right? And it's definitely not because I have a bias to any deck with a Confi and a Radiant Charizard in it. That, that would be completely crazy if that was the case, right? I would never have a bias to that. Gardevoir, probably, yeah. Gardevoir is weird. Gardevoir is like an actual deck, but not an actual good deck, if that makes sense, right? Um, I don't think, like, I don't... Um, I don't think Gardevoir is good, but I do think it is viable, Right? Um, and I do think it's, like, somewhat worth respecting. Um, but, like, I don't know. It's just lost too much. I think it's too vulnerable. The vacuum single-handedly single -handedly kills that deck. What do you think is good? Uh, anything with a Comfy. Any, anything with a Comfy is good. Uh, Lugia is good. Ancient Box is good. Block Slacks is good. Um... Shen Pao and Future Hands are both all right. Zard is massively overhyped. Um, Great Tusk is bad. Arctina is pretty good. Everything else, yeah, I don't have an opinion on that yet. Pidge out Radzard, Comfy Radzard. Nah. <laughs> that doesn't count. Okay, let me correct myself. Anything with four Comfies, guys. Anything with four Comfies. Not the... The one comfy in my Great Tusk deck, okay? <laughs> yep. You think Arc Armors might be busted? I don't trust Arceus. I don't trust... Listen, Arc, like, Arc Armors could be the best deck ever. I don't, I don't trust Arc decks. They've, they've hurt me too much. They've hurt me way too much in the past. Just using uh, Bib and Arc, but you don't need it anymore. Yeah. I feel. <laughs> yeah. What about Lost and Gujo deck? I think Lost and Gujo is good. But I'm not like... I'm not sold on Gujo. I wanna, I wanna see... 
someone prove that Gudra is good before we see. Yeah, I was gonna say, since when was I a hater of Gudra, bro? Well, since when was I a Gudra hater? I mean, like, if we're talking about Gudra in general, I'm, I'm like, I'm among Gudra's number one ops, but that's because I, uh, I one tricked Reggie for like a while, right? And when you play Reggie's uh, in Silver Tempest format, then you're not really super uh, friendly to Gudra players, you know? Uh, <laughs> but I think Gudra's in a, in a pretty good uh, position. Project Arceus. All right, what architect do we have here? That's Tina. Bro, your name is... Um, your, your, your name is a bit misleading. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Let's... Um, Let's see what we can get here. I'm curious to try Zatsu as Pathro stuff. As Pathro has been weird. I haven't played as Pathro yet, but like that deck is seeing actual results that I think are worth thinking about, right? Um, do I think it's good? Probably not, but it's better than it was before rotation, right? Listen, a lot of a lot of things win online tournaments, Mooncake. A lot of a lot of things win uh win online tournament. That doesn't mean we need to respect it. Yeah. You're against a senior activate ultra instincts. <laughs> I bet. Okay, so we played a lot of Tina against Pal from the Tina perspective yesterday. So I'm pretty interested to see how this will go. Because I don't have, like, any matchup experience here. I'm gonna be real. My only matchup experience in this matchup is, like, the two games we played from Tina's perspective yesterday. That's it. That's all I have. Um, so, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I'm just waiting for my opponent to come back online. I'm Justin Wong when partying a kid. Bro, calm down. Dom town, bro. Yeah, I know Mortal Kombat. <laughs> well, wasn't wasn't Justin Wong a Tekken player? No, not Tekken. Street Fighter, right? Or was he just playing everything? About to say, I think Wong was um was a Street Fighter 2 player, right? I don't know. I don't know, chat. I'm gonna be real with you. Can I... Yeah, we did stream MK at some point. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. I feel like a lot of, uh, a lot of fighting game players just kind of dabble, right? Which means makes sense. Uh... Are they online? Okay, uh, should be on any second now. Just reaching out to my opponent. Okay, cool. Uh, what's the difference between Street Fighter and Tekken? I'm gonna be real with you, man. I have, n I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Um... Shin Pao's strongest warrior here to make sure that you hit all your supporters on focus stop. <laughs> no, Chris, don't do it. Don't do it, Chris. Oh, that's right. Tekken is 3D. I forgot. I forgot. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to be I'm going to be real. I really don't know that much about fighting games outside of Smash Bros. And according to some people, Smash Bros isn't a fighting game because platform fighters aren't fighters, which honestly kind of based. <laughs> Kind of based. <sighs> Isn't Pal's strongest warrior, um, Jared Grimes? Probably. Listen, Chin Pal has a lot of strong warriors, okay? There are some, there are some very dedicated people to this deck. Guys, maybe, maybe Chin Pal players just have their own cults. Maybe that's what's going on. Mason, how we doing? 
Okay, they start at leaves. I am super okay with that. Um, our hand is not great. I am not gonna lie. Uh, this hand is not exactly ideal. Uh, <laughs> we might need a top deck here. Hmm. <sighs> they lost on water. Okay. That's reasonable. Oh, they do play three. Countercatcher gone. That's a one of. Okay, that's worth keeping track of. That's a pretty good top deck. Um. Could certainly be better, but could certainly also be worse. Uh, so I think what we're doing here is we're going Ultra Ball. It's one of these two. I kind of want to say Recycler. Mm, yeah. And we just have to grab the Fridgy. Oh, I'd love to be playing Lumen right now. There's just no way this deck plays Lumen, right? There's zero chance this deck plays Lumen. Yeah, this just has to be a pass. Oh, my chair is, my chair is super squeaky. Yeah. This chair is really old. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's holding itself together, right? So... <laughs> But it's because I, I can't really... I'm not really that good at sitting still. So when I get move my legs, you can typically hear it with the chair, right? Um, Alright, who just dropped the fucking... Yeah, Chris, I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not reading all that, bro. I ain't reading all that, bro. <laughs> yeah. Your chair's leather is coming off? I feel that. Dude, gaming chairs are expensive. You know? Like, I'm not just gonna... Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna replace it unless I absolutely have to. On a scale from one to ten, how hard is Chinpao to play perfectly? Like an eight or a ten, an eight or a nine probably. Um, I don't know. I think oh that's okay. Um, yeah, I think Chin Pao, Like if everything is you know going perfectly for you, Chin Pao is really easy to play. But if everything is if you're drawing, like, shit, like, not this shit, right? But, like, just drawing awkwardly, the, the deck becomes super difficult to play. Um, Low-key, do I even kill this Cram? I don't actually think I kill Cram. Because I need, yeah, I need to make it as hard for them as possible to get the knockout, right? And realistically, my prize map is just 2-2 two -two with either, like, Hands or Greninja. And then two, and then two, right? So killing the cram doesn't actually achieve anything. But I also need to take a prize card. Let me switch for the down. I'm gonna make the call and pass the turn. I don't know if this is correct. I genuinely do not think, I do not know if this is correct, but I think it is, regardless of what happens here, um, I need my opponent to whiff, and I think if I pass, they have a higher chance of whiffing. Okay, they had Jet. That's unfortunate, right? But if we kill the Cram, what do we achieve? What do we What do we achieve by killing Cram? Nothing, really, right? Besides drawing a card. So, let's hope our opponent whiffs here. That's all we can do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's see what they're able to pull off here. They're at six, they're retreating. Hmm, there's the gate. So all we need to see is a switch here. I mean, if we top deck like Iono, that would be pretty much perfect, but uh, no, our odds aren't really, yeah. Well, so taking a prize card would double the odds, but it would also increase my opponent's odds of getting the knockout. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, they only had Prime Catcher as their switch. No, wait, what? 
No, wait. No, that doesn't wait. That bot that's boss. What? Why are we not why are we not just killing Chin Pao here? Oh, they don't have grass. Wait, where the fuck is their Where the fuck is their grass energies? Okay. Uh so they either no, but having all grass stuck in hand wouldn't make sense. Unless they were forced to jet, because that's the only way they can get cram out of active. In which case, not killing the cram literally just bailed us out of this game. They either prized how many how many grass are they playing? Four grass. There's no way they there's no way they prized free grass. There's no way they prized free grass. So they must have grass stuck in hand. That literally means that not killing cram is what's winning us the game here. Okay. Um we can't kill Tina. We can kill Leaves and get this prize trade going. Holy shit. Oh, we're so in it, chat. We, okay, we had to get lucky. There's no denying that. We, ne we, we never have a chance in this game if we're not lucky. And it paid off. Uh, we are also not using the rod here. Um, also, also, we are terrified of Sableye. But <laughs> there's nothing you can do about that, right? Yeah, they didn't Colrus, they just bossed. Let's see what they have here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Palpad, for, not Palpad, Poke Gear for boss. Poke Gear for whiff. Yikes. All right, we're still in this. We're still in this chat. No, there's another grass here. Okay, so they would have had Greninja to grass, Lasso to grass. Probably have a grass deck in hand and a grass in the prize cards. Sounds about right. So, yeah. Hmm. I just wrote a hands deck with Rock Crush based. All right, we're probably getting Sableye here, right? Or wait, hold up. Haha, -ha, they play free Psychic. Okay, so they have to get the Psychic from their discard pile uh, into their deck and then gate Sableye. Four Seal Stone will make that a lot easier. The top decks are crazy. Pokes up in the Rare Candy Ultra Ball Prime Catcher. We love to see it. All right, what we don't love to see, though, is that I'm probably about to get Sableye out of this game. Yeah. Did we rod yet? We haven't rod it yet. There's rod. I'm assuming we're going to see gate, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Listen, the comeback, the comeback was a little too good to be true, chat. It was a little too good to be true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like in, like, in all fairness, right, like, to my opponent... Um, not having the grass energy and then identifying, like, how crucial it is to spit on the Bexcalibur, uh, is well identified, right? So well identified on my opponent's end. We are kind of fucked here, though. Well, we have, okay, we have Nest Ball for Greninja, Earthen Vessel for Energy, plus, okay, I mean, we're kind of not completely out of it. But we do need to draw an Iono. Um, 70 HP Fridgy is about to be the only reason we're in this game. Let me chills first, because we have two outs to finding Pokemon, so we can wait with the Rod. Because I desperately want to find a supporter. Uh, so I'm actually going to thin. Yeah. Um... It's not exactly what I had in mind, but you know what? It could be worse. We need that. Bax isn't a bad shout. We could go second Bidoof. Second Bidoof. So we're going to set it up so that they can't kill double Friggy. So I think I like second Bidoof a lot here. I'm going to bench this. Artisan, Bidoof, Nest Ball, 
Fridgy. Um, I guess attach pow. It has to be a pass. Um, I think the issue though. Okay, I think I think we lose this game regardless, right? But we're gonna try because we might as well. Um, yeah, they're just gonna go lost mine. If they go 60-60, right? Uh, or they could go 50-70 here isn't a bad shout, but it looks like they're gonna go for this. That's fine as well. Anyway, like, the point is, if they take two prize cards, they go to one. Uh, what do we do here, right? Like, what do we, what do we actually do? Um, this, maybe we don't bench second Bidoof, but we don't bench second Bidoof, then we still lose to 10 on Greninja for them to Sableye. That's a good top deck. Um, because if we go kill Sable, right? If we go kill Sable, we get bonked by Tina. If we bonk the Tina, we get we lose to Sable. So what we have to somehow do. We don't have Prime Catcher, by the way. Um, without Prime Catcher, we have to go boss stall Greninja, take two prize cards with our Greninja. Um, yeah, it's best of one. We might as well try, right? Uh, <laughs> um, there's no harm in trying. Yeah, don't need to check that. I think we're just going attach, draw four. Not exactly what I had in mind. I should have shivery chilled first. I kind of forgot I hadn't used that. Oh, we did hit it. And now what? Um... Nothing in here, right? There's one. Uh, so we do. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna smack him with the ninja. I'm just gonna smack him with the ninja. Watch the regional champ diff. They have checkmate on board. <laughs> no amount of regional champ diff is gonna make me win against checkmate on board. Um, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the term checkmate, right? Although if, if we had, like, if they had taken one less prize card, we would have a real chance in this game. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, well. <sighs> yeah, I mean, honestly, considering how ass our start was, that low-key wasn't a bad attempt. Right? All things considered, that game could have gone a lot worse for us. And honestly, I kind of think I learned a lot. I learned a lot from that game. Specifically, like, what options we have when we, uh, don't have options. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go back to some meta breakdown. Because that, uh, that seems pretty fun right now. Um... Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, here's this. Alright. No point in looking at the 1-0s right now, because that's literally half the field, right? Uh, lost to Pow, that hit Prime Catcher plus two uh, superior off of Focus Stop. Yikes. Yeah, okay. I was about to judge you on your choice of 2-1 Friggy, and then it can't, yeah. That's the thing, right? Like, if we didn't play 70 HP Friggy, our odds of winning this game are not non-existent. They just don't exist anymore, right? Whenever I see Guardi, I cry. Why? Does Guardi have a high win rate? Guardi does have a high win rate. Ooh, that's scary. I don't, Guardi's just not the same deck, though. Like, if, if if Lost Vacuum becomes popular, Guardi falls off a cliff. Right? There's no way it doesn't. Ooh, also streaming, actually. Cash for streaming, I knew that. Only 15, King Heracross. Lori. Oh, Soda King streaming? Yo, I love bullying Swedish people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A goal to go 1 4? Is it? That checks, yeah. Golden Goat's kind of mid. So at first, I was I was pretty highly ranking Golden Goat just because I thought the deck had... I thought the Golden Goat was just better Chin Pao because it could do what Chin Pao was doing without having to B 
be vulnerable for you of Excalibur. But right now, there's very little reason to play Goldingo when you can simply just play Jin Bao, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, same with Bullying Swedes. Dude, I, I'm a huge fan of Bullying Swedes. Huge fan. Uh, what are win rates looking like? It's too early to like, really tell. Tina and Lugia have a count. Tina has a really bad win rate. Uh, others, not surprising. Ancient Box, people are not playing this deck correctly, so I'm not surprised. Um, Block Sox is high. Tina's low. Interesting. Let's take a look at some others. Let's see, what's, uh, let's see what people are playing. There's 202 at the top. Oh, these are drops. Okay. Uh, actually, I can also just, like, read chat real quick. What's going on in chat? What are we doing here? Uh, six, seven, noob question. Why are trekking shoes not a four of auto include in every deck for consistency? It's effectively like playing. Okay, that's actually a good question. Uh, basically, trekking shoes, think of trekking shoes as a filler card, right? Um, think of trekking shoes as a filler card. When you're playing trekking shoes, you're playing trekking shoes to find a different card, right? But, so, okay. Actually, there's a better way to explain that. If your deck wants to be playing less cards, Trekking Shoes is good. If your deck wants to be playing more cards, Trekking Shoes is bad, right? Because there are plenty of decks in the format who would love to play 70 cards, right? Um, great example, uh, anything with a Pidgeot, right? Anything with a Pidgeot would love that. Um, so while Trekking Shoes is consistency, right? There are better consistency cards that search stuff, right, for certain decks. Um... So if you want to play more cards in your deck, then there's no point in playing checking shoes. Whereas if you're trying, if you're playing an aggressive deck that just needs to go through the deck, you want to burn cards, you want to actively play less cards in your deck, especially if you can mill multiple cards of your own deck, right, with checking shoes, um, then you play it, right? Then you play as many as you can fit without compromising everything else. Uh, and that's really the trick, right? With checking shoes, you're trying to fit as many as possible without compromising the rest of the deck. And for a lot of decks, as many as possible is zero, right? So, all right, enough of that. Let's see what we have for others. This is literally just Lost Box without a save lie. That's kind of interesting, not sold on it. Um, what else we got? We've got, okay, what does this card do? <laughs> Uh, opponent's actual one is burned, and then they can't retreat. Uh, let's go to random card for your opponent's hand. Discard a, to discard a top card. Okay, so we're control. Kind of. Hmm. Okay. Over right here. Hmm, my bad. Pitchy control with a wiggly tough, and... What does Cloth X do? <laughs> If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's active Pokemon, discard an energy from the attacking Pokemon. That's interesting. Um, I guess it can take a hit against a couple things. So if you Penny Loop, that's actually kind of not a bad wall. 220 is just not that much. But I guess like Hero's Cape, Hero's Cape Penny Loop... If, they for, if they're forced to hit Cloth, they either hit the Cloth or they don't... Like, if they don't hit the Cloth, you're fine. If they hit the Cloth, you're also fine. Because you get some mill energies. I mean, I've seen worse ideas, right? We have Galade Box. 101 Incineroar line. I guess the Incineroar, like, doesn't, like, attack for, like, one energy, right? Effectively. Uh, or at least potentially. Probably not very good, but a fun concept. Um, it's for the Lugia matchup. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, please look at the arc list from David Zero. It's really weird. Like, what's going on? I'll check it out in a bit. I think, did we check all the others? There's one more other. This is just a... This is not just a Gardevoir deck. Oh, uh, we got Crisis Power. Okay. I don't really know what these, like, Gardevoir counter box decks are doing. I'm going to be real. I just, the concept doesn't seem very good to me. I'm not going to lie. Um, all right. We're locking, um, <laughs> I guess we're looking at Davis's deck, right? Um, now that we're here, 
Ooh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So I'm curious about what the Vulpix is for. I kind of get the idea of the hands. Besides that, it's just kind of Arc Armorers, right? Not a lot of supporters. That's kind of sketch. But I guess... Hmm. This looks cool. But probably inconsistent. Like, I see the vision here, right? I see the vision. I'm just not sure this is consistent enough. Yeah. Interesting. Alright, we might we might have to check on that later. See if it's um see if it see if it's actually good. Once we have uh, a couple more rounds haven't gone by, right? Alright, we're still waiting for a couple games here. Uh, what else do we want to look at, Chaz? Is there anything we want to look at? Decks we're curious about. Uh, what's down here? Some Maridon Believers. Just two Gudras, and they're not doing good. Interesting. Dialga, also not doing good. Hmm. Sandy Shocks isn't doing that much. I'm 2 0 with Era Leaves. Nice. Like in an Arc deck, or. Or what? Ancient Box. Cards. Less Fluttermanes. Less Fluttermanes is good. That plays Fluttermane. That plays a little less Fluttermane. That also plays Fluttermane. Flutter. I'm not gonna check all of these actually, can't be bothered. I think Fluttermane is ass. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, an arc, nice. Yeah, I think Arc's in a really good spot. Um going into uh UAC. I just don't want to play it myself, but that doesn't mean I can't acknowledge that it's a good deck, right? I'm cutting hammers? We were playing hammers? That's news to me. That was news to me, right? Hammers is, um... Hammers is interesting right now. Hammers is very interesting right now. I find Fluttermane to be a one-of. I... One footer main accomplishes nothing. Because if you put it down, they just go, um, they just go bundle. If you play, like, Flutter main is just the worst ancient, like, there's just the worst ancient card you can play. Because it doesn't achieve anything, right? Yeah, with bundle. What do you think of my list? Uh, what are we playing? Lost Box? Or what? What name am I looking for? Lost Tina Go Berber. Arc Tina. Interesting. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, it's Arc Tina Pidgeot. Okay, I like that more. Um, Tutu. Guardi's good. Leeds is good. Temple's good. One Miss, one Jet. I'd like one more energy, but my own ener my own my own list is also playing this energy split. But I want I also want to find another energy in. Um... No, it's not my list. Not my list. But I like it like this, right? Well, so I play I play one one Tina, not two two Tina. Um. But I like uh. Uh, what's it called? I like, um, I like one more energy, and, I mean, really, that's it. That's all I can think of. Yeah. Then no heavy? I don't think we're ever finding space for heavy, right? An arc? Maybe not. I also, I play Palpad, and I play Turo. This, I mean, I like this list, though. Like, this list looks solid, Right? Like, it's more streamlined, but I think that's fine. I think that's completely fine. Um, I would, I mean, personally, I would probably cut 1-1 one, one Tina for, I don't know, um, Turo and an Energy, maybe? Uh, but I, I haven't I haven't really played that much Arc Pidgeot recently, so it's kind of, it's hard to tell, right? I'm not sold. 
Why Roxanne? Actually, we probably don't need Roxanne. Uh, Roxanne's just, like, better late game disruption, right? Um, you probably don't need Roxanne, though. So probably, actually, if we just go, like, if we just go back real quick. Um, we're probably doing... I mean, this is just what I would do, right? Um, I'm not exactly known for my RCS stuff, unless we're towning Clefkeys. That doesn't count, though. I'd probably cut 1-1 one, one Tina. Uh, cut Rocks. And then play plus one energy, plus one palpad, plus one Turo. Seems like seems like not a bad shout. Um, but I don't know, right? It's just an idea. That's Twitch. Um, all right, twenty seconds left before the next round. Who are we waiting for? Waiting for some Pidgey control and the block slacks. That seems reasonable to me. Isn't just Arctina, but switch Bib for Pidgeot? Well, yes, but no. I think if you're switching the Bib for Pidgeot, you get to spread yourself a bit thinner. Um, because the Pidgeot lets you... Um, the, the Pidgeot lets you play a lot more defensively, right? You get to play cards like Aerie. You get to play cards like Sharon's and, and Turo. And, like, Ar Arctina can play these cards, but those, like, they can't search it, right? Um... So as Arc Bird, you're less focused on smacking stuff with Tina all the time, uh, and more so on um, on playing like a bit more defense uh, defensively, a bit more disruptive, uh, and kind of like looping your arcs. Like it, like even just once is enough to win a game, but having the option to do it twice uh, can completely win a game for you, right? So give you fun that round free. I don't know. Do we want to do that? Let's. Not anyone in chat, I don't think. All right, what do we got here? We are looking at some Lost Box. Okay, uh, well, as long as we set up correctly, I'm liking this matchup pretty well. We get to amp stuff, and we get to Moonlight Shuriken shenanigans, right? It'll be a good time. Am I 1-1? One, one? Yeah, I'm 1-1. One, one. We, uh, we break the Tina, unfortunately. Ah, uh, Gengar Yax is weak to Fist Energy, about to be 3-0. Hey, don't jinx yourself, man. Don't jinx yourself. No, don't, um, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, good luck, everyone. Good luck. Everyone who's playing, that is. If you're not playing, well, I have, I hope you have the worst luck, actually. Um... <laughs> People usually play four rods? No, but I don't think four rods is bad. Playing four lets you, like, be a bit more lin um, lenient with them, right? You can kind of just, like, get rid of them as you please, which I don't hate. Right? <laughs> yeah, I like four rods. I'm not sold on it, right? Because I think you need to have the space, but still... Farad's the most optimal and more po most popular? I don't think it's the most popular. I don't think it's the most popular. Not last time I checked, anyway. It's probably good, though. I don't... I'm not playing four rod. I'm playing three rod. But I would not be opposed to playing uh, four. If the space arised, right? Alright. Uh, let's go here. And, well, my opponent hasn't checked in yet, so I'd prefer if my opponent showed up and we could play the game, right? Um, that would be, that would be nice. That would be, that would be preferred. Um, yeah, there's, what, almost, like, two and a half minutes left? Check in. Let's see how my pawns check in. <sighs> All right. How are we doing? I guess we'll see if we wait for my opponent to check in. Okay. Uh. 
going to refresh that, but I guess if that's not wanting to work. I have two minutes left for the round, uh, or before check-in ends. Here's the deck, for those who haven't seen it yet. I'm just going to like scroll down to back here for now. Because why not, right? Let you guys look at that. All right, probably has two minutes left. And I am refreshing the page just to make sure it isn't a, uh, a visual bug, right? I guess my opponent no-shows, we just play ladder, right? Probably. Hmm. <sighs> well, ideally they show up. If they don't, they don't, and there's nothing we can do about it, right? Although it is giving me less content, which is not fun. Because we're here for the content. Or I lose to Ancient Box, you play me? That is not what we're doing. That is not what we're doing. Don't do viewer games, unfortunately. Although once I, um... Once I get channel points sorted, we might actually have, like, a redemption for that. That would make sense, right? Uh, that would make, like, a lot of sense. I think, do you have to have, like, a certain follower count or whatever count uh, on Twitch to have, like, custom, um, custom channel point redemption stuff? Because I don't actually know, but, like, I was looking at it, and I, I didn't see anywhere where I could actually customize it. Maybe I'm just stupid. That's very possible. But um, yeah, I didn't. Um, I didn't see anywhere where I could customize it myself, and that's weird, right? Because I like to do custom ones like that. It's just more. It's more fun for everyone. And my opponent didn't check in. Okay, cool. We're uh, two one. Yay! Let's go. Okay, I guess we're playing ladder. Um, we'll ladder with something else, right? Let's ladder with. Uh, Fact, let's just go higher in hands, honestly. Also, low key. Um, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, low key, I kind of want to try. I kind of want to try the um, the iron boulder in the deck, just because there's so much iron hands on ladder that um, I think the idea of beating mirror is is kind of cool, right? Regional champ diff, bro, for real. They saw me on the pairings thing, they're like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that, I'm out. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Okay, um... What's my... What's my current list? I'm in a different list, but I forgot about it. So let me see. Um... Uh... What did I cut? What did we cut for that? Oh, we got the Mew. That's right. We got the Mew. Okay, sure. I guess we'll do that. We'll try that, right? I kind of... I really like the Mew in the deck, but it really hasn't done that much for me, so... And we're cutting the Gift for a Fighting, because there's just no way we get to cut a Lightning if we're trying to uh, hit Generators, you know? Surely not. Um... Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if we can just, like, grind out some easy ladder games here. Get some free elo. Playing, like, Lost Zone stuff is just definitely not optimal if you're trying to grind a ladder. Granted, like, the ladder should just be tested, like, should be treated as testing. Um, or the bare minimum to, like, get better at decks. So I'm not gonna, like, stop playing Lost Zone stuff on a ladder. But if you're trying to rank up fast, you should not be playing compu decks on the ladder. Just spam Iron Hands, like, and at the bare minimum, if you lose, you lose fast, and you just keep going, right? So. <sighs> What's Mooncake blinking? Oh, this is a channel point guide? Oh, dope. I'll have to read this later, obviously, but appreciate it. Realistically, I should have just done my own research. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but 
But it would be it would be more fun to have um to have custom stuff, right? I mean, I don't promise that it's going to be anything special or unique for that matter, but it's more fun than, I don't know, highlighting your message, right? Like, there's not enough active, um, there's not enough active chatters here to, like, I can't read what everyone's saying, right? At least right now, so. Using your channel points on, um, on highlighted messages and whatever else you can do just doesn't seem, doesn't seem fun, right? We don't, we want to do fun stuff. We want to have fun. That's what it's all about. Also, my opponent's missed sequencing. You're supposed to use Aroma before you use Great Ball, by the way. <sighs> Useless feature alert? For real. You just wasted 100 Reggie points. How can you just, how can you just waste Reggie points like that? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> oh shit! Now people are using okay. Because God forbid we held on to those for when you can actually do fun stuff, right? Hey, your loss, not mine. All right, how are we playing this? I do not want Boulder in this matchup. Uh, I know I just put it in here to test it, but we're not we're not using it right now. Uh, what we are using is. Do we ever dig for turn one hands here? Do we want to? Do we want to be funny about it, chat? Do we want to be funny about it? I think, I think I'm gonna do something completely unheard of, and that's uh, playing safe. Let's see how that goes. Actually, we base it off of our generator here, right? We go nest ball and we thin bundle. I guess seems reasonable. We thin bundle. We play Generator. We hit nothing, of course, right? Because why would we hit cards on that? You know, whatever. Fucking shit card. Uh, <laughs> we grab Booster Capsule and... We kind of don't have a draw for next turn. Low-key, I think we grab Pokegear. Yeah, I'm going to grab Pokegear for next turn. Let me go Energy, Booster... I'm just gonna kill them in Chino. Take a prize, right? Grab generator. I I will not. <laughs> what does this button do? <laughs> oh wait, I should grab the fighting. Ah, oh, miss sequence. Ah, oh, shit player. Damn. Grabbing the fighting would have increased my generator odds, chat. Holy shit, I'm washed. <laughs> yeah. But hey, Cora, how we doing? How we doing? All right, there's the V-Star. They already, I think they already put two chops here, right? Yeah. Collapsed. That's cringe. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, rip Chinchinos, I guess. That's fine. Chinchinos not, um, not that good in this matchup. I'm good. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm vibing. I had a no-show this round, so, uh, you know. <laughs> means we're grinding ladder. These guys said, by the way, you're supposed to use Aroma first, and now he's misplaying. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Because clearly, like, if you misplay, that means you're shit at the game. And if you play perfect, then you're just good, right? Like, there's no in-between. And it's definitely not as if good players can fuck up, right? Like, that, that'd just be impossible. Like, why why would why would that happen? I don't understand. <laughs> Currently waiting for your supervisor to finish his appointment so I can get my forms and stuff signed out. That sounds very adult. Why Aroma first? Uh, because Aroma doesn't give you a real choice. Great Ball can give you a choice, right? Um, and assuming Great Ball does give you a choice, you want to make that choice based off of what you grab on Aroma, right? But if you have, like, if you have, say, I don't know, Archeops and Lugia V, right? And you need both off of a, a Great Ball. You Great Ball first and you have Aroma in hand. You don't know which one to grab because which one you want depends on how your aroma flips, right? So, that is why. When do you misplay? Definitely can't happen. Trust. Yesterday, never heard of it. <laughs> Absolutely nothing happened yesterday, chat. 
Um, we gear here? Okay, well, I, mean, I guess I'll Iona a boss to the bottom. That's not terrible, I guess. We go attach this so we can arm press if we have to, and then we go Iona. Ideally, we hit generator and a couple of uh, iron crowns, so we just amp the active, go down to two. It's not quite what I had in mind, but it certainly could be worse. We go here, we grab a hands, so we have something to um so we have something to heavy baton to. And we just take the uh, the arm press knocked out here, right? Yeah. Alright, what are we doing here? Not collab and misplaying the Zard match the entire time. You're supposed to use Palkia, not Kalinko. <laughs> The Zard, the, the Palkia is pretty good against Zard, right? When you kind of decide how much damage they do. It's pretty okay. <laughs> yeah. Low-key, Bundle wouldn't have been a bad shout last turn. Um, maybe I should have used the Bundle. I kind of like getting the Lugia off the field, but like low-key, Bundle killed shops, go to four, might have been correct. Because then we go arm press the Lukia into ample one pressure for game. How many generators? One. I hit zero energy on it. What's the skill ceiling on this deck? The ceiling is not that high. But the floor is like in the fucking like the the skill floor for this deck is in the basement. Um <laughs> Yeah. It's it's a mixed bag, in my opinion. I think the deck is good, but I don't think the deck is great, right? Like the thing is, if your opponent if your opponent sets up slowly and you have a decent setup with turbo hands, you just win on the spot, right? Because every deck in the format loses if they don't respond to turn uh, turn two actions, basically, right? Um Like if you're playing Zard, right, and you have a slow start and you get you get um amped on turn two, right? Like, how do you win? You don't. You just don't win. Okay, uh, everything here dies to amp if I bundle. So, I will bundle. Uh, it seems like a reasonable conclusion. Pick your pick your offering. Give me the Chinchino, or the Minchino, right? Also, what do you think about Mew EX in this? Um, not just one Mew EX, but I do think Mew EX is good. I'm not currently playing it, but that's because I'm trying out the Iron Boulder. Um, yeah, so I do, I do think it's good. Um, I guess we go, well, actually, let's go Techno right over here. Or my opponent could scoop. You know what? They could also just scoop. They gave Chinchino. They have to give Chinchino. If they gave Archeops, they can't attack with Minchino anyway, or with Chinchino anyway, right? Yeah. Giving giving me Minchino there was correct, but they do lose regardless. You know? Complete one match without conceding. Damn, that's tough. On this platform, that's hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does it ever make sense to play Mold, Boulder, and Mew? Uh, if you find the space, I think Boulder and Mew sounds great. Um, but... I don't know if the space is there, right? 2 1, 1 against Guardian with Moon, we take those. I mean, I feel like you're playing, if you're playing Baby Moon, you just smack Guardi, right? Guardi, Guardi cannot be a single prize dark type just running over them. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go cause Supervisor Free, yay, time to get grilled because I'm bad doctor. <laughs> uh, good job, Cora, good job. Alright, see you around. So what are we doing here? We're looking at half the games are done. Yeah, we have plenty of time for the ladder game. Get my free elo, you know. <laughs> All right, comfy deck, yay! Yeah, dude, I like Turbo Hands is the ultimate. I want to farm ladder deck because your deck, you're just your games finish so fast right you either lose fast and you just go next or you win fast and you get to keep grinding elo right my opponent is retreating into a manaphy sick invite um <laughs> this hand isn't very good though that is a lot better um 
we have a Techno Raider as well, so we're probably going like hands. Uh, let's see here, probably like Crown Maridon. Now we're killing the Manaphy. We go attach lightning research, and then we hope we find, um, ew. Okay, what is a booster capsule, I guess? Um, yeah, this is just a pass here. That's unfortunate. One loss in kitchen getting a uh, Razor sponsor. <laughs> I'll talk to Razor about that one. I'd love that, though. You're not going to see me complaining. Hell yeah. I like Razor products. I went, I uh, I vibe with that. It's kind of just what I defaulted to using for the longest time. It's like Razor stuff. Not for any particular reason. It's just what I had as a kid, right? So, better see you in Orlando. I am not going to Orlando, unfortunately. I know I sound American, and I am American, but I do live in Europe. And uh, Florida is not that close to Europe. I don't know if you guys knew this, chat. I will be in Indianapolis, though, for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you chill with Colin. Dude, Colin, I love Colin. Damn, Chris, I know where you live. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, I live in the country of Denmark. And, like, it's so small that, like, surely you just find me, right? That's how that works. <laughs> Do you have British teeth? No. Why do I live in Europe? Because I'm European. I'm Danish. Dude, they count. They prime catchered my Maridon and spat on it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hit double. I'm gonna hit four energies on the generator now. Ooh, wait. Do we have. Yeah, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Um. Yeah. Leave the other shit. Chat, we always hit these. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. This deck is so bad. This deck is actually terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we might as well leave it. Ah. Yeah, let's leave, the, uh, let's leave the cram in the active. Why not? Um, okay, so we just don't play future booster capsule, I guess. Apparently. Um, what can we even do here? We can't do anything. We have to pass. But where are my future boosters? Or Arvin's for that sake. What's your score? Yeah, we're 2-1. Uh, we, I had a no-show round three, which is crazy, but I guess we take those, right? Hoopa. Okay, get that out of my face. You're not prime catching me again. Okay, we're just fitting. Cool. That's not the dream top deck. Uh, I think we go... Well, I guess we're in Crown Bundle then. And then we go Pokegear, Arvin, Holly, Yulia. Um, then we can go... Do we have Prime Catcher here? How much are we doing with Arm Press? We're doing... We are doing 220. Dope. Yeah. Give me this. Get that hoopa up here. I'm not going to let you just get away with that. I know here. And then... I'll hold both of these for now. And then just arm press. Yep. Yeah. Save baton? Yeah, I think we might as well, right? I mean, there's no reason to attach it. And we're not, like, if we're not going into Roxanne, we're not getting hand disrupted. So. Oh, how many Iron Hands is in the deck? Yeah, three. I think three and no Heavy Ball is where I'm at right now. Although, honestly, I cannot remember my own list. <laughs> Stall Hands if yes. <laughs> Jump Scare if yes. Nah. That's a good point, actually. That's actually kind of a good point. We don't want to attach because we want to be scared of a stall. 
like our hands getting stalled, right? That's why we hold the booster. That's not a bad shout. I'm not sure we're like ever attaching baton to hands anyway. Damn. Yo, Cash, thank you for the raid. How we doing? Cash, no, I promised Cash, I Cash, I promised my chat that if uh if you like or no, if I dropped before you did, then I'd raid you. But I can't raid you if you raided me first. Um Christian having a stat Flashbacks to Stuttgart. Yeah, but I was not I was I was on the other side of the table. Okay, that's the difference here, right? Oh, that's the difference. Cash, I was supposed to raid you this time. Come on. <laughs> we got the we got the order wrong, man. You raided me, now I raid you, right? Maybe <laughs> to the bunch. Damn it, man. You can't do that. You can't do me like that. Nah, I kid, thank you. And uh Welcome to you guys coming people coming from Cash's stream. Yep. Six cash collab when? Has there anything to collab on? I don't know. Breaking out focus hats? Don't do that. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea for everyone involved. <laughs> Ten matches left. And we've got a lot more oh like for the round. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. 1.30 a.m. Swiss rounds at 4 a.m. Yeah, that doesn't seem... That doesn't seem like a, a good idea. Can my opponent... There we go. Maybe they just AFK'd. Maybe they don't want to play against hands anymore. And honestly, you know what? That's kind of respectable. Because if they hoop in my iron hands or kill it in any way, besides... No, they can... They can win if they Roaring Moon my iron hands. Roaring Moon iron hands, they don't proc baton... Uh, so I have to hit generator, ha I have to hit generator for hands to win, if that's the line they go for. But they're not, they're currently not playing the game. Um, so I'm thinking we're just going to get an AFK win here. Oh, just Maridon? That is a good point. I can literally just Maridon. I forgot about that. Maridon is a card that exists. <laughs> Heard of her. Okay, can my opponent play the game now? Can my opponent play the game? I'd, I'd greatly appreciate if my opponent played the game. Okay, well. <sighs> um, sex question of a loving future, but also sometimes wish I had um, a two energy be attacker for four steel stone. Was considering Raikou or Raichu. Both use generated recycle energy. Uh, I don't think you play Raikou, but I don't hate the idea of playing Raichu because you you have a really easy time flooding your uh, your board with energy, and then you can bomb stuff with Raichu. I just don't think we ever have the space for Raichu. Um, although I don't, I okay, I don't hate the idea. I just don't think we have space, right? Yeah. No shot both late night and in the ladder? Dope, dude, for real. For real, dude. Alright, we got about three minutes left in the round with four games left, so let's uh let's cut over to this. Pull up the list we're playing for the actual tournament. We're playing some Shin Pao. I have no clue what I'm doing with this deck, but we're two ones. That could be that bad, right? Yeah. Right, you kind of sucks if you have to rely on guns. You mean you mean the generator? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I mean, like if your if your Iron Hand survives a hit and gets like punched by a Zard, right? It has four energy on it after amping something. You can go generator for one and then bonk with Raichu. That's kind of not a bad shout. I don't know. It's not a deck I've played a lot of. I'm gonna be real. It's not a deck I have that much experience with. But I have been enjoying it though. I probably wouldn't bring it to uh, to EUIC, but um, I think it's well positioned and it's easy to grab uh, to grind ladder points with. Uh, let's talk about some Chin Pao though. This deck has felt pretty good, all things considered. Um, yeah, I don't know that I have the experience I want to have with Chin Pao to bring it to EUIC, but it's not a bad show. 
<clears throat> Highlight measures should be timed out? Nah. I'll let people waste the points if they want to. Think deck's good, but no need for Raichu? That's probably fair. I probably doesn't need Raichu, right? We're just discussing uh, ideas here. Halucha, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Greatly appreciate it. We love to see it. Uh, what's up, dumbass? My Prime sub is finally working. Dope. <laughs> love to see it. What points, bro, for real? <laughs> <laughs> then we have a conflict bringing pow gonna be a good time regardless yeah for sure well you also have more more pow experience than i do right you get farmed by zard yeah well i'm not worried about the belt i am not worried about zard's belt i'm worried about um zard players bossing my back's caliber that's that's what i'm scared of um yeah it's less the need for raichu and more you wish i had forest seals to grab boss uh, that's a fair point I think at that point, just just play Iron Bundle. I think Iron Bundle probably probably just does the same thing but better, right? I don't know. I haven't really felt the need for Forest Steel Stone. In all honesty, although obviously if you play the Raichu, you play the Forest Steel Stone. Should go without saying. Yep. This is so bad. What the sunglasses on the Lapras Pog? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. The hell now the future deck? Yeah. No, the, the bundle is good. The bundle is should absolutely be played, in my opinion. So should the Mew. The list we were just playing doesn't play the Mew, but the deck probably should play Mew. Right? 900 points. Did that cost 900 points? <laughs> I don't I don't remember what the pricing's at. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, modify a single emote. Yeah, that's 900 Great, great use of your points, Mooncake. <laughs> I mean, hey, the e hey, listen, we have sick emotes here, okay? Like, don't don't sleep on the emotes in this uh, for this channel, okay? My channel emotes are dope. I really like them. I'm a big fan of how they turned out. Yeah, yeah, bundle is just a really good splashable card. I like um, I like the bundle a lot. We don't have Gamba? Bro, I do not know what Gamba is. <laughs> Davis, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Greatly appreciated. Alright. Get some Lapras Pog. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. Alright. Round should be going up soon. I'm assuming it's like a slow play call we have here, right? Would make sense. What about the rod? Do we need it? I like the rod a lot. Uh, so rod lets you recycle bundle, obviously, uh, but also it lets you put back energies for late game generator. Uh, and I kind of think late game is where you need the generators the most, especially if you're uh, if you're getting vacuumed, right? If you're getting vacuumed, um, yeah, then then I wanna. Then I want to have the rod so I can, like, pay generator. Oh, she's that a scam train? Yeah, honestly, dude, I do not know what Twitch hype trains are. I genuinely don't know what they are. It's just this thing that happens, and I just, like, let it happen. And then it runs out, and it goes, Oh, no, too bad, you missed the hype train. And I'm like, I don't even know what that is, man. <laughs> Let's gamble on your matches? Let's not. Let's not. All right. Backlash, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Oh shit! All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, we are against Eclipse, so this is gonna be an interesting matchup. Scam train Pog for real, bro. For real. All right. Uh, let me send my point of friend requests. Let you guys look at the list as I do so and reset live. Yeah, we can only get them from staying here for a really long time. For real. <laughs> Your first in standings? Nice, Clark. Love to see it. We love to see it. Three Roxanne? Yeah. Um Can't can't wait, uh can't wait for them to see uh the barrel. I'm versus the Gengar? Oh shit. <laughs> Gengar is interesting. Gengar is kinda interesting right now. It's probably not that good, but I mean it's probably not 
as bad as we're making it out to be either, right? Oh. Almost spilled. Didn't actually spill though. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go back to PTCG Live. Let's say PTCG O. Those glory days are over. <laughs> we don't have PTCG O anymore. Uh, so we'll be looking out for in this matchup. Probably just like late game save life shenanigans. If we can they probably always respond to the hands, right? But if we can early game uh, if we can early hands, we do absolutely try for early hands, right? Um but we'll see, right? We'll see what happens. Alright. <laughs> Lostina, what are you talking about? <laughs> you can talk about like what language they speak in Brazil? I think it's Portuguese. Think, don't know. <laughs> Uh, we are going first, absolutely. Let's see here. This is certainly not amazing. If we top deck an out to either Greninja or... God, I wish I was going second. Um, okay. Now we pray. <laughs> Now we pray, chat. They don't play bundle. They don't play bundle. Or, fr or Friggy is safe, okay? Friggy guy is safe. Um, don't think my opponent is doing very much, okay? I think we're fine. I think, I think we're fine. I What the hell did I just do? Um, I completely just shut off my brain. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that, okay. Uh, for those not paying attention, you're supposed to retreat your Bidoof before you evolve it, right? Um... <laughs> oh my god yeah don't don't even mention it okay i caught the misplay as i was doing it like i i moved my mouse and i'm like wait what the fuck am i doing and then it's it's too late um <laughs> okay we have the hands what are we doing here what are we trying to find uh probably just always candy chin pow right candy chin pow candy chin pow let's go candy chin pow um the only other thing we would do here is like candy, uh, uh, what's it called? The candy ninja, but I like candy Chen Pao a bit more here. Cause we get to go here, here. Uh, if they're doing nothing, we like, all we have to do is smack them twice anyway. So like, it really doesn't matter, but, uh, Greninja a good shout. We can go retreats, shivery chills. Grab two concealed one of them. What's my strat versus Gengar with Arc? Uh, yeah, because you can't really... Like, you kind of can't punch them. I mean, you, you can always punch them, but, like, should you punch them, you know? Um, I actually don't know what the line is. I'm not quite sure. I think I just hold this hand and we Pale Blade. I mean, like, we always build up our board assuming they're able to uh to play the game next turn right if they just pass we win obviously so yeah yeah your energies are gonna go bye bye i mean try to trinity nova but if not i mean if you have to trinity charge to get energies in play that's probably not a bad shout but yeah all right they have a comfy chat my, op <clears throat> my opponent is officially playing the game. And they immediately lost on the rod. Okay, that can't be great. <laughs> yeah. Got the charge? Alright, then we're then we're chilling. We're going back into the cram. Yeah, I am bossing that. Thou is to getting bossed. Um two. We have more in deck, so I'm gonna go concealed cards first first dope uh because i'm gonna go evolve i'm gonna go irida Bax. where's the candy there's the candy they don't play tm devo right no they don't okay uh candy Bax. we go 
Vessel, away Poffin. We probably retreat with the Lightning, actually. Um, so we go... Chill. We go Super Cold. Tuda Active. Lightning to Greninja. Prime Catcher Comfy. Retreat into this. Ultra Ball. Thin. I'm getting the hang of this, uh, this Chin Pao stuff, chat. I mean, my opponent's bricking, but, like, we're kind of, we're kind of chilling over here. Um, one energy to Greninja seems, actually, no, let's do one to Pow. Let's do one to Pow. Uh, and then draw one. Or maybe we use uh, Vessel to Thin there. That's too late, doesn't matter. We're not really digging for anything, right? Yeah, I don't know what my opponent does here, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you, chat. You have to battle playing pals, no one to thin, exactly. It's just, it's fundamental sequencing, right? It's the fundamentals of sequencing in Pokemon. Doesn't make it less important, though. All right, they lost zone and Artisan, and they're passing. Like the thing is, their win condition is just Roxanne Sableye, but we have double Babarel. They can't remove two Babarels in one turn, right? So I'm kind of thinking we just win. Um, would be my initial thought, you know. Miss turns it off. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're chilling. <laughs> Airy Devo TM incoming. Yeah, we're playing open deck list. I know my opponent isn't about to do that. Um, let's do this. This seems like a pretty good show. And then Hailblade. This keeps an energy as well in case we have to shivery chills after a, uh, a rock sand. Removing Comb Feature is the best thing we can do here, though, right? Being bench locked is a bit unfortunate. If we had, um, if we had just hands, we would have won. But at the same time, it just doesn't matter enough, right? Because if we're bench locked and we're just smacking them and they're not doing anything back to us, it doesn't matter that we're not handsing because we're winning anyway. Yep. Yeah. You know, or you think you know, it is open deck list. I know. <laughs> All right, we just grabbed a Sableye. Um, yeah, um, you're at you're at two in Lost Zone. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the Sableye is doing you any favors here. And now I have a Greninja target. We are playing Mana Feet, to be fair. If you're able to find the Mana Feet, it's going to require us to... Uh, to boss as well. We're retreating into Sable and passing. Yeah, that's yikes. That's, that's a yikes. Uh, let's start off with Shivery Chills. Get the one. Just, you know, slam it onto the, uh, to the Chin Pal. I'm gonna make the call to just Ultra Ball this. Uh, because I... I I don't think we're ever going to need to Greninja at any other point, right? Uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, Irida. Just for cards to thin, right? Um, low key. I kind of vibe with the pal pad grab here. Because what we do is we go... We go superior. And we go... Friggy Irida. Or my opponent could just scoop. You know what? That is understandable. Um, that is that is that is understandable. In all honesty, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna blame him for that. Okay. Well, we're three one. Um, I guess we take those. What am I looking for here? Um, here we go. 
Well, I guess we'll grind some more ladder with hands, right? I guess we'll grind some more ladder with hands. <laughs> Superior energy retrieval to pal pad is such a cheat. Nah, bro. It's broken. We get our two or Irid uh, Iridas back. So, like, okay, Roxanne me. Or, yeah, Roxanne me again. We're chilling. We're mad gaming. Uh, I'd love to go. Well, no, I'm playing hands. I was about to say. Uh, let's do... Let's do crown start. Three or four crown optimal? Four crown. 100% four crown. You want to you wanna have the option of... Um, of doing maximum damage, right? 100% four crown. Also means you're less vulnerable to... Uh, to... Um, prizing one, right? <sighs> All right, I have checked when to check. Uh, my opponent just hit many energies early. Why does my deck not do that? <laughs> my deck does not do what my opponent's deck just did. Uh, I promise you that, chat. I would never have hit heads on those generators. <laughs> Uh, that is not what I was looking for. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, I should def. Yeah, I should definitely use the. Uh, I should have definitely used Techno Raider before Poke uh, Poke Gear. That's a, a pretty obvious misplay, right? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, like maximizing amp damage is, is pretty important, right? This is the most expensive deck in the meta? Probably true. Although, like, Iron Crowns are going to drop in price, right? Like, this deck is, is expensive, but it's probably not going to cost more than $100. Which is still expensive by current day standards, but, like, back... <clears throat> Back in my day, um, shamans cost fifty bucks, and that shit sucked. Um, and every deck played two to three, so some even played four, right? So compared to like how it used to be, everything feels cheap right now. Crown is already inexpensive. Yeah, no hands. Hands should not be that expensive. They're twenty. Why is Iron Hands so expensive? For the basic ones? Since when? Since when were they that expensive? That's interesting. I feel like so much Paradox Rift has been opened, right? Like, the hands shouldn't be that expensive. Interesting. U.S. hands are nuts? That's odd. How much is crown? I don't know. It shouldn't be more than, like, 10, right? Which is, like, like 10 is expensive for, um... What's it called? For a, uh... For a basic EX, right? Like, just a normal rarity. That's expensive. Yeah. Well, if everyone's buying four... Well, why is everyone buying four hands? People shouldn't be playing, buying four iron hands. Right? Like not At least not everyone, right? Like, turbo hands isn't the second coming of Christ or anything, right? It's just another deck. So, if the USD was tomorrow, what am I rolling up with? That's a wonderful question. Probably something comfy or ancient box. Or Lugia. Actually, no. If it was tomorrow, I'd play Lugia. 
Um, but I'm really hoping I won't have to play Lugia for the actual event. All right, how are we doing this? Uh, we are boss stalling. That is our only win condition, right? Surely. Um, it's probably not getting us anywhere. We can go. Hmm. Boss. I guess we'll do this to set up for amp. We'll do these. See if this works. Might as well try, right? Yeah, of course, but people like going fast Unga Bunga deck. Why? <laughs> I don't think most people do, right? Uh, do you know your decks for Saturday? Uh, I think I do, but obviously I'm not going to say what I'm playing on a live broadcast, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't let... I think prices on hands and crown, especially crown, they're going to drop. They're, they're going to drop, right? Um, yeah. Damn, it almost works. Oh, the boss doll? Yeah. I'm listening. Might as well try, right? <clears throat> we might as well try. Man does not want to leak. Yeah, why the fuck would I leak? <laughs> like, why would I leak? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, pe people love them, but, like, moons aren't that expensive. Or at least comparatively, they're not expensive. Yeah. Yeah, $250 would be pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright. We got amped here. So, okay, we go... We go arm press kill active with vacuum. I think that's the line here. For that to happen, we need to, um, we need to research. Nope. We need the energy, but we can't find the energy in, uh, yeah. Are we even, we're not even arm pressing for enough damage. And my opponent isn't either, but, well, I just have three prize cards, hmm. Okay, nice whiff. Okay, this deck just hates me. <laughs> there is no other explanation. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll just arm press here. Like, as long as they don't amp my, my iron crowns, we kind of have a chance. Yeah. Yeah, no, Prime Catcher is also going to, like, drop off a cliff as far as price. I think 10-ish sounds fine for Prime Catcher. People are just straggling to find all the cards they need for, like, EYC in Orlando, you know? Uh, how far from an event do you pick your deck? What's the <clears throat> soonest before an event I'll switch? Um, okay, so what you should do depends on the person. What I do is I, I will just play whatever, like... The night before the tournament, I will find out what deck I think is the best play for the tournament, and that's what I'll play, right? Um, ideally, I find that out two weeks before the tournament, right? Uh, but last year at EUIC, I locked my deck Wednesday. The, no, no, I locked my deck Thursday. The tournament starts Friday, right? Like, um, so, I mean... I've had, I've had tournaments where I picked my deck three weeks in advance, and I've had tournaments where I picked my deck literally the night before, right? Um, so it really, it really just depends, right? Um, there's no, there's no clear, uh, no clear answer. Um... All right, so what are we doing here? I proc baton and lose to getting arm pressed because they have a booster capsule, right? 
So I just lose here. Because I have nothing in my hands. Uh, I only ever played one special button and got third. It was enough to get my invite for world, so we did two. Well, we take those, yeah. Where do you where do you play from? Uh Lost Tina. Because a top uh a top four getting your invite sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah. Future looks much more clunky than Moon. It is more clunky than Moon. Promise you that much. This deck is super clunky. Middle East? Okay, yeah. Middle East sounds weird to play tournaments in. Yep. Typically, you have yours picked two to four, uh, two to four weeks. That's fair. I think it kind of depends, right? Like, it depends on, like, who you are and, like, what you're trying to do, you know? <clears throat> also, yo, Jesse, thank you for the follow. How we doing? Specifically pointing you out because of Saturday. <laughs> All right. That's a mulligan. So pretty good. Yo, I'm chilling. Grinding some hands on ladder in between late night rounds. So, torture. No. <laughs> now nah, we're chilling. We're chilling. Uh, that is not an ideal starter. That is. Well. Probably depends. Oh, wait. We could have bouldered last game, right? I probably wouldn't have changed anything, though. But still. I mean, considering we didn't even. You know, we didn't get some ride on at any point. So. You used to play for Hong, uh, from Hong Kong and got your invite there. That's fair, yeah. That's understandable. Yeah. Okay. What was that? Double? No. One pop in, bench two pass. Sure. Um... I mean, surely we're always just going, uh, not that, these, right? And chilling? Uh, hmm. We want too many Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they're all 60, actually, so maybe I go a right on Crown Bundle Hands. No, that's not enough. That's not enough. Or do I have Booster? No, I don't have Booster. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I had the Booster to Boulder. Um, hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So this is probably always Generator, right? Just because I think I have the boss. Not Generator, Poke here. Not, I don't have the boss. What am I talking about? I have to research next turn. In that case, don't I just don't we just get rid of boss then? Let's try getting rid of boss. Let's see what happens. I'm not I'm not convinced this is correct, but I kind of think we might as well try, right? Um, I have to ask: Are you lying a lot? Because every four sentences you say, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> probably just a habit at this point, right? I tend to, uh, I tend to get in the habit of saying certain phrases and then spam it without, you know, noticing for, uh, for a couple months until a next, like a new phrase is, uh, is the thing my mind, uh, defaults to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, the younger played say, said, fuck me because of his prizes. Wait, what do you mean? The gamer player said, what? I don't know. If your, opponent, if your opponent's being rude to you, you can call it judge. But I don't know, like... I obviously don't know how rude, right? Like, I don't know what they're doing. You won, you don't care, then don't. Yeah, just don't bother. If you won, you won, right?
Mm. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as you're not like, like as not as long as you're not trying to tilt your opponent, right? Or like BMing in chat. Like, obviously, don't do that. All right, we're getting pouted here. That's fine. If we get the boulder off the board, we get to um, we get to hands. We get to amp the Chin Pao. If we get to amp the Chin Pao, we're gaming here. He was complaining about his prize cards. Fair. Fair enough. Alright, Rod. I mean, all things considered, my opponent's kind of popping off. Although, granted, I don't think they have it yet. Also, Loki, why are they playing Silene? Why is there a Silene here? Hi, Clark. How we doing? Matthew Clark, not the other Clark. <laughs> and they whiffed. Uh, we love to see it. We absolutely love to see it. Yep. There's two Clarks. There is a second Clark in chat. Although they're probably they're probably playing their round by uh, right now. Um. This is not the hand I had envisioned, I'm not gonna lie. Um This this wasn't this wasn't the plan. Uh, <laughs> uh I guess I'll peak acceleration. I mean there's no point in in punching the pal with a um there's no point. There's no point in punching the pal with a uh, and hand a hands here if we're not knocking them out, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's second Clark. We have two Clarks in chat now. <laughs> Happy you're not filling us with lies for real. That's right. You know we could um we could pair. Not that long before next round. I might have to scoop this game, which is unfortunate. Because I think we're winning these, but oh well. Yeah. Can't believe you stooped, st <laughs> stooped so low that you're playing. <laughs> hey man, you gotta test everything, right? You gotta test everything. And they scooped. Okay, that works for me. Um, that means it gets to play late night. <laughs> I guess they whiffed backs again, or what? I wasn't paying attention, I was reading chat. Did they, did they whiff backs? I think they whiff backs. Yeah, they whiff backs back to back turns. That's crazy. And with double the barrel in play as well. I guess we take that. Um, I guess we take those, right? All right, going in and out of hoes here right now. That's crazy. No thanks, I ate at home. Wild statements. Alright, next round should be up any second now. And I say any second, it's 10 seconds. It's 10 seconds. Uh, let's move over to that screen so we can pull up their deck list, right? And actually, you know what? I think what we're going to do is I'm going to run to the bathroom before this round. I'm not even going like, to switch screens or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna be like 30 seconds a minute, whatever, run to the bathroom, I'll be back in just a second. Don't get anywhere, chat. I promise I'll be back, okay? Don't leave me. I'll be lonely. No, I'm kidding. <laughs>
right, how we doing? Do we still have a round? Okay, well, someone's slow playing. <laughs> someone's slow playing. That's fine. <sighs> Where's standings looking like? What do we got? There's a Guardi at 4 0. That's a thing. Um, let's see. Cyrus Davis is playing. That's fun. Um, we have a Swede at 4 0. That's, uh, that's not allowed. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, only was one with 18.10. That's unfortunate. What's the Guardi list? Might as well check. Look at the Lugia. Might do that later. Uh, Guardi. Let's do Guardi for now. This is... Seemingly pretty basic Guardi, right? Hmm... Yeah, that's all right. This looks this looks standard for Guardi, but I don't really know what standard Guardi looks like. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> this is this is what it's built up to. Yeah, I know. All right. Let's see. We have got Arc Tina Pidge out here. Um. I feel like this is like a, a fine matchup for us. We're just trying not to like lose the boss, right? All right. Well, lost to go Burr, if you're chill, you leave chat while we play and you come back when we're done, right? Stream sniping's uh, kind of lame, you know? <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this matchup is kind of just go first, hit big numbers for both players, right? So if I lose, I can always call a judge and say it was just, they were stream sniping. Nah, no, but mute. I mean, as long as you're not looking my looking at my hand, right? If you're not looking at my hand, then we're chill. Also, I don't I don't really care, you know. At the end of the day. <laughs> All right, let's uh, log back log back into live here. Playing as Shin Pao without hands. Dope. We take those. <laughs> Rocks and Arc is so weird. I don't hate it. It's probably not necessary though. We kind of we talked about the list earlier and concluded that cutting Roxanne is is correct. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Just bait him and say I have a game in hand. <laughs> Uh, for real. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. All right. Poke a fighter. That's the username we're looking for. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Uh, that is the wrong deck. Let's go Chun Pao. All right. Dude, there is there is so much like recent stream lore behind this uh, behind this game. It's the streamer versus the yapper. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I feel like from what I can tell about this matchup, it seems really heavily favored for whoever wins the coin flip. So, that is not me, it seems. Uh-oh. Um, we'll still be fine, right? Uh, if we get the whiff max belt on turn two, or if we just start a one prizer. It's not terrible. We're looking at the the legendary uh, turn two collect. I'm actually choosing to start, start this Reggie because we have the prime catcher. We have the prime catcher and we get to collect. So I actually think it's correct to start this because we're not trying to go into a Chin Pao. That could also happen. Um, that could also happen. Uh, I am very okay with that. Um, we have double Fridgey in hand. Yeah, so we just go double doof. Double doof, Fridgey, Chin Pao, and then Optimal Collect. Plus one, baby! And it's good! <laughs> oh, God. Optimal Collect. They thought it was a miss, a myth. They said collect wasn't real. All right, there's an arc V. 
and the DCE. All right, they're doing something. And judge, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Right? We got. Listen, did we get to keep our collect card? No, but we did get to collect, and that's optimal. So, you know. It is optimal. <laughs> <clears throat> Ah, I have like something stuck in my throat. Oh, we're going for the Trinity charge here. Interesting. Actually, I, I low-key don't hate this, right? Like, obviously, if the Ark dies, we kind of just win. And we have... Well, actually, no, we don't have knock on Ark here, but we're pretty close. Um, But what's, what's cool about this play is that they're acknowledging that next turn they have... Like, if they don't do it, they lose. Well, they could also have Bis Seeking. But if they have a good hand, there's no reason to. Okay, so what are we doing with this Irida? Um, we could go Candy Backs, but we can't actually retreat, so we're kind of getting punished for Collect. I'm not going to lie, chat. I think the Irida here has to be... Hmm. I think Ultra Ball for Barrel and Backs, maybe? Right? Ultra Ball for Barrel and Bex. Um, Ultra Ninja? Yeah, I guess it is Ninja over Bex. I don't know. This is weird. This is probably better. Yeah, get rid of the Puffin. Just thin it. Uh, Ultra away. Hands Friggy. We keep the Arita for next turn. Um, yeah, no, Chris, you don't got to point it out. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we wouldn't be knocking out the Arceus regardless. Ew, what is this? Um, okay, actually, pause. Let's do... Well, okay, I was about to go retreat into Phrygy. No, retreat into Pal. Grab two, but they have, if they have Arcstar, they can max belt kill. We don't want to give them that without ha also having to force the boss. Yeah, so let's just let's just conceal cards because the odds of us hitting it here is is too low. Yeah, so we're looking at another collect here. We just want to force the um, force the boss plus belt, right? If they have V star, they do just go boss plus belt off of V star, but then they don't get anything else. And with a free card hand, then they're not really doing a lot, right? If we let them go belt plus research, then they get to play the game, and that's bad, right? Um. Yeah, a shame. It's a shame the judge did that, though. Yeah. I'm just gonna be on a Yono. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I, need to be, I should know better than to, like, actually be allowed to keep a hand against this deck. Uh, this is a pretty good hand, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if we had the backs, it would be, arc it would be able to KO the arc. Alright, what do they have here? Not a lot, I don't think. They're not doing anything, right? There's a V-Star, okay. But if they're not bossing, and they're not in Prime Catcher range, then they're killing Friggy. We're kind of getting punished for discarding Friggy. We need to find Rod. But thankfully, we already have Candy back, so if we find Irida, we can just go Irida, right? We have the Poffin as well, so we dig for Irida, I think is the line. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the regional champ diff. Unreal. <laughs> I mean, so much of Bixcalibur is, like, so much of Chin Pao, I should say, is just fundamental skill at Pokemon. That's why I think, like, I think Chin Pao is a harder deck to pilot, but it's also one I recommend for newer players, because this deck teaches you the fundamentals of Pokemon really, really, really well. It also just means it's easier to play if you have pre-existing good fundamentals, right? Um, there's a lot to learn about risk-reward in this deck, uh, among other things, right? So, all right. <clears throat> So I think the most important thing for us here is just going to try to be keeping our Friggy pieces in play. Um, 
because that should be their win con. Their win con is going to have to be hunting down Excaliburs, right? Uh, is retreating into Bidoof better last turn? That's not a bad shout. Actually, maybe retreating into Bidoof is better. Although I also like collecting, but yeah, I don't know. That might not be an incorrect uh, an incorrect take there, Cam. Air to top deck is <clears throat> is massive. Um, okay, we're gonna go candy backs first. Then we're gonna go uh, shivery chills actually. Um, grab two. Then we're gonna go. I mean, we should have actually. Okay, we should have held the frid the uh, shivery chills. Oh well, too late for that now. I'm gonna thin the lightning out of my hand. That's awesome. That's perfect. Poke stop. Uh, even better. That's so good. Um, now we go. Now we go Irida for Rod. Uh, Rod Pow probably right. We're not trying to dig a bunch off the barrel here. I don't think. Yeah. So Rod Pow. Um, I need to keep all my energies in discard for my superior here. Is there any I can discard prematurely? Uh, doesn't seem to be the case. So we're going here. And then I guess we'll get rid of Poffin and then we'll nest ball for Friggy. Yeah, that has to be correct here. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll... I might as well get the lightning back at this point. Uh, and then I'll go a rod. Chen Pao, Friggy, Friggy. Then I'll go Nest Ball. Uh, for 60 HP Friggy. Then I'll go... Super Cold... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, attach lightning to Greninja for next turn pivots. Because it's not doing anything else anywhere else, right? And then we have Superior, Irida, Rare Candy in hand. So if we don't get hand disrupted, we have a good foundation next turn to uh, to bounce back. Uh, second Superior Ultra Ball isn't great in all honesty. But frankly, it could be a lot worse. Your opponent is so slow in recording the game right now. That's a good shout. If your opponent's like slow playing, recording isn't a bad uh, bad idea. Although granted, in-game timer can also just use that, but recording is going to be um is gonna be your best bet. Okay, Pidgey hits the field, Tina V Star hits the field. Yeah, so we're gonna probably go probably gonna go punch active with Tina. Judge, that's not a bad shout by any means. That's a pretty goddamn good hand. I'm not going to lie to you. That's pretty... I'm fairly certain that is just so fine. And there's going to be a lost impact. Yeah. I think if they're if they're unable to target the Excalibur, this game is just one for us. Yeah. Uh, Here. Yeah, we are... <laughs> we top decked Irida again. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, probably doing, what are we at? Five, one, so that's fine. So let's go retreat here, shivery chill, grab two, uh, concealed one. That's kind of mid, but that's fine. Uh, and then we go... We go Superior, Away, Earthen Vessel, and I'm kind of thinking Rod. As weird as that's... Actually, maybe it's Prime Catcher. Maybe, maybe Prime Catcher is the, uh... Is the discard here. Hmm. Yeah... Losing so bad I came back. Honestly, that's fair. I'm knocking out your Tina, so. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess Prime Catcher is probably the best bet. We still have Boss, right? Um, super cold. One, two, three, four, five. We're not prime cut. We're not uh, rotting anything this turn. So we're going Irida. We're going. That is not a Vax Caliber. Vax Caliber. Rare candy. Rare candy. Vax Caliber. Draw three on the barrel. Uh, this is super okay. I'll just go attach the water for pivot next turn. Burn the heavy. Uh, cool. Nothing I didn't already know. Might as well play the Pokestop. Uh, that's completely fine. And then we just go Big Bonk. Are you in Denmark or US right now? I am in uh, Denmark. I live in Denmark. I am in my I am in my bedroom. <laughs> I am in my bedroom. Yeah, this this game is this game kind of feels over. Like when you as I think as Arctina in this matchup, you either go for the early two two two, or you target Max Caliber. And if you can't do either, you just can't keep up, right? Sag was gonna tell you to play Overwatch. <laughs> Bro, I'm streaming. <laughs> Otherwise, you know what, man? I'll get on Overwatch another day, okay? I'll get on Overwatch another day, just for you. Um, Yeah, it's going to be an Ultra Ball probably for a V-Star, but I mean, at this point, it just doesn't matter, right? That's not a V-Star. Do we just not have another V-Star? We play four, right? Oh, we're thinning. Okay, that's understandable. Yeah. I know there's a couple. I mean, I've, I've been playing Overwatch. Like, not a lot, but, like, I've opened the game, like, at least a couple times a week, consistently. I'm still shit at it, but, you know. There's Candy Bird. Okay. Who gets the first turn two wins? Yeah, that checks out. That's kind of my conclusion on it as well. Earlier, it was very favored for Chin Pao, but, I mean, now with Max Belt, right? That's just not the case. Like, they weren't able to hand disrupt, so I literally just go find Chin Pao, bonk the arc, right? Yeah. Overwatch 1 was peak. I actually like Overwatch 2 better. The issue is that Blizzard as a developer is just ass. <laughs> Blizzard as a developer is just not fun. Especially if you follow the, uh... You follow the esports scene. Ooh, we're counter catching the barrel. To kill it? I guess you deny draw is the line. If we're stalling, you also just probably, yeah, we're going for a stall here. I guess if I prize retrieval, it's not a bad shout. We also have rod, though. I'm not too concerned. Uh, we're thinning Nest Ball Poffin. Not taking that. We have the second retrieval. I mean, if you're going to spot the win condition, that is that is how to do it, right? Um, so what are we trying to do? I think we're going... Uh, I have to, Okay, I have to make sure I properly sequence this. Um, I actually think we poke stop first. That's fine. That's thinnable cards. Uh, we go retrieval here. I think we just win here, yeah. Well, we, we probably always like have it, but we want to guarantee it, you know? We just need to make sure we don't throw. And then we go... Retreat, here, rod, uh, triple water, shivery chill for game, yeah. Tail smash? Base. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I could've, I could've cryptoed for stuff, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to hit off of crypto, so, like, I wasn't, okay, I wasn't sure what I wanted off the crypto, 
So I just wanted to poke stops just to give myself more options, right? But I, I pretty much had game regardless. Yeah, GG's lost, Tina. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was an awkward early game for sure. Not playing Melo for game is boring for real. I had the retrieval in deck, but I don't want to play two retrievals before I have a barrel. I want to retrieval one, then be barrel, then retrieval two, ideally. Right? Top deck was Arc. Yeah, the Arc V, right? And on turn two, that checks out. Dude, it's sadistic. It's like the infamous turn two top deck VIP pass. That's the cruelest thing that can ever happen to a Pokemon player. All right, let's play a hands game on ladder. <laughs> let's play a hands game on ladder. Um... Here we go. Yeah. I'm running out of, of fluids, liquids. I shall probably soon go down and fill up my water bottle. I go 2-2-2 two, two, two very easy. Yeah. Well, so like if... Uh, oh, I'm playing hands, right? Yeah, okay, one second. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it really just came down to, like, who launched the first attack and, like, took two prize cards first, right? Um, so, yeah. GG's really starting to learn pow now. Cool, let's not play it for a bit while we wait. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, like, the whole point of, of playing Iron Hands right now is literally just to, um... What's it called? Is literally just to, uh, to grind, like, ladder rank, you know? <laughs> That's the whole point. Might as well farm some, uh, farm some ladder. Look how you say 2 2 2 and in VGC wise, it means something really, really different. I don't know what 2 2 2 means VGC wise. Please do enlighten the class. <laughs> it's a team that has two pairs of Pokemon and you gamble on the lead. Oh, wait. So it's like. Um. Iron Crown and Didi. And. Will be like one of the pairings in a 2 2 2 comp, right? Or am I just tripping? I actually, because I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's our turn here. How are we doing here? Um, we have Vacuum on Sealstone. That's pretty good. We'll go here. Probably grab, we only have prize two hands. That's rough. Um, I mean, I guess we go... I like Arvin first here. I don't think I want to I know. Uh Techno Radar and Let's grab a future booster for now, right? Yeah. Brother, you played World Cup? Yeah. <laughs> but I played for Denmark and we um uh, let's just say Denmark wasn't doing that much at World Cup, okay? Now actually, okay, that's true. That's not true. We made it out of a uh... We made a we made it out of groups or whatever it was whatever like the first group thing was and I did win my I did win like half my games so <laughs> I did I did something for uh, for Team Denmark that tournament okay I did something all right let's just generator here okay that checks out I don't think I have ever hit two energies on generator with this deck I am dead serious. Uh, also, I think I'm going bye-bye Countercatcher. I do not want them to have Steelstone. Alright. What's chat talking about now? What are we talking about in chat? Uh, you watch football? No. The only time I ever watch any real sport is when the Danish uh, football team... Uh, has either European Championships or World Cup. Um, yeah. You played in Overwatch World Cup? No, no, I played in VGC World Cup. <laughs> One of those is a lot more prestigious than the other. No, I fucking suck at Overwatch. Are oh, they instant charge again? Oh, we're gaming. 
Oh, we're so gaming chat. Uh, energy here. Energy here. Iona went to generator, please. Um, VGC? Yeah. Um, people's, but that's why people say stable star players don't touch grass. Bro, just because I don't watch sports doesn't mean I don't play sports, okay? I mean, I don't, like, play a lot of sports, but I play some sports for fun. Not that I'm good at them, but they're fun. At the bare minimum, it's more fun than, like, it's, it's a more fun, like, way to do cardio instead of running, right? So... Yeah, I'm a VGC player. Not quite. I play VGC for fun. Uh, I play I play VGC for fun. Um, <laughs> I get the ball once or twice, dude. For real, for real, dude. Nah. Um, yeah, no. I play I play VGC casually, and uh, like Danish VGC is very new. So there's a lot of play like there's a lot of people who are like very enthusiastic about it, but they're pretty new to VGC, and I um. And I've, like, been playing VGC on and off since, like, 2016, right? Um, I actually, I technically got into VGC before I got into TCG. Um, fun fact. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. VGC is fun. Uh, I ended up making the team for, uh, for World Cup. Um, and I did pretty okay. Or we did pretty okay. I won the like I won the games I was supposed to and lost the games I was supposed to, right? So Yeah, it was chill. Like once I started getting paired against like actual top players, I was getting just shit on. Uh and they had lost. That's unfortunate. Um <laughs> uh, VGC players think weather is the attack boost only. That's what rain does, right? Rain makes me move faster, trust. <laughs> okay, this hand sucks. Um can I get an Arvin? Cool, thank you. Uh, let's see here. We can go... I like Prime Catcher here. The issue with Prime Catcher is that means I'm not putting hands in play, and that's a problem. So I think we're going Techno Raider, Baton. Techno Radar and Energy. Uh, hands... Oh, maybe I should have routed first, because I think I wanted two hands there. Misplay. It has to be the boulder, then. Which is awkward, but it's whatever. Uh, gift energy. Heavy baton. Booster capsule. Peak acceleration. Uh, here. Alright, what are we talking about? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, why have you not put hands in play before Iona last turn? I prized two. I prized two hands. Uh, I drew one off the prize cards and then I got iona There wasn't a chance to. Otherwise, I obviously would have, right? Uh, to be fair, Danish VGC, we really get a Danish player in top eight of Worlds last year. Yeah. No, Dan Denmark has good players, right? Um, like, the height, the height brothers are both really, really, really good. Oh, I closed my limitless dashboard. Not supposed to do that. We have one game left. We're going to need to finish this one fast. Uh, okay, they didn't have... That's good. Poke gear. Sure. Are we bossing here? Does boss ever make sense here? Repulsor axe probably doesn't kill this. This is 230. We don't kill. Hmm. I have no idea, Gillian. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I think I have to research. Or... Oh, this is so weird. So I'm trying to do... I'm trying to... Okay, I think I have to arm press active. In which case, I'm grabbing Arvin. So right now I'm doing... I need two more crown. 
Need to, no, but that doesn't make sense. Or I guess I could go boss Rotom later, right? Do I have two crown and deck? I genuinely don't remember. Um, I don't. Shit. Uh, okay, I guess we're grabbing grabbing Gundle off of the Techno Radar and grabbing Crown Catcher. Uh, yeah. Actually, no. Bundles. Yeah, Bundles completely fine here. Bundles super okay here. Bundle Crown. Um. Use Bundle. Actually, yeah, this is fine. Chat, it's fine. We have we have check in time. We have check in time to finish this. <laughs> we only need one more turn after this. <sighs> Alright, they gave us Rotom. That's fine, right? And we either arm press or amp. Um, in this case, we arm press, and that's completely fine. Might as well... Oh, wait, I should have wrought it first, then I could grab... Ooh, wait, was that... Oh, was that a massive blunder? Well, maybe that was a big blunder. Ah, oh, shit, I should have... Yeah, no, I need second hands. How many generators do I have? I've only used one. Okay. Um... So I have to get two energies or I'm not going to hit it. And then I have to find Crime Catcher off of a research. Uh, I think that's the line here. And then I'm just going to thin the hand. So we draw more cards off of um, Gift Energy. Yeah, I, I should have I should have brought to get hands first. I don't know why I forgot that. Well, so the idea was that if they knock out hands, I go uh, Iron Boulder, right? But I'm forgetting that Iron Boulder really does not do that much damage. Um... Okay, the round is up. Ah, uh, okay. We have, you know, we have, we have four minutes. We have four minutes, chat. We're against uh, Iron Hands next round. I really want to finish this game, <laughs> or at least I want to try. I want to try to finish this game, right? I want to try to finish this game. I'm really hoping my opponent plays fast so I get to, you know, do that. Maximum belt? Okay, sure. Not sure what that's supposed to do. Alright, Iron Hands Magic, give me the rundown. Alright, bet, Chris, let's do it. If they get set up, you die. Damn, that's that's some convincing logic there. This is where we say, nah, I'd win. I have to check into the round. Bro, please just let me finish this game. Roxanne? Okay, sure. Bro, just... <laughs> if I win EUIC, will you play me? You know what, man? Just for you? Sure. Just for you, I will. <laughs> Don't get off screens. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> you can throw energies wherever, it doesn't matter. We already used the rod. Triple generator! Okay. The future is now, chat. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Dude, I'm being such an ass to my opponent right now. I feel kind of bad about it. Just let me... Okay, I literally just need three energies here. Two? Two? I'm... Jesus. Dude, it's broken deck. Broken deck. Get me out of this game as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, top deck boss as well. They amped me into no energy triple generator. It's literally the dream. It could not, it could not have gotten, I could literally not have drawn better. <laughs> okay, we're done, we're done. Let's, uh, let's, let's play round, what are we at, round five? No, round six, we're at round six. I'm assuming I have, stop loading live, thank you. Here, 
Uh, and then we'll just very, very quickly reset live. We're against, Tur okay, we're playing Turbo Hands Shin Pao. I do not think we're, have we're gonna have to worry about time. Um, let's be, let's be real. Uh, let's be real here, chat. I don't think we're worrying about time. Yeah. Thursday, more Stockholm tickets. Oh, for, uh, for junior seniors. Cause I think didn't masters didn't sell out. Did it? I don't think it did. Right. Yeah. Still an ass though. A bit. It's chill. If my listen, if my opponent wants in what my opponent wants me to apologize, I'll apologize. How about that? Uh, <clears throat> A seven something. Let's see if they're back online. Here we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> nah, I tie. I bet, bro. This ha surely this is an untieable matchup, right? There is no, there is no way we tie this matchup. We have 25 minutes. We actually, yeah, so we, we, we set up within time, right? Because it was my alt apologize now? No. <laughs> not, not to you, Lostina. We'll go first. That is unfortunate. Uh, well, we're definitely starting Chen Pao, yeah. I guess we, we do want to go first, right, still in this matchup. I mean, I guess going second isn't terrible. But, like, they could still hit it, you know? Alright, we technically don't have Frigi yet. Let's see the heavy ball. Ooh, no Fridgy. All right, it's fine. We have so many outs off of Pokestop. We are gonna chills first. Definitely, yeah, definitely chills first. Um, we never whiff Fridgy here, chat. We never whiff Fridgy. Uh, f you know what? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I saw the Fridgy and I got scared. Then I saw the nest ball. I'm like, all right, we chilling. We're fine. Bench, bench, attach, go. Low key chat. What if we go? What if we go Iron Hands the Maridon next turn? Iron Hands the Maridon seems like a really good line. Hmm. Generally, you want to go first regardless of matchups. You just set up differently depending on what you're playing against. That makes sense. Yeah. Watch the Prime Catcher. If they Prime Catcher my Fridgey, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I will actually start crying. Well, it's not like we had a choice, right? It's not like we had a choice. Dude, there was one out to Fridgy. Like, <laughs> um, I'm very sure they always have the uh, the second crown or booster. There we go. If if they need it, there's the Iona. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. I mean, the hand was good, but you know, it could be better. That's kind of mid. This is definitely a, uh, we love to see that poke stop. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a, uh, nest ball for Greninja, hope we get something good type of hand. Hyper blower? I bet, bro. Take my Bidoof. Have a Bidoof. Can't think of a single matchup where you'd want to go second? That's fair. I don't know that I can either. There's a couple where I think it's, like, sketchy, but, like, not where you, like, actually want to, you know? Yeah. Chat, they never have Prime Catcher here. But they are absolutely setting up, and that is terrifying. Um, yeah. Twitch now has a uh, hype train tier that you need six digits for. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> Despite using this platform almost every day, I have no idea what anything means. Okay, so... Poffin, Fridgy. Um... Nest Ball, Greninja. Shivery Chills. 
Pokestop. That is pretty good. Um, concealed cards first. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is um, Sack Sackerson. I uh, I am a sack. <laughs> uh, I believe I believe in sacking, sacking my opponent. That's a crazy string of draws, chat. I ain't gonna lie. That's a crazy string of draws. Uh, I am amping this Maridon now. That's fun. Um, we have the backs, so we go... Let me make sure I'm, like, actually properly sequence this. Uh, Ultra Ball, Shin Pao Cologne, Grab, Hands. Yeah. Um, Grab, Hands. Let's go... When we retreat... Yeah, when we retreat, we go there. Okay, so... Chills, might as well toss that there. We are, or, sorry, super cold. That's what that ability is called. Um, retreats into hands. Um, I guess it kind of... Oh, wait, did I have Blunder? Not technically, but no, I definitely missequenced that. Maybe I should have gone for the Barrel instead. Um, I kind of forgot I'm not drawing cards here. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, it's too late for that now because we have to basically dump the entire hand. Attach lightning. Superior. Two there. I probably don't need palp out here. Super cold. I mean, this is probably still correct, but I'm pretty convinced I could have sequenced that better than I actually did. Um, oh, well. It was fine. Honestly, the fact that we even hit this in the first place is just so good. Because they're forced to arm press. Okay, well, I can also just take two supporters off of the prize cards, right? Um, okay, the, like, the result of the play is correct, but there was probably a better optimized way to reach this point, right? Uh, yeah, I have energy for Greninja, and then I also just hit two, like, fucking supporters off of the, uh, prize cards. Um, didn't do hand motion, minus two prize cards? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Chat, if I did that every time I announced Ampu very much today, we, uh, we would have a lot of hands being thrown. You don't think they play Stadium Buff? They play one Town Store. Uh, one town store, one vacuum in their list. Okay, so let's let's think about this for a second. If they um are they going for the prime catcher? Interesting. Are they trying to amp Chin Pao now? Or are we amping backs? No, we're amping Chin Pao. Wait, no, we're not not oh we're arm pressing. Wait, no, there's no way arm press is correct here. Then you go to three? And then you try to what? Uh, amp Chin Pao next turn? Hmm. And they're giving us Mew? I don't. I don't. I don't think I agree with what my opponent's doing right now. I'm not gonna lie. I do not. I don't know what they're doing here. Because they're not amping, which means they go to three, and then, okay, they mean they, they can still go, well, no, because we just boss around this. If we boss around this, or cross switcher, or fucking anything, uh, we're promoting Greninja here, um, yeah, if we get around this, and kill literally anything, then we just win. Although it's better to get rid of an Iron Crown, for sure. Right? Yeah, because then they can't amp for three and kill. So that's definitely a misplay for my opponent. Uh, we have three Chin Pao. We have the Rod in hand, though, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to go Pokestop first. 
That's so okay. That is so fine. Um, rod back, pow, pow. They have one energy in here. I guess we're not trying to superior like once let's leave it. Um I guess we never want anything else, right? Yeah, we never want anything else. I guess I'm fine grabbing the energy. I'm fine grabbing the energy here, and then we go nest ball for pow. And we go. Let's go Shivery. Okay, I have the Lion. Yeah, I have the Lion maxed up in my head. Shivery Shills, two energy. Uh, Ultra Ball here. Grab the Barrel. Um, Irida for the Pokemon, frankly, does not matter, which probably don't grab any. Uh, but we're going to grab the Prime Catcher. Do we have Boss and Duck? We do. We shouldn't need it, but... Um, if we have to, it's there. Yeah, so we grab this. We draw five. Maybe should have chilled first. That doesn't matter. Um, now we go shivery chill. Find two energy. Um, they probably didn't have a Jenny or the KO on hands. I mean, do you mean crown? I don't know. Um, either way. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, might as well conceal cards and energy. I think that's fine. We should have plenty of... Uh, yeah, we have plenty of recover cards left. And they play three... I okay, they play three... I oh, no, damn. Um, I'm going to go... Preemptively attach one energy, actually. Get a bonus energy here. In case they go try to amp the barrel. Uh, just give us better odds in that sense. And then I think we're just using Hailblade for knockout. Do... No, we're never scared of the hands being um, targeted here. Yeah, this should be... This should always be fine. Three Ayano is a pretty common count in Japan. That's fair. I don't think it's correct, though. I admittedly have not looked that much at Japanese Iron Hands lists. <sighs> yeah. They should now have no way of winning. Should just better in hands? Probably. I'm playing one Ayana right now. But I don't dislike the judge. I think optimally, if you can, you probably play a 1-1 one, one split. 5-1 beat another Tina. Let's go. Love to see it. <clears throat> Love to see it. Uh... We played Judge Smack with Maridon. Uh, three just smack with my. Ooh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Low key, that's not a bad shout. Oh, they're going for Maraidon right now. I mean, I'll just amp them again. <laughs> I'll just amp them again. I just superior for game then. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, right? Oy. Yeah, so we go retreat pow, go into hands, superior, get the energies back, and then super hold them all to the iron hands, and ampy very much. G, G's. We took four prize cards with amp in this matchup. That's crazy. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I had the I had the, the retrieval in hand. You know, I had the retrieval in hand, so it's fine. Also, is my shit like are we at a hundred viewers right now? That's sick. That's super cool. Thank you guys for being here. That's dope. That is definitely a new record. Alright, five and one. Love to see it. Um yeah, let's uh 
Let's just jump into a ladder game then, right? Where are we at? Low ho. -ho? Yeah, let's just um <clears throat> let's pull out the hands again. Let's pull out the hands. Fuck it. Any do decks? Mostly just chilling with Chin Pao. Uh well Chin Pao today for the tournament and then um playing some turbo hands on the ladder. But we've been playing a bunch of new decks. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of ancient box. Been liking ancient box a lot. Judge hands. Nah, there's no judge in this one. But I do like the idea. I might have to test that. Six partner push soon. I mean, low key. Like if we if we consistently get these numbers, we could do it 100. percent I think it's like we need to average 75 viewers. I think is the the limit. Not the limit. The uh, What's the word? The requirement. There we go. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if we're consistently hitting uh, hitting 100 concurrent viewers, then uh, that's absolutely possible. Minimum? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, if you're over 75, then it doesn't matter at that point, right? Or what? Oh, I think you... Oh, wait, no, for partner, you have to apply in a bunch of stuff. Because for affiliate, it was super easy. Like, for affiliate, you just kind of, like, get it, you know? So... Yeah, well, I mean, this week's been this this week has been great stream wise, right? Like this week's been super good. Um, but I mean, that's in large part to like new set coming out. And there's like more hype around the game and whatnot. But still, okay, can my opponent play the game? <laughs> can my opponent play the game now. Uh, oh, my roommate's texting me. What are they doing? Uh. Sure, I'll have to do that later. Uh, what do you think of Guardi for new rotation? It's definitely better than we were making it out to be, but I don't think it's top tier by any means. I think people were kind of dooming on Guardi a little too much. The deck's viable, but it's not like... It's still, it's still nowhere near as good as it has been, right? So... <laughs> okay, what is my opponent doing? Is live glitching? Yo, Soda King, thank you for the raid. Hell yeah. Never thought I'd see the day where I get to thank a Swede, but you know what? Just for today. <laughs> Just for today, I will. What do you think of Cologne and Chin Pao? I like it. I think it makes sense. Okay, the game worked now. Yeah, I don't know what Live's doing. Live's tripping. Maybe my opponent's just AFK. Might just be AFK here. I guess we'll stare at a Charmander then. What can you do, right? It's live. <laughs> so. Yeah. I got a Guardi list that I've been working on. Uh, that I've been wrecking on ladder. Nice. Love to see it. <laughs> Pizza scored to bay. A. <laughs> Actually, how about this? We trade uh, We trade Copenhagen for Skoen. How about that? <laughs> Chat, you like looking at this Charmander with me? Let's really appreciate this Charmander. While my opponent sits in time. There's no way they're not AFK. Right? Yeah, okay, cool. About to say, right? <laughs> Still 4-2? We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. Okay, can we have an actual game now? Wait, how much time do we have left? Seven minutes? Uh, it's gonna have to be a fast one. I mean, we're playing hands, right? We could probably get a good donk. We have time for a good donk, right? Sumio over Rusty? I I don't know what those are. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't read Swedish. <laughs> Assuming it's even Swedish for that sake. Oh, Finland over Sweden. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's Finnish? Let's eat. I, I probably understand less Finnish than I understand Swedish. Right? <laughs> Finnish isn't the real language. Chris, calm down. Calm down, bro. 
<laughs> I mean, listen, if you, if you ask the Americans, right, Scandinavian is actually just its own language. And low-key, there's a point to be proven there, right? All right, why are we having such slow ladder games? Is this a live glitch? Or, like, what's going on here? <laughs> listen... Scandinavians bullying each other is just the way of life, okay? That's just how it is at this point. Bro, can we get a game? <laughs> can we... You're having the same issue? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Because I don't think, like, we could queue out of the game, but I don't think that's getting us anywhere. Is live just, like, not responding to anyone right now? That is very possible. Rise and check. <laughs> For real. Yeah, live EXE has just stopped working. Might I cancel? I hope not. That'd be a shame. Fortune, let's go. Good shit, good shit. I mean, at which point are we just not bothering with this screen anymore, right? I guess we'll I guess we'll look at this screen until round goes up, which is like Five minutes? Yeah, I'm not looking at the screen for five minutes. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, chat. Um, I guess we'll just try to restart live now. What even happens if I concede? Okay, it's just a straight-up concession. Sure. Uh, thank you for taking my, my ladder points, I guess. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> my life hasn't worked since new set dropped. Yikes. Yeah. I need 140 more for invite. Yeah, dude, live, live is a shit show. We, we all know it, right? Deep down, we all know it. Uh, Alright, let's queue over to this real quick. What's doing well? Uh, while we look at this, I'm just gonna, like, restart live. Lost Box, Guardi, Tina, Lugia. Um, there's just Sable's Arch, just Block Sacks. A lot of different stuff. Um... A lot of different stuff happening right now. Are you guys doing well? That's interesting. <clears throat> when Pokemon Showdown for TCG? We have a couple already. Like, PTCG Sim is pretty good. Right? Look at the Lugia list. I dare you. You know what? Lost Tina, just for you, I'll do it. What's going on here? Uh, that is an Espathra. Uh, there is an Espathra in this Lugia deck. Okay, so I guess... We throw as Pathra active, we attach Psychic to it, and we throw a bunch of other special energies on it. Also, it's wrong Minchino, but, like, that's besides the point. Hmm. I mean, I don't know that I think as Pathra is needed, but, like, the list looks cool. Right? I mean, the list looks cool. 5-0 at least? Yeah. Well, what's the what's the matchups been? Oh, they're still playing. Okay. Um, two Zard. I can imagine it's great into Zard, right? Surely it's great into Zard. Although I feel like you should be beating Zard anyway, right? Um, yeah, like what I'm... Because I'm kind of thinking... I'll bet it's for Fuja Box. Oh, that's not a bad shout, actually. Uh, that's not a bad shout. Um, I guess... Yeah, no, I actually don't hate that because they're not knocking you out and it's harder for them to like two shot you Hmm It's not it's probably good in the future box, right or I mean better at least because you're not really doing anything as As Lugia in the future box. All right. Well, we have a lot of new people here. So let me like quickly pull up. Here's the list we're playing right now Nora X over I kind of vibe with that. Yeah, Neuburn's just probably better um, Neuburn's not a bad shout in Lugia right now. There's building something they think is good into the meta. That's fair. I mean, that's what online tournaments are for, right? They're for testing ideas like this. Uh, am I doing the Doom online regionals? Unfortunately not. Uh, I have a, I have a money match against Xander Perot that day. <laughs> otherwise, I would be playing. Um, yeah, otherwise, I, I would definitely be playing it, but... I have, a, I have a different fun thing going on. Yeah, so anyway, here's the list we're playing in late night right now. It's been working great. List's been working great. Palpad's been mid. Uh, it is an experimental uh, choice right now. Um, but it's been good. 
yeah, the Azul Conquest thing, what's it called? It's, I think it's called PTTG Showdown, uh, is on the 30th, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how's the Cypher Maniac feeling? I have not used it once. <laughs> I have not used the Cypher Maniac even once yet, um, but it doesn't feel bad. Let me co close some of these tabs. You have like a million tabs open. Um, everything else should be fine, right? We need that. Okay, I'll close these. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, I feel like Cypher Maniac just makes sense, but I haven't needed it yet. But theoretically, in, like, in a lot of situations, it's just a fifth Irida, so that has to be good, right? I don't know. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Uh, besides that, I mean, the list is pretty standard, all things considered, right? It's pretty bog basic. Uh, yeah, the pal pad is really just there to Iono and Roxanne proof, but we really haven't been in situations where that's necessary. Um, so I'm really not too concerned about it, right? Yeah. Um, all right, I have a couple games we're waiting for here. I'll just pull up the list again. Yeah, but Jin Pao has been, uh, has been impressing me. Like, I was really down on Jin Pao at the beginning of this format, but I might have to take back some comments. I'm not going to lie. I might have to take back some comments. Um, I've been genuinely impressed by this deck, which I did not think was going to be the case. Yeah. Might just try to make cut and then go to sleep in top eight base, honestly. Shin maybe not so piss? Probably. Thoughts on Silene and Pao? Um, I don't like coin flips. But otherwise, I mean, I see the vision. I just don't know what we're taking from the discard pile that we want that bad, right? So, they went from 05 to 15. Let's go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, well, no, I listen, all the shade I was throwing at Pao before rotation, that still applies, okay? I'm not taking that back. That's, that's not being retracted. Post-rotation pal, though, is like, I'm kind of vibing with it. I'm not, I'm not thinking I'm playing it for UIC, but I'm thinking about it more seriously than I was before, right? Yeah. That Lugia 6-0? Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, who are we waiting for? Hey, what does Pow even lose to? Zard. It loses to Zard. Zard can go 3-3-3 three, three, three against you, and then it can also... Not 3-3-3, three, 2-2-2 three, three, two, 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 um, against you because of Max Belt. And then also it has a really easy time targeting your Baxcalibers. And finding a way to recover, like to get Baxcalibur back into play and... What is it, seven energies? No, six energies to kill a Zard uh, is a pretty big ask, right? Like, doing it once is fine, doing it twice, it gets sketchy. So I think, like, yeah, um, Zard's a, bit, like, a pretty sketchy matchup. Although, if you go first, you can kind of cheese them uh, if you're able to pull off a Greninja play. But, yeah, um, it's not a matchup I'm, like, super happy about if I'm playing Chen Pao. But that's probably like Chen Pao's main worry right now, right? And I kind of think Zard is super overhyped. So, I mean, low key, like Chen Pao might not be a bad play for UIC if you're just able to, like, if you only hit Zards early, you beat the Zards you hit early, and then you just don't hit Zards at top tables. Hmm. Yeah, also Devo makes the. Mm, or for what deck? Wait, what? What deck are we talking about? Oh, shit, we had Davis. Oh, that's fun. Uh, well, this is Arc, Armor Rouge, uh, Alola, and Vulpix. Um, Devo in Zard. Zard doesn't play Devo anymore. Post-rotation, Zard does not play Devo. At least not now. Um, it's a pile. <laughs> yeah, that's how you attract Clarkius. The one and only. All right, let's... Um, Let's see what we can do here. Yep. Yeah, Davis Davis is respectful. Davis will pause the stream. 
currently loading back into live. Um, so I think that the only thing we need to like really worry about here is just the Vulpix. If we're able to get around the Vulpix, I think we just win. Right? Because Chin Pao... Oh, we're already friends. Oh, easy. Um, yeah, Chin Pao just seems like it beats... Um, it beats Arc Armor Rouge, right? From what I can tell. Thoughts on Vulpix and Pao? Mm, probably not necessary. I mean, maybe if you're like that desperate to beat Zard, but like there's probably more efficient ways you can you can go about it. And frankly, I don't think you need to worry about that much Zard. I think like I might I might be proven wrong. Okay, it's not impossible, but I really think people are overhyping Zard right now. I'm not that high on Zard going into EUIC. So, if my if my prediction is true, which I'm gonna assume it is, right, going into EYC, because uh, I, I trust myself. <laughs> I'm not telling you guys to trust me, but I will trust myself. Um, yeah, I don't know that I have to worry too much about Zard, which is a, another reason, like, as I'm contemplating Ancient Box a lot, right? I know Lost Backs with Hoopa. Uh, Lost Box with Hoopa is probably a bad matchup for you. If you can respond to Hoopa, you win, but... Ooh, Arc Attach Pass. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> Could certainly be worse. Okay, let's get Friggy Bidoof right off the bat. Um... Interesting. I haven't been prize checking, but I'm going to quickly give a prize check here. Uh, we have Codebreaker's Pokestop. Um, which I guess is probably correct, right? Yeah, Codebreaker's Pokestop probably seems correct here. What are we Codebreakering into, though? Nest Ball for Greninja. Honestly, low-key, Double Nest Ball is not a bad shout. Double Nest Ball is not that bad of a shout. Uh, I'd love to Heavy, but we haven't prized anything. So... Yeah... Um, I guess it's double nests, because we want the Chin Pao in play, or do we even want the Chin Pao in play? No, wait, it's Ultra Ball. We're, we're grabbing Ultra Ball here. We're grabbing Ultra Ball for next turn. Yeah. Um, hold up, let me finish my turn, and then I'll read chat, because there's a couple of questions that are catching my eye. I'm fine with discarding the energy. Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to grab, did I prize Ninja? I could have sworn I saw Ninja on my deck. Did I prize? The Ninja was prized. Dude, I am so... What? <laughs> I could have sworn I saw the Ninja on my deck. Okay, well, um... Monumental skill issue. Uh, I could just have grabbed Heavy. <laughs> okay, uh, in that case... Is grabbing... Are we really getting... Are we getting punished for grabbing Pow? We might. But I'm gonna grab it anyway. Um, because otherwise I think the Nest Ball is just completely wasted. I think we hold this hand. Unless we go Attach Active. Yeah, Attach Active is correct here. And pass. Yeah. Well, no, I literally, like, all I have to do differently there is heavy, like, grab Heavy Ball instead of Nest Ball off of the, uh, Code Breaker. That's all I have to do differently there. Double Doof was prob better? Maybe... Um, oh, so the, the actual correct play there would have been to hold the nest ball. Um, okay, yeah, this is bad. Oh, they already have max belts, and we're start with move DTE. Yeah, okay. Um, so the reason benching pow there is bad is obviously for what's going to happen here. Oh, but I guess maybe, maybe forcing boss as their first supporter of the game isn't that bad. This is just always better if we if we grab ninja though. Right? It's always better if we grab ninja. We'd also have more cards to work with. Oh well. Uh we just have to try to rebound from here. So energy poke okay, we're definitely poke stopping first. That is super okay. Hello? Uh, hello? 
If we take those, okay, so we go, I'm just gonna prematurely nest ball for, for pow. Yeah, we're going for pow here. Um, now we have a couple really interesting options because I don't hate targeting the ball picks, but the issue with targeting the ball picks is we just immediately like get bonked by arc and they go to two. But if we then respond to the arc, right? Then what do they need to win from there? They need to get, I guess, gouging fire. But we get rid of their energy. But can we get rid of? Their... Mm, this is awkward. This is very awkward. Um, we're in this game, though. We are absolutely in this game. Um, okay. Well, we have candy backs. So we're just gonna throw that down. Then we have. Three energy down, so we're gonna ultra ball cologne. Maybe ultra ball. Yeah, let's get rid of the second ultra ball here, actually. Uh, and then we're just gonna burn the cologne instead. I think that's fine. Delphox. I don't think we lose to Delphox here. Um, we just need to like evolve the second Fridgy. Uh, I'll play this and then bid for four. That is very good. Uh, I was kind of think we I own or Rita for cross switcher, but this work or for prime catcher, but this works just as fine. Um, yeah, no, this is just a uh, shin. Oh, okay, are we bossing the Vulpix or are we bossing? Because if we no, I think we boss the Vulpix. I think boss Vulpix is correct. I'm spending a lot of time thinking about these plays, but it is really just because I do not have that much experience with uh, with Pow on the whole. Vessel away, Vessel. Grab two more energy. Um, super cold. Yeah, honestly, like we would be winning so hard if they hadn't already taken two prize cards. If they were going to three instead of two next turn, then this would be so much better for us. Um... Dude, to give you both best of draws? Bro, then you should have seen my flower selectings yesterday. They were atrocious, dude. They were atrocious. I need to open the window in here. It's getting hot in my room. Boy. Air out. All right, there's an armor rouge. That's mildly annoying. Basin. If they bench a one prizer, we can go Greninja. And then because of weakness, take two. Well, like, we can't do it to both of them. We only have weakness on the active. And then Iono? Sure. I'm fine with that. How many how many basins are they at? Play four. Arc in play. Mists. Hmm. Mew. Already hitting the board. Interesting, interesting. So I'm trying to find a line that bails us out of this game. Ooh, I just had an idea. Hold up, let me check their list again. I just had a dangerous idea. We might actually be able to cheese this one, chat. We might actually be able to cheese this one. gonna require us to do some pretty dastardly things but we might be able to make it happen okay um think 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 step one holding rod holding okay yeah uh get rid of these two Find energies. Super cold. Uh, you're gonna hands the Mew, aren't you? That's not the idea, but that's also not a bad idea. Uh, well, that that's a plan B. I was gonna go. Okay, I'll I'll explain the line as I play it out. Uh, for now though, let's go. <laughs> Palpad, Boss Codebreaker. Palpad might actually come in clutch here. 
Rod, Chin Pao, uh, Bex Caliber, Leave Energies. We should have, what, at least two left, right? Three Retrieval? Yeah, we're chilling. Um, okay. Incisors. It's not quite what I'm looking to see. I'm fine putting another Bidoof into play. Um, Nest Ball is only two prizers, so we're not taking anything. Concealed cards. Irida, that's totally fine. Give me Prime Catcher and a Bax Calibur, I guess. Why not? Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say... Prime Catcher, Armor Rouge. Bring in Greninja. Oh, wait, they play hands, but we killed the Armor Rouge, so it's fine. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I got scared there for nothing. Um, hold the hand. Moonlight Shuriken. And then we go Knockout Active because of weakness. And 90 on Mew. Now, what we can do next turn is we can do one of two things. We can either hands Mew take three, or uh, we can do Greninja, um, we can go boss Heatran, Greninja, kill Heatran, kill Mew, right? Either works. Either works. We just need to hit one of them, right? If they attack us with the Heatran, that's even better, although I highly doubt they're going to do that. I highly, highly doubt they're going to do that. Actually, wait, do we have... No, we still have another rod. If we still have another rod, we can still get back on Greninja. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. You saw you pussy down a ranking Pidgeot, you coward. Listen, Emma, I'm doing you a favor, okay? I'm doing you a favor by not leaking the sauce. Trust. <laughs> Trust. Translation, Emma's plotting a murder on you? That's not new. That's like an average Wednesday, okay? <laughs> DTE Trinity. Okay. Okay. Our odds here are pretty good, chat. Our odds here are pretty good. We're probably gonna have to Iono though. Uh but that means oh wait, no, if we I know we're not bossing. Oh wait, shit, we don't have prime catcher. Oh wait, maybe this is bad. That's not a good top deck. Um For whatever reason I had it in my head that we could Iono here. Well, okay, we could still... How much HP is this? 120. Okay, we could still go... No, but an energy is enough. Think, think, think. Okay, let's nest ball. We want a thin hand. Here, here. We should not have grabbed Excalibur last turn. I think we have to go boss hands. Because drawing two is just not enough. This is really good. Um, Pokestop, Ultra Ball, the Barrel. Do we Pokestop now or after? It has to be after, right? Incisors. Shit, we're so close. We should not put Code Breakers back either. We can't conceal cards. Knocking out active, we lose to Bazin. We got rid of Iona, we can't Iona to one. Was that a blunder? We have to kill active because active always wins them the game here. Codebreaker. We don't play Countercatcher, unfortunately. If we played Countercatcher, I'd be I'd be up in arms right now, but damn. Um oh, I really thought we had him. Uh I mean okay, they could whiff. They could still whiff, technically. I just don't like our odds of that happening. <laughs> uh yeah, I think I just put like a I don't know, boss rod on top, don't bother hitting the stop and then go. Uh, 
here. Yeah, might as well. Uh, yeah, just gonna have to be hold the last one, I guess. Oh wait, that's a wait. Why am I going to hands? What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I? Okay, do I have energy in deck? I don't. Um, Herdeder. Uh, well now we just lose, right? Or unless we try to hit the stop. Oh wait, no, we have a no. We hit a we hit a rod here. We hit a rod here. It's fine. We don't need the boss anyway because we're going to one. Okay. For a second there, I was like, <laughs> that was a that was a miss sequence if I've ever seen it. Uh, we're still fine. I mean, okay, we're not fine. We're probably losing this game, but um, also we spent way more time than our opponent this round. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not gonna lie. We spent way more time. This game was also super hard to navigate. Um, this game was super hard to navigate. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Well, surely we just always lose this turn, right? Boss works just as fine, yeah. GG's. Oh, well, we tried. Um, oh, I'm thinking, like, is there a way we could have... Okay, so ignoring stuff like rotting back, back backs and... So let's see here. Uh, rot back backs and... Uh, palp had Cypher Maniac were probably definitely not correct. Um... But outside of that, we did what we could to maximize our odds, right? Um, of hitting it. Yeah. There was drop in last Tina. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do, chat. I'm going to run downstairs and uh, refill my water, uh, as well as go to the bathroom. Because uh, people got to do that sometimes, right? Um, so we're going to cut to a quick break. It's going to be like five minutes tops. Um, and, uh, I'll see you guys, and we'll hang out, probably play another ladder game, uh, right before, um, right before, uh, round number, what would be on, eight? Yeah, that'd be round eight, okay? So I'll see you guys in just a second, guys, don't go anywhere.
All right, chat, how we doing? Uh, I'm back. We have about, what, seven minutes left, but there's five five games left of the uh, of the round. So, yeah, I don't think we'll uh, be waiting too long. Uh, thoughts on Arctina? I think Arctina is good, but not like, it's not like BDIF by any means, but it's definitely up there. It's, like, it's, good. it's, a, it's a solid, okay deck that's probably going to be pretty good into a couple of tournaments, right? Mm. Hey, Indium, how are we doing? I'm trying to feed myself between rounds. <laughs> how are you not playing in bundle? Uh, how am I not playing bundle in this list? Mm. I'd like to, uh... I'd like to play bundle. <laughs> I'd like to play bundle. Actually, I, I'll probably test bundle after today. Loki. Um, I like the idea of playing bundle. I haven't really felt like a big need for it, though. Countercatcher would have won that game, yeah. Countercatcher would have won me that game. Um, I really think, like, the main... The main, like, blunder last like last round was just... Benching the Chin Pao on turn one. That was a misplay. Uh, for sure. And, you know, forgetting that Micro Ninja was prized despite prize checking is probably also not the best look. Uh, <laughs> uh, are we winning late night? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're at 5-2. I've already decided that um, I will not ID round 9 out of principle. So we have to win the next two to make it. Mm. Yeah. No, I had to have, um, I had to hit boss the last turn. Ideally, I hit boss the second to last turn, and then I can, and then I can, um, uh, prime catcher the last turn, right? But, it is what it is. Mm. <laughs> I do consider myself to be very based, as a matter of fact. Although saying that out loud is definitely not based. God, I hate how we speak nowadays. Working on the essay? That's fair. You think I'm going to go undefeated in phase two to make cut? That'd be dope. That would be dope if true. <laughs> Leak the meat you're eating? It's spipers. So like sausage. It's it's sausage. How do play good players don't brick? Uh th that's the secret. They do. They just don't talk about it. Or they do. They actually that's not true. <laughs> Top players are typically the whiniest about bricking, from my experience. Danish be like, bro, for real. Hmm. Cora, I wish I was eating chicken nuggies right now. <laughs> anytime, Nim. Anytime. Table hunts whiny? Maybe. I don't know. Am I Danish? I am Danish, as a matter of fact. But are you busted with the sauce? Trust. I am. Of course. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, he was asking about Gardevoir. Is Gardevoir real? Gardevoir is real, but it's just not, like, top tier, right? Like, the deck is real, but it's not, it's not even top five. It's probably somewhere in the top ten as far as decks are concerned right now. I think it's a solid top ten deck, but, like, nothing I'd expect to win originals. Can't tell them apart? All right, bro. Listen, as long as you don't confuse me with the Swedish, then you're fine. Why are you Danish? you Danish for the dessert. Ah, that's cringe. Should I ID next round? It's up to you. Completely up to you. Um, if you want to guarantee phase two, go for the ID. But honestly, man, this is your call. Um, you can play next round and then ID round, uh, and then out ID round nine if you want to, right? That probably makes most sense. Hmm. 
Whenever I go to visit yours, remind me to fix your webcam light. Lighting is bad and not flattering on you. Dude, I know. Well, so I literally I have one light in this entire room, right? There is no other light. It's just like this little desk lamp above my desk. Um, and no matter how I pan it, it's just going to look bright on my face, right? What I need to do is I just need to invest in proper lighting, right? Instead of whatever the... I mean, this is like... My setup is very um, impromptu. Let's like... It's a cheap webcam with a fucking piece of shit gaming headset um, and a shitty lamp, right? I mean, it's not... You know, it's not fancy, right? <laughs> it's not fancy, but like I don't need it to be, at least not now. But... He's flattering enough for me. Love you, Cam. Love you, Cam. <laughs> yeah. Why is a Swedish? What does that even mean? <laughs> Thoughts on Prime? Blue? I have no idea what that is, Moonpuff. Or Mooncake. <laughs> Black background? Nah. The background is fine. I just need better lighting. Thoughts on Chinese food? It tastes pretty good. What, what do you want me to say to that? <laughs> nah, I'll probably buy like an actual setup around sometime after EYC. Uh, is the plan. Ideally, depending on how, I, uh, how EYC goes, I'm going to be making more uh, more content besides streaming after UIC is the hope. Um, and then once I start doing that, I'll, you know, invest it in the actual setup instead of just, you know, my, you know, yeah, regular stuff, right? Hmm. Thoughts on Chinese language? I don't speak it. All right, we're against Tina. Uh, this should be fine. Um, yeah. I still don't really know what I feel, what, what I think about this matchup. on Chinese people. All right, calm down. <laughs> Questions are getting a little too targeted all of a sudden. <sighs> no, I actually think the Chinese language is is, uh, is very pretty. It's a nice language. It's also pretty practical to learn right now. So, Not that I'm going to do that, though. <laughs> All right, let's calm down and chat for a second, guys. Let's calm down and chat. Okay. Um. Let's uh, let's go. So we're against Tina this round. Uh oh, that is not what I meant to open. I'm trying to pull up the deck lists. Here we go. Yeah, Cora, you are allowed to ban people, by the way. I didn't make you a mod for fun. I mean, that's a lie. I did, but... <laughs> about to say. Chat's, chat's saying some very interesting things that I just don't think I should be talking about. Alright, they made us go first. That's fine. <laughs> the ban hammer. <laughs> Started hands. Uh-oh. I mean, there's, there is definitely worse matchups to start hands in, though. To be fair. Um, Poffin. Um, okay, we prize a Fridgy and a Bidoof. Interesting. Let's go Vessel Water. Grab Lightning Water. We might as well grab the Lightning, right? Um, then I'm going to hit the stop.
Turn two candy back to your amping. Yeah, trust. We always hit it. We always hit it. <laughs> uh, we might as well attach the lightning. I just, I don't think I can get away with Ultra Balling here, right? Well, maybe, I, maybe I can. I can go like Ultra Ball. There's no point in Ultra Balling if I'm not keeping water, and if I'm keeping stuff that isn't water, I'd have to go like Ultra Ball away. I'd have to go Ultra Ball Rod Ball, which just feels bad. So I think we're passing here, and then we're hoping we just don't get run over. They play Prime. They do play Prime. We have to hope they don't have Prime. I don't, I don't think we can ever Ultra Ball for second Fridgey here. It's never worth. Not with this hand. Yeah. Can Ultra Ball after attach? We could. I just don't think we should. Yeah. Listen, with any luck, they'll just spit on my hands and we'll vibe. They're digging for something though. Triple comfy. Are we, we really need to not get sacked here. Realistically, abyss seeking is just always the best play for my opponent here, right? Poke stop. Oh, they poke stop the prime catcher. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over, chat. It's over. It is over. Wait, if they they whiffed chorus, they whiffed chorus. We top back the arena. Chat, we're gaming. Chat, we're gaming. <laughs> Holy. They whiff, they whiff chorus, and then we top back Irida. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the regional champ diff. No. <laughs> we're so good. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, this this is just downright criminal. Um, okay, I need to think so I make sure I don't miss sequence here. The barrel's a given. Let's get the obvious out of the way here. Um, I like Irida for vessel for vessel and uh, backs. That seems good, right? Yeah, let's go for that. Backs, no vessel. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go for, I kind of don't mind heavy ball. Well, okay, we have, what, three energy? No, let's do, let's do back, let's go back's nest ball. Let's go back's nest ball. Um, we prized one Fridgy, one, uh, beaver. So, Poffin's probably not worth here. Uh, so I think we go candy backs. We go Nest Ball, Greninja. This gives us three water in discard. That's fine. I think we... Okay, Nest Ball, Friggy. Three water still. Superior... Shin Pao Ultra Ball. Grab three water. Super cold the three water. Uh, am I down a rod? No. Then I'm fine playing rod to get back back to Shin Pao. And then we get to incisors for three. I think that was correct sequencing. But frankly, I just don't have enough reps with this deck to be 100% sure. Either way, we've done what we need to do. We got our second fridge backs, and we're going to say amp you very much. Whew. Okay. I think I, I think I did that correctly. Not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a pal bot, but. <laughs> that was, you know what? I, regardless of anything, I think we just cannot complain about this turn two. Yeah. Uh, stop first was debatable with one backs and discard already. We are, yeah, we already had rod in hand. So if we hit the, I actually think the stop first is correct. 
because we want to rot we have the rod right uh and the stop is the variable but we have the knockout regardless right like i think no matter if we if we do stop first we still always we still always have the knockout right and we have the recovery card so i think it's fine um yeah if we didn't have rod in hand then stop first is a massive red flag though um for sure uh what about gusting greninja and greninja to comfy i guess we could have done that but i think with with hands and active we just want to get use out of it right because with four energies on hands they have to respond to hands and us getting hands off the board is good right um us getting hands off the board is very good so the goal for next turn kind of has to be um kind of has to be take take two prize cards with whatever either either chin pao or or greninja preferably greninja uh since they don't play manaphy and then get a uh get us uh Bidoof in play right so that we have a likely response to the uh roxanne sableye the B barrel right i think that's the line for us here evening we winning we are always winning we never take l's <laughs> okay so uh there's a lot of options here again um we have we don't have superior Ooh. okay uh ultra ball away poffin oh we have superior okay then we can do poffin vessel right poffin vessel grab backs play down stop bib for two yeah i think this is fine um i can get to guarantee the second backs in play play down the stop do we use stop before bib uh, probably not right i'm so good um okay you already here is broken right Surely, Irida here is broken. No, Iono here is broken. Iono here is broken. What am I talking about? How are we feeling about Shin Pao? A lot better than I thought I would. <laughs> I'm going to be real. A lot better than I thought I would. So, Irida... No, I, it's still called Iono. Iono Moonlight Shuriken is just insane here, right? So, I think we hit the Poker Stop. You know, that's not what I had in mind. Um... Okay, we have a rod left, but that's still a bit sketchy. Okay, well, we'll go Superior, Irida, Nest Ball. Grab these. Super cold. I'll just attach all four to Greninja. Uh, and then I can Concealed cards whatever I hit off of the Iono. And leaving... Leaving the Tina here in the active is also so good for us, right? Because they need to hit... They need to hit Gate. Which, to be fair, they only, they're only down one, right? A two. Okay. Oh, uh, we hit Heavy. That's nuts. That's so good. That's the only card we needed to hit there. Now we just want to have Rod, but we have a we have our last C-Pow, so we don't even need to hit Rod. We just want to hit Rod, right? <clears throat> uh, that's fine. That's super okay. Our hand is basically perfect for next turn yeah and that's only of course assuming we don't get um we don't get roxanne or we do yeah we don't get roxanne if we get roxanne we're still fine right They play Devo? No, they don't. <laughs> if they play Devo, we lose, but I'm fairly certain they're not playing Devo. <laughs> Alright, there's Colrus. That is not Roxanne. Chat, we are in business. We have our last C-Pal in deck. <laughs> I am very susceptible to gaslighting. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there's the gates. That's fine. Do we have another candy? We have another candy, right? We have another candy, but it, it doesn't matter regardless, right? It doesn't matter regardless. There's the Sable. 
Attacking with Sable is still probably always correct, though, as my opponent, right? The crazy thing is, if they go... Don't we just have game? I think we just have game, right? Because we go Nest Ball, Sea Pal. Um, no, wait, we don't have enough energy in discard. But then we find the last energy off of um, off of Chivalry Chill, so that doesn't actually matter. Yeah, so we just have game. We, we literally have game. We go Nest Ball, Sea Pal. Retreat Greninja into Sea Pal. Um, Chivalry. Uh, boss. Superior. Done. Yeah. Yeah, we just win here. That's crazy. That's a wild game. We sacked the shit out of my opponent. I am not gonna lie. That was a massacre. Um, yeah. Then we go... Well, let's retreat first. It's technically proper sequencing, but I think we kind of win regardless. We just need five, so it's whatever. There's two. There's three. There's six. Yeah. Buy Irida. Buy Cypher I mean, either of those cards could have found, found us Prime Catcher. That's the craziest part, right? Either of those cards are... <clears throat> yeah, either of those cards are Prime Catcher. We go here. We go 5th Chen Pao. And then we win. This deck is a lot better than I thought it was. And that's terrifying to me. Um, because all of a sudden, I am respecting Chen Pao a lot more than I thought I should going into EUIC. Maybe I, maybe I just play it. Well, so originally my thought process was that sh that Prime Capture was actually bad for Chin Pao. Not because you don't want to play it yourself, but because other decks playing it makes your Vex Calibers more vulnerable. But I guess if you're just slinging so much damage at them, like, most of your matchups, they kind of just can't stop you from smacking them. Like, from just smacking them all over the place, right? And, like, as long as your turn two is correct... Or is, is good, right? Would you respect enough to run Toad Scroll on Arc? It's probably overkill, but it's not a bad shout, right? Uh, people want to see the list, I'll put up in just a second. Let me just report the win real quick. I guess my opponent hasn't done already. I'll pull up the, okay, we have plenty of time. So let's play some um let's play some hands on the what's it called? On the uh, ladder. Here's the list. Real quick, um, I'll just scroll through it. You can also just go to um, to Late Night's tournament, uh, tournament page and uh, find me and find a list, right? It's a, it's a pretty basic CPAL list, though. It's a pretty basic CPAL list. All right, six and two, though. I don't want to take the ID. I'm going to be real. I really don't want to ID. Um, mainly just because we're here for the content, not for the wins, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's um let's play out the last round as well. Just started playing yesterday. Is there a good budget deck to start with? Um, well, if you're playing IRL and you want a good budget uh, budget deck to start with, um, let me think. Post rotation. I mean, Shin Pao is pretty inexpensive, right? Like if you played without the Iron Hands, I think getting the Shin Pao's is pretty cheap. I honestly don't remember. I guess. The A specs are really expensive right now. Ancient Box is a good shout. Ancient Box is a good shout. Um, yeah, Ancient Box is good. Um, I think, like, right now, the most expensive card in every deck is probably the A spec. But A spec prices are going to fall off a of price really soon. But, I mean, budget decks and Pokemon, like... I mean, the entire format is under $100 for a deck. You could probably build a deck for 30 bucks. Um, as long as you're willing to play without an ace back. So, yeah. Bibzard is not a bad shout, either. Yeah. If you play on the, um, if you play on the client, then you should have access to everything, because you get a bunch of decks for free. Um, in which case... Uh, yeah, just play whatever you want. Also, wow, did we actually... We have zero Iron Crowns in play. <laughs> we have zero Crowns. We can't even kill the Spirit Zoom. That's wild. 
I guess that's kind of good though, right? Like, we, we don't really want to kill the tomb. We want to go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Lugia on the client. I mean, okay, if you're trying to learn a, if you're trying to learn the game fundamentally, I actually think Chen Pao is a super good place to start. Chen Pao has a um a pretty low skill floor and a very high skill ceiling. So it's a deck that's gonna reward you for playing the game a lot and teaches you the fundamentals of Pokemon. Um so Chen Pao is probably um yeah, probably my my big recommendation if you just want a deck to start off with. Um, just because it teaches you the game really well. Shen Pao's new view, Mew VMAX? Not quite. Um, but it's also, I mean, then again, like Mew taught fundamentals really well, all things considered, right? Mew taught the fundamentals pretty well. Yeah, it feels so good to find niche plays, that's true. Arctina is the new Mew? I don't know about that one, Chief. Yeah. Um, Zardiax over Pal to begin to basic? Uh, it depends on what you mean. Like, you mean like Zard is better than Pal? Because I'm personally of the opinion that, Zar that Zard is uh, very overhyped. Yeah. Lugia isn't a good deck to learn on. I think it's a fine deck to learn on. I don't think it's a bad deck to learn the game. Um, I mean, it's not like amazing to learn the game but i i don't think i don't think that is bad to learn the game on yeah i mean no no deck in standard matches Mew's draw power nothing nothing matches that right okay they didn't do anything cool um i guess i'll attach fighting research Find booster, thank you. We still have no crown. <laughs> we have no crown chat. Um or iron hands for that matter. If this iron hands get knocked gets knocked out, we're about to throw three energies onto him or right on. <laughs> uh which would not be very good. Yeah. No, I think in general my my recommendation for a beginner playing Pokemon is Chin Pao. Uh, it's easy to build on live. It's pretty cheap to build to build IRL with like Prime Catcher and Iron Hands are expensive, but you can play the deck just fine without those cards. And if you want to buy the cards, they'll obviously make the deck better. Um, and then yeah, um, I I just think Chin Pao is a really good deck to start the game with. Yeah. And there's also there's the build and battle Chin Pao. This is true. Yeah. Asking as if there's a linear way to play Zardiax plays makes it easier for beginners. Oh, um. Oh, like that. Okay, so I think Zard is easier to play for beginners for sure. Uh, but I don't think Zard teaches the game as well. But I do think okay, I think Zard is a is another good deck to play as a beginner because just playing Pidgeot is a good way to teach the game, right? Because Pidgeot gives you so many options just by being in your deck. Uh, that it's going to make you have to think. Um, I would still recommend Shin Pao over it, but I, Zard is also a very good place to start. Um, yeah. Is a single Psychic Energy worth here to attack with Maridon? In the deck as a whole, probably not, just because you want to be playing Gift Energies. Um, but, I mean, it's not it's not terrible, right? I mean, you could play worse cards, for sure. Um, you could definitely be playing worse cards. Let's see how much time do we have left. Eight minutes? Yeah, we'll be fine. Gonna ID last round and then watch you play a ladder last round? Dope. It's gonna be fun. If my opponent asks for the ID, I might just take the ID. Although I do want to play it out. It's definitely not an excuse for me to end the stream early if I lose and then go to sleep. <laughs> it's definitely not it. Oh, we're oh we're about to get rolled by this roaring moon. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over, chat. Listen, it's hard to play the game if you can't find Pokemon, okay? <laughs> this Techno Radar hit the hand a little too late. I guess, like, okay, if they knock out... They don't, they go knock out hands, we respond, we go to... Really? Nah, there's no way that's correct. 
Oh, okay. Well, duh. I guess if that's their only Switch card. Um, I was about to say, like, what are they doing? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. This is this is fine. Um, well, they go to two. No, they go to four. We go to two because we just punch them with peak acceleration. And then we just... Uh, we just win, right? Arvin's fine. You already had one, so it's whatever. Um, I'll get rid of one. I'll do... Hands... Crown... And then what we want to do here is I'm going to do a gift. I'm going to do Arvin again. I'm going to double check my energy count real quick. Should have plenty, right? Yeah, we have plenty. Um, in which case, we go Heavy Baton Techno Radar. And then we go Techno Radar Lost Vacuum. Grab Hands Crown. Then we go, yeah, that there, hold booster, peak acceleration, kill moon. If they kill the hands we put the energy on, the heavy baton is going to make it so that uh, they go to this iron hands, then we can still win. If we had actually hold up, pause. Um, I attached the gift energy because if they knock it out, we draw cards. But what we should have done is we should have held the gift energy and then attach the basic because we can then move free basic and we don't have to hit generator. So that's a misplay, but I don't think it'll matter. Right? It shouldn't matter. It might, but it shouldn't. Yeah. Rod, okay, so we're going for Moon again. I guess there's nothing else to do, right? I mean, if, assuming they don't play Hoopa, this is really your only option. And if they are able to Moon this, then you're not procking. Well, no, then you're losing to Maridon, though. So they have to go kill Crown. They have to put a Stadium in play, kill Crown. That's the win con. If they do that, we have game in hand. But they, obviously, I mean, they don't know that. Um, yeah. Right, what are they vacuuming away? Chorus? I mean, I have no problem with that, right? Um, yeah. Gates, probably to the moon, right? Let's see here. Mew EX. Okay, sure. We're not attacking with Mew, are we? That doesn't seem correct. We're going for crown. Probably attaching dark to moon, right? Roxanne. Okay, so we're Roxanne into switch card dark energy. That's a good that's actually a pretty good shout. Okay, we'll hit boss, GG. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be fair. To be fair, with Prime Catcher still left, we had a lot of outs because of Arvin. But but hitting boss is just objectively funnier, right? Hitting the boss surely is just funnier. Also, the Mew is a blunder here because the Mew is actually what's allowing us to win. Uh, we can't kill Moon. Right? Yeah, there's the stadium. We can't kill Moon. Um, are four hands really necessary? No. I'm only playing three, so... <laughs> um, I don't I don't think there's any reason to play four hands. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's ever justifiable. Three is completely fine. Um, yeah. I don't hate free and heavy ball though. I like the heavy ball. Uh, and don't think I'm playing it myself, but it's not a bad shout. And I have admittedly prized double hands more times than I care to admit. So. Uh, yeah, we just arm press for knockout because we have one crown. Uh, I play the rod. Yeah, I play the rod right now. Uh, no heavy in this list, but I'd like to play it. It's just, the list is very tight. I'm trying out a couple different things. Christian playing out of his mind when it doesn't matter, folding when it does, font's not back at it again. <laughs> Don't call me out like that, man. I I play my best when I'm already losing. 
<laughs> that's um that's not really untrue and maybe that's a problem <laughs> maybe the fact that that's a correct statement is an issue there's a model from a city in flames that discards energy when you bench it i'm aware um pair that with penny and lugia's dead i don't think it's i don't think it's for lugia i think the mawile like its use case is mainly to remove you can remove gift which is nice but any deck that wants to remove gift uh is probably just better off playing temple of Sinnoh. but i think certain decks like lost box or like certain like if you're playing like heavy moony x decks um playing one of those to like remove a mist energy probably is not a bad shout um yeah, I kind of like that idea. Then we have a loss. We have a Sables art up here. This is with hands. Is this a real archetype chat? It's 8 0. Oh my god. Okay. Are we running it back with Sables art for EYC? Is that what's going on here? I would not be opposed. I'm not going to lie. I'd be super okay with that. I would be super, super okay with that. We've got a net player up here. That's dope. That's fun. Um, interesting. Okay. Pairing should be up any second now. <laughs> do it? Do what? Oh, play Sables Art for UIC? I might. I might just have to. <laughs> what does Sables Art lose? Sables Art lost Raihan and Clara primarily. Um... Yeah, that's about it. Which, those are important, but, like, there's ways to change that. Or, like, to help with that, I should say. I... I'm definitely gonna have to test Sables Art. I think we're definitely doing a Sables Art stream on Friday. Um... Yeah. Sables Art is definitely a couple hours of Sables Art on Friday. I'll give it a feel. See how I like it. Yeah, well, so Raihan is replaceable because you have, um... It's like Mela or something. It's, it's a supporter card, right? That is discard. Like, it's a supporter that says if you got knocked out last turn, you discard or you attach a fire energy from discard and you draw until you have six cards. So you're not searching cards, but you are accelerating extra energies to, um, like, with a fire energy, right? So, uh, Squovit B Control, you have Squovit. I don't think you've tried to play Squovit in anything besides the barrel decks, right? So I guess you could play in like Chen Pao, but that that's just not worth it. I think you can beat control regardless. You just have to not start uh Bidoof, Right? Bro, I don't know. You tell me, Davis. You tell me. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Any second now round's gonna go up. Oh, I have water. I forgot I had that. I forgot I filled up my water bottle. All right, we're vibing. We're vibing, chat. Can we uh, can we get into a round bow? That'd be kind of nice. <laughs> Pull up the list again for those who haven't seen it. We have time to kill, right? Honestly, so far this list has, this list has felt great. The pal pad is good, but the more I think about it, the more I just think it makes more sense to play counter catcher in that slot. Um. Yeah, Countercatcher instead of Palpad is probably worth trying. Um, everything else feels great. Boss over. I think we play both. I like I like the boss more. Well, so this current list gets to play boss twice because of Palpad. But low-key, having to use boss as your supporter twice in the game is a lot. I really like the boss, though. But I just don't know if the boss is worth it without the Palpad because of the Pokestops. But you also will be playing two Pokestops, so... Hmm. I I don't hate the idea of one prime catcher, one counter catcher, one boss though. I don't hate that idea. Round start, dope. Uh, let's see what we got here. Chin Pao Mirror. Okay. Um, will my opponent ask for ID? If they ask for the ID, I'll take the ID. If they don't ask for the ID, if they don't ask for the ID, I don't. I won't ask either, and we'll just play. Um, I think that's, that's the line here. I'll just, yeah, leave that there. Let you guys look at the list. Uh, send my opponent a friend request. And, uh, reset here. So what's in their pal list? Let's see here. 
Um, no Iono, no boss, no counter catcher either. Interesting. Uh, double Poke Gear. Hmm. Yeah, and they're playing one less vessel and one less water. Interesting. Take out Palpad and one energy, put in Bund. I like 10 energy. You probably don't need it, but yeah. So you just gotta open your domain on this guy. <laughs> domain expansion shivery chills. They're never ready, bro. They're never ready. <laughs> Oh god. We're probably not online, right? Actually we have to reset again because I maybe I maybe logged out too fast. I went free poffin. I like four. I wanna play consistency above all else. Uh, my opponent has not asked for an ID, so I, I just assume we're not doing that. That's chill with me. I am really just playing for the content though, right? See if you go first and offer ID, do for real. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be really, really, really funny. Um, yeah, all right, what was there? Levy something? Levi something? I might have to refresh. I'm not sure if I'm that, well, so I already refreshed, but I didn't accept their Request until after I got back in. So maybe that is now the right here. Okay, chill. Um, pow. Yeah. Neither of us have offered ID, so there's gotta be an ID. Um, actually, do you want ID? <laughs> <laughs> Domain expansion regional chip diff. That'd be hysterical. Could you imagine someone on, like, broadcast at UIC does some fucking hand sign and, um, and says domain expansion? <laughs> would it be cringe? Absolutely. But it, would, it, would it be hysterical? For sure. Uh, I don't think they're... Here we go. Uh, yeah. Live glitches. Yay. <laughs> uh, what do you think of builds of, like, two chin pals to free? I think it's fine, but then you're playing the Kyogre, and I'm not super high on the Kyogre. You're either playing two Chin Pao, one Kyogre, or uh, three Chin Pao, no Kyogre. And I think three Chin Pao, Ky one, zero Kyogre, there we go, which is better. Um, but I haven't tested Kyogre, so I really can't say. Oh, we lost one flip, guys. Pack it up. GG's. Nice stream. Good job, guys. Thanks for coming out. No. <laughs> I'll call it domain expansion. It's uh, it's a it's a Jujutsu Kaisen reference <laughs> for my uh, for my fellow weebs in the audience. All right, Mulligan and hand start. All right, <laughs> it's Jover chat. It's Jover. <laughs> Packed it up. Someone mute. <laughs> yeah. Hands, yeah, hands start, we're, we're done. <laughs> Imaginary technique, all of shuriken. <laughs> oh, shit. I think chat's lost in the sauce. Okay, in all fairness, though, we have Poff and Double Nest Ball. Right? So we go... Do we have to go Triple Fridgey? We're not playing Manaphy. We might actually have to go Triple Fridgey if we want to win this game. Because if not, we just kind of lose to concealed cards, right? They're poke gearing now. Watch, bro. Watch me top deck Iono. Watch me top deck that Iono. Okay, fuck. <laughs> okay, they absolutely will agree Ninjas next turn. There's, I have no doubt in my mind. <laughs> okay, top top deck Frenchie's good. Um, let's Poffin for two Friggy. <laughs> this is the Friggy army. Uh, if they're smart about it, they just bonk our, our hands and we have no bench space, but we have to grab triple Friggy. Uh, so I think we go Nest Ball Greninja. Uh, 
yeah, Nest Ball Greninja, uh, Concealed Cards Water. I mean, I guess that could be worse. Pokestop could also be worse. Um, Nest Ball Bidoof, because if we want a Chen Pao, they're going to have to knock something out. If they don't knock anything out, we literally just Greninja our hands, right? So, uh, yeah, Lightning here. Probably just a pass. Yeah. Use the hands and then you just run it back. <laughs> For real. Well, so it's it's 19 match points to make phase two or which or top 32, whichever is higher, right? Let me double check that. Um, no, it's not whichever is higher. Okay, it's literally yes. Yeah, so there's no there's no three there's no or yeah there's no six three. That's the word. There's no six three makes it. All right, chat. We should have asked for the ID. <laughs> we should have asked for the ID, chat. <laughs> punished. Mad punished. Where's the barrel? You expect getting KO'd? Oh, the hands? No, I think I'm fine attaching to the hands. I'm fine putting hand, uh, putting that into this card. I want to get hands out of play. I don't need eight, uh, one bundle, or for bundle of you just play two poke stop. I only, I am only playing two poke stop. I'd like to play more. Nah, I'd amp. <laughs> I mean, if they go, I mean, they're not, but if they went Greninja, Fridgy Fridgy, um, we'd be chilling. Okay, so what, what type of miracle can we try to pull out of our ass here? Um, they start by going two. And then the only reason, the only way we're taking multi-price turns is by using Iron Hands or Chin Pao, of course. Um, but we can't do that. Put Ninja over. Wait, pause. Hold up. Ninety, ninety. Wait, ninety, ninety. 90, 90, 90. No, that's that's not enough. That's not enough. Unless they bench another Fridgy. What's the odds of them whiffing? Non-existent. Okay. I have the line I'm going to try to go for. Uh, and we're just going to see if it works. Uh, candy. We're going to have to... We're going to have to cook here. Um... And I have an idea as to how we can make this work. I'm not confident that this will work, but I owe it to myself to try, right? I owe it to myself to try. Bib, whiff, whiff, or well, you, you can't whiff a cologne, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> incisors, that's completely fine. Um... Let's do Pokestop. Perfect. Um, concealed cards. Actually, maybe that was a misplay. I never punished. Uh, Vessel. Shen Pao. Water, water. Then we go one, two, three. They discarded two rods, did they? Oh, shit, they discarded two rods. Oh, but they still go... Oh, but they, okay, they, they play three rods, though. Um, let me double-check this list before I say something stupid. They play three rod, two Bex Calibers, so they can still go... No, it's not worth it. They can still get that back. Uh, maybe I should have played for that Wincon, though. It's too late for that now. Uh, Irida is... Com or Irida. Iono is completely fine here. Um, it's fine. I have, a, I have a different line I'm cooking up in my head. I have a different line. Oh, wait, should I have to evolve or I lose for Ninja? Oh, I whiffed. Oh, shit, I had to evolve the second Bax. This plan doesn't work if they go Greninja, Fridgy, Fridgy. 
Is there any way I can do anything else here? I don't think there is. Could I have done anything in my last hand? I don't think I could have. But I... Could I have seek... Mm. Could I have sequenced better to allow myself an out there? I don't know. All right, let's see what they do here. Let's see what they do here. We're not out of it. Nest ball. With. I mean, listen, ideally here. Oh, they'll play hands. We also lose the hands, actually. Yeah, the line I was thinking about loses the hands even more than it loses to Greninja. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, if they don't hands me here, I think we win. If they do hands me, I think we're fucked. <laughs> um, it is really just like... It is really just a 50-50. Well, not actually, but you know. Um, okay, they're going for Greninja. I think. Probably. Yeah, they're probably going for Greninja here. They need one energy and they get to go 90-90. But if they go 90-90... Just ask for ID now to understand. <laughs> oh god. I'd have to I'd have to like shoot my pride in the face to do that, surely. Now do they never hands? Not anymore if they have four energy on on cards that aren't Iron Hands EX, right? Is it 50-50 if they hands or not? That <laughs> Yeah, because either they hands or they don't hands. That's how that's how mathematics and probability work, right? Trust. Okay, so they're going to go to two here. And they're going to pre-establish the Chin Pao. That is smart of my opponent to do that. Um, the four, that doesn't work either. Ugh. Ugh. Um, but Doof is a fine bench. Okay, so I'm trying to go Greninja. Yeah, we just don't have enough time to finish this game. They've taken too many prize cards. We have Palpat off the Pokestop, I guess we have an out? No. Understandable. Um... Rod... Bridgie, Pow, hands? Nah, Pow, Pow can stay, we'll grab water. Well, so it isn't a, well, actually, ooh, wait, hold up, 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 hold up. I just stalled them if I kill the backs. Now nah, we're so in it, chat, we're so in it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my own Fridgy backs first. Um, then I'm gonna go... Retrieval. Yeah, I have the line. I see the line. I see the line, chat. We're gonna go one, two. There. Uh, the rest doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna get rid of here. Don't bench pow. So we just grab Prime Catcher. Actually, maybe we should have held Irida and dug for boss then. That's too late for that now. Well, okay, let's concealed cards first. Um, okay, now we go Prime Catcher, B -B Barrel, and we go. Uh, no, yeah, no reason to play anything else. That's fine. That's for next turn. We go here. We go here. We hold the hand. They can't hand disrupt us anyway. Uh, and then we go Moonlight Shuriken. We knock out the Excalibur. And then I think we go... So we go to four. Yeah, so we go 90 Greninja. Next turn we go 90 Greninja, 90 Pow. And then we go Iron Hands, Pow for game. Is that enough? No, wait, Iron Hands Power for Nut Game is not enough with 90. Never mind, then. Never mind. Um, I guess we're just trying to farm their... Yeah, their Frigibax, then.
Yeah. Hey, cross then? Cross then? You can you like not judge my math? <laughs> How are we doing today, man? How are we doing today? I haven't seen you in here in a while. <laughs> All right, they're gonna try to prime catcher stall. Oh, they already have the energy. Heard there. They have energy for one attack, right? Shouldn't they then be attacking with? Damn, yeah, also crazy they had to, well, okay, I just think they can ear it up for Prime Catcher, so, you know. Um, but if I go... We try to dig for boss here, it's probably the line, right? Um... Yeah. That's the third rod, right? Fairly certain it is. Got a one here. I don't actually think them killing Baxcalibur here is correct because when they kill Baxcalibur, oh wait, no, they, they can still attach another energy. So they go attach to Chin Pao, but now that they're down, it doesn't, it's, okay, it shouldn't matter because now that they're down, um, now that they're down Prime Catcher, if we go Gust the Barrel, kill Friggy, kill Friggy, they can't retreat, we win the game. Right? No backs to kid ninja. Also, ninja isn't ninja isn't game because of uh the dupes ability. Unless they'd have okay, they could also have been Yeah, well it doesn't matter. Um Okay. Time to dig. Let's go have we used Palpad? No. Therefore, I'm going to stop first. That's fine. That's super okay. That's actually so good. That is so good. Okay. Um, I can go Ultra Ball, Irida, Water Energy. We can discard that, no problem. Concealed Cards. We don't want to Pal Pad. Surely, surely Ultra Ball this. Oh, we don't have another barrel. Fuck, I thought I had another barrel. Okay, then that was a blunder. Because now I'm only drawing three cards. Ah, damn it. Um, now I have to sack. I thought I had another barrel, but it's prized. I could have thinned so much more out of my hand. Alright, too late for that. Damn. Uh, punished at the end for not prize checking. Shit. Okay. Um. I mean, is there a line back into this? They're down four retrieval. But I mean, all it takes is shivery chills, and they have knockout. Right. We're down two candy. <sighs> yeah, that's why we prize check. <laughs> for real. Um. Hold up. Wait. Wait. We don't need boss, do we? Uh, sorry. Wait. We don't need boss. Am I just... Okay. This might just actually be the wildest tunnel vision I've ever seen. We don't need boss. I'm about like... <laughs> we don't need boss, do we? Surely not, right? Yeah, no, like, chat, I understand why you're confused. I'm just out of my mind. Yeah, no, we just win. What? Oh my god, I need to drink some more water. What? Very happy didn't throw that. So I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to chat, and then I had the realization in my head, wait, they just can't retreat right and then i look at chat and chat's just like losing it right <laughs> they already used their prime catcher they can't retreat pal and then we need to go retreat yeah we have we have power retrieval in hand that's crazy 
That's crazy. Um, well, I am very glad that I play a lot better in tournaments than I do when I am streaming because, wow, um, if I ever made that play at an official tournament, I would never live it down for the rest of my life. Well, okay, if I had done anything else, right? I don't think I ever don't see the play, right? Because even if I'm sitting there going, like, like agonizing over not having boss, I still look at the board and go, killing two Fridgy is still correct, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> Reggie Fro. That's, that's the perfect time to spam Reggie Fro. <laughs> this guy won a regional? Don't even, don't even go there, man. Don't even go there. I'm tripping balls, okay? <laughs> And I'm just not. I'm just normal stupid, right? I'm just, I'm just a, like the normal kind of stupid. Not any special kind of stupid. Just normal stupid. Oi. All right, we're in phase two. Yay. <laughs> oh, God. It is past my bedtime. Um... All right, well, I guess we take those. Seven and two, chat. This is how you beat Chin Pao without a, uh, without winning the coin flip. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Well, that sure was a game of all time. Um. Damn, Japan's doing really well today. Interesting. All right, uh, let's check this out. Here's the matchups for phase number one. For those curious, for people. People tuning in now. Um, yeah, here's the deck list as well. Deck list been treating me good, but I think the conclusion so far is probably cutting Palpad for a counter catcher. Right? Um, yeah. How is the future man's uh, future hands matchup for Pal? Um, uh, what did I do? What did I do against Future Hands? I think I just spawned stuff, right? Well, I just, I played around their line of amping. Well, so basically what I did is I made sure that they couldn't amp my Chen Pao for three prize cards and kind of kept them out of the game that way. Um, but that's not always easy to force. It kind of depends on, like, what tool cards they put in play. You want to try to punish them for attaching the Heavy Baton, right? Um... Which is hard to do because attaching the heavy baton is almost always uh, almost always correct for them. So yeah. All right, we're chilling. Seven two, baby. Let's go. What a what even is an ID chat? What even is an ID? <laughs> simple question. Let simple. Let that point of discard two rods. <laughs> Turn two and you win. This is true. This is a very good point. Well, no, even then, right? Because we went 90 backs, 90... Um, yeah, 90 backs, 90... Friggy kill Friggy. If they bench another Friggy, we just do the same. So they'd have to then re-bench double Friggy in that case, right? I don't know. What even is getting punished? Bro, true. What is a punish? <laughs> just draw everything you need to draw. Shimansky's Corner just uploaded an article about that. I haven't read it. Uh, what do you think about 1-1 Vulpix line? In Chen Pao, it's unnecessary. It's just not needed. Like, is it bad? Not in theory, but in practice, I just don't think you get enough use out of it to warrant playing it, right? Um, is Pathra Satsu doing well? Yeah, there's been a couple of... Uh, as, <clears throat> as Pathra decks uh, roaming around top tables at a couple of events now. Um, all right, this one is, is one of the more interesting ones I've seen for sure with the scissor. I haven't seen that before. Don't hate it. Um, I really don't have much to comment on. Is this late for you? Well, it's not like late, late. It's like, what, quarter to ten? It's not late as in go to sleep late. It's late as in, um, I haven't eaten much today and... Uh, <laughs> by the time we're done with phase two and hopefully not top cut, God, I wish I, I hope I'm dreaming of losing right now. Um, 
<laughs> then uh, it's gonna be late, right? It's gonna be late. Uh, what are Chin Pao's worst matchups? Probably Charizard. Charizard's not that good of a matchup. Uh, if they play well anyway, if they just target your max calibers. Um, besides that, though, I think Chin Pao has pretty good matchups all around. Um, like, you have, you take a couple 50-50s. I don't think Hands is favored. Um, but I mean, really, if we just take a look at the metagame, you're probably, un you're unfavored in Tazard, probably 50-50ing Hands, favored against, um, favored against Lost Box. I have, Lugia matchup's 50-50, right? Lost Zone should be favored. If you're playing the Hands and you're playing the Canceling Clone in case they play Manaphy, then I think you're fine. Um... Tina should be favored as well. Guardi's favored. Ancient Box is a, is a pretty bad matchup, admittedly. Uh, Great Tusk is probably a bad matchup, but I'm, I'm frankly not sure. Great Tusk isn't a real deck anyway, so I don't know that I care. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, the worst matchups, probably Zard. Um... But, I mean, like, you're you're taking a lot of 50-50s and then a couple of favorable matchups where it matters. Uh, if Lost Box players knows the matchups is unfavorable for Pow, I don't think so. Uh, I think the combination of Iron Hands and uh, Greninja Canceling Clone in the same deck is, is too much. I don't think it's, like, unwinnable for Lost Box by any means, right? I, I think the matchup is close, but at the highest level, I think Chin Pao is going to win more games than Lost Box in that matchup. Uh, it sounds like you're in the States. I'm I'm American. I live in Europe though. Um, put one compi, then they draw less, and then they lose the hands, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The HP values in in Ancient Box make it a lot uh, a lot harder for Pal. Ancient Box is definitely not a good match for Pal. Uh, everything else is niche. I don't really know where I'd put most of this, right? Uh, Lax Emma for Pal is like, no, 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 not even close. Um, the Lax Pal matchup, from my experience, is really just a case of, um, of, like, what the Chen Pal player starts. Although the Airy is gonna make it a lot harder. I think Block Slax is probably favored, but not to that heavy of an extent. Um, 95 is, I don't think a single matchup in the game is 95-5. Uh, it straight up doesn't exist, right? Um, yeah, no, my, my American accent is going to be there when I speak English. Um, well, so I am, um, I'm bilingual. I have, a uh, like, two nationalities, right? Oh, we have round. Dope. Um, no check on required for phase two? Sure. Argon Sard. Okay. Sard the Barrel. So that's a better matchup for us than Sard Pidgeot, for sure. Um, but yeah, no, the Airy, the Airy makes the matchup harder. Because, um, uh, because they can mill your superior energy retrievals. By the time you get one Bax into play, you probably don't care about the candies getting milled. Um, but, yeah, uh, the matchup is probably not favorable anymore. I think pre-rotation it's a 50-50, post-rotation it's unfavorable, right? Yeah. Yeah, using a bit of Hyper Ball, but it's definitely favored. I think I think we're looking at like a 60-40 in all honesty. I actually don't think it's that heavily favored. It's it's definitely uh, lax favored, but I mean, you can also just play the item cards in your hand. Because the only items you like really care about are uh, Rod and Superior Energy Retrieval. So as long as you're allowed to play them and like get the energy on the board, like you're kind of fine, right? Delphox, though? Oh, there is a Delphox in this deck. We can just play around Delphox. We're fine. It's very rare that they're going to get value out of Delphox against Chin Pal. Uh, they'd have to, like, boss Frigibax, kill Frigi the Barrel type of thing, right? And that's just... I don't know. That's not likely. Uh, especially when we're just responding and taking two prize cards, right? So... Alright. What was her opponent's name? Kirkox? Sure. Yeah, here we go. Uh, uh, bilingual is that some, is that an illness? No, that is uh, that is when <laughs> I know that's bait, by the way. Uh, that is when you speak two languages fluently. Uh, but yeah, I'm also I'm a dual citizen, right? Um, I have dual citizenship. Mom's Danish, dad's American, right? Um, and so I have uh, I get to cheat the system a bit. 
No belt, it's pal favorite for sure. No, because what I'm actually scared of is them targeting my uh my Vex calibers. That's what I'm scared of. I'm not I'm not worried about the belt. I mean the belt makes the matchup harder, but Prime Cat not yeah, Prime Catcher makes the matchup harder in its own way, right? Uh I did not know we were going first or second. Um I'm going second. Okay. In that case, let's start Green Ninja. I should probably switch the screen over. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> deep down, you're actually French, as we established. <laughs> Genetically, probably. I mean, there's, there has to be at least a little bit of French in me, uh, considering my last name, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I have a good grasp on the lists. One TM Evo is a low. Hmm. Interesting. Bro, it's such a good loadout right on spawn. <laughs> True. If you're French, I'm unfollowing. I am not French. I am not French, okay? <laughs> My last name is French, though. Um, well, okay, it's like old French, because I don't think Fontenot is used in modern day France. Not to my knowledge, anyway. <laughs> Damn, I feel like I was close to phase two. Well, how'd you finish? <laughs> Today's turn is a sword sweep? Nah, no shot. No shot is a sword sweep. Oh, my opponent's doing nothing. Oh, dope. Okay. Um, a shame I'm not going first. Let's go these two. I'm just gonna skim through here. I honestly cannot be price uh asked the price check. Let's go Chin Pao energy here. They can't kill the Chin Pao turn one. So I'm fine putting it active. Or turn two, I should say. Uh six three oh, best performance in phase one. Oh, that's good though, that's good. If you're best performing uh, future box. Let me take those, right? Uh, do I play the Iono here? What am I doing next turn? I'm not doing anything next turn unless I top the Excalibur. Bax Caliber. And they might have a supporter, so I'm not scared to Iono. Uh, that is... I mean, not terrible, I guess. Oh, we don't have another Barrel, but Bidoof, I should say. Uh, in which case, we... Probably. Ah, do we poke stop? Yeah, we poke stop. What's the game they're playing? They're playing one collapsed. I am definitely hitting this bomb. Fourth best future. Hey, let's still take those, right? Let's take those. Okay, what they? All right, shit card. Uh, <laughs> live by the stop, die by the stop. Am I right? Live by the stop, die by the stop. If he Delphox is the two Friggy. Okay. For him to Delphox from six cards, he has to go Candy Zard, Boss, or Gust, any form of Gust, then uh, Delphox 2 2. There's no way we play around that. There's no way we bother playing around that. Candy off the stop. They actually hit the stop. That's crazy. Looks like C Pow, Zard, Stall meta. Yeah, nah, there's, there's, other, there's other good decks for sure. Zard is still madly overhyped, by the way. Like, I cannot stress enough how overhyped Zard is getting. Okay, they're targeting down the Friggy. Interesting. I think that's fair, right? And they're evolving Bench Zard. Oh, because the... Right, because that's the one that came down this time. Duh. Heard it there. Ultra Ball, two for Barrel. Okay. They actually could have done it. They missed the line. Unless they prized Delphox. I mean, they would have been left with, they would have been left with zero cards. And also, our Pokestop uh, gave them Rare Candy, which is very tilting. Uh, <laughs> which is more overhyped. Zard or Stall? Definitely Zard. Stall is good. Stall is a real-ass deck. Zard is top five at best. Um... I think, yeah, I think Zard is just wildly over. Like, the deck is good, but it's nowhere near BDIF. It's definitely not BDIF. Imagine if you played Worker? Real. 
All right, who's ready for a good old fashioned turn two balk? Uh, we always hit it here, right, chat? There's nothing we want to fin with nest poffin. Actually, we we'll probably nest for Chen Pao here. I think we have to, right? Yeah, nest for Chen Pao. And uh, let's see your miracle off his concealed cards. Close, but no scar. Uh, three card hand. Hmm. Yeah, we're not doing much here. They lost on their Delphox? Oh, shit, you're right. They did. Oh, they did it just now, though. Okay. Yeah, we, we really needed that poke stop. Ugh. This is, <clears throat> this is rough. Um... I think it's attached here past. Hope they don't have gusts. They punch us for not enough damage. Right? Because we don't play max belt, right? There's a manatee bench. That's fine. Jar doesn't have that many good matchups, but is the most relevant deck against most relevant decks, but consistent. I think I actually think we are severely over overestimating Zard's consistency. Losing VIP pass and Celebration Mew is huge for that deck's consistency. It is a lot less consistent. Um, I think you should make an EYC two list after this round. Probably not doing that. Um, I made a tier list of, like a couple weeks ago now, I think. Um, but my, my thoughts have definitely changed since that tier list. Okay, we have no ninja. We are not doing anything here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think... Hmm. If this is a tournament, I have scooped the game by now. Um... Yeah, this is not great. Yeah, I won the mirror. <laughs> uh, we won with the power of friendship or something like that. I guess... I mean, we just don't get anything out of Prime Catcher here. Yeah, I think we just have to pass. We just have to pass. You only some Arc Tina for BDIF. Yeah, I disagree with that. My, my early shout for BDIF is Lost Box. Lost Box or Tina. Listen, the Comfy Engine right now is just by far the best engine in the game. Comfy Engine is just the best engine in the game right now. Um, okay. Then they iono us. I'm very okay with them iono us. That, I just think that's a massive blunder in my opponent's end. Uh, so we have... Irida. Bax. Bax what? We have... Okay, we can... Uh, we have the Knockout. So let's go heavy for the uh, the, Bebear, the Bidoof. That's his, that is called a Bidoof, Christian. Come on. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, that's fine. Lost Zone, Box, Tina, it, all of them. Yeah. Like, literally, any, any Lost Zone, any Lost Zone variant. I think they're all super well positioned. So what are we looking at? We've got three... We're probably not playing the Ultra Ball here. Um, right? Yeah, I think we like... Uh, well... This is probably better, actually. Get three back. Punch the Zard. Oh, we don't... No, we didn't need to keep the Chin Pao there. Keeping the Chin Pao there is wrong. Oh, well, too late for that. I forgot we had a Chin Pao on the bench. Uh, and then I'll just go Ben. I'll just attach the bench, I guess. Might as well, right? Yeah, so we need them to whiff something this, uh... We need them to whiff something this game. Lugia BDIF? Nah. Azul said they were mid. What, the Lost Zone decks? And I disagree with Azul. Okay, if, like, my... I guess, like, my opinion right now... Lost Zone stuff is really good. Lugia is really good. Um, Block Slax is really good. Uh, there's one other deck. Ancient Box is super slept on. 
but it's probably like low top five right now. Um, Zard is good, but overhyped. Chin Pao is pretty solid. Blocks, like that, I think I already mentioned Block Sack's good. Future Hands is good. Um, I think like every every deck I just mentioned are all like very viable picks, right? Like, I'm not saying Zard is bad, but I just don't think it's like anywhere near BDIF, right? Yeah. Ancient Box is boring, doesn't need, uh, doesn't seem to do very well. People don't know how to build Ancient Box yet. Hey, listen, any Ancient Box list that plays a Fluttermane is automatically terrible. Do not, like, just do not let that card touch your Ancient Box decks. I beg of you. Fluttermane should just not be anywhere near Ancient Box. <laughs> Ancient Box with or without Moon EX. Um, I think without moon is better but playing the moon isn't bad i guess if you're playing inch box you really just should be playing the fighting package you could also be playing a very heavy moon ex build but then i don't think you're a, uh, an ancient box deck then you're just moon ex right like four baby moon three moon ex like one brute bonnet isn't a terrible shout right um I think that's pretty good, uh, but I prefer fighting. I think fighting, like Coridon, Slitherwing type of deal, I think is really good. Um, and then you, because you're playing the Coridon and the Slitherwing, you don't have to play Slitherwings. No, Fluttermanes. That's the that's the card uh, to like get more cards to play. Why Bonnet? Because you play, so you play one Bonnet. Uh, you if you uh, need to, so you can always just discard the Bonnet, right? But you play one Bonnet down. And then what you can do against uh, Future Hand is that you can go Moon EX to discard Stadium, and then they die to Poison Sick. Not only does this let you uh, knock out a uh, hand with um, with your EX, right, without using Frigid Gouging, but also you get to go around Heavy Baton and around Gift Energy because they die to Brute Bonnet's Poison, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I don't think it's the best play to, way to play Ancient Box, but I do think it's worth keeping in mind, right? Alright. So, this Chin Pao should not be on my bench, uh, by the way. <laughs> uh, but I do have a line here. It's going to require us to hit some things. But we have... Okay, well, here it is good, too. We have Codebreaker, though. Um, Alright, I'm on... I'm a not... Talk to chat for a second and focus on <clears throat> focus on making sure I sequence this correctly. So we have Shivery Chills. That's two energy. Um, okay. So what we have to do to win this game is we're going to have to go... If we knock out Zard, energy is game. That's too lightly, right? Yeah, that's absolutely too likely. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is we're going to try to go... This is fine. This is fine, yeah. Nope. Uh, I had to Rod. Well, I could, okay, I could have gone Cypher Maniac for Rod Nest Ball, but then I would have to Shivery Chills into Retrieval. I just don't think that's reliable. I guess we can go punch active. Oh, and we also we also needed the cross switcher and the clone. Yeah, never mind. No, no, that was never gonna happen. Uh, that was never gonna happen. Uh, and clone is prized that too. Um. Yeah, so we're just going knockout with pal. Hope they don't have it, but they're gonna have it, right? Well, like, realistically, they always have it here, right? Are we ever trying to go for a boss stall strategy or a... No. Well, hold up. Um, they play one switch. They have not used it. They can also Zard two energy and they have it. And we're also not doing anything because we can't Greninja. Right? So I think we have to just punch active hope it's enough. But like, it's not going to be. Um, unfortunately. 
Yeah. Uh, out of my opinion, just depending on I feel like it's absurd to play Ancient without Mooney X. You just don't need it. If you're playing the Fighting Package, you just straight up don't need the Mooney X. Right? Like, it's not that the card isn't good, but if you don't need it to win games, and you're just playing a 2 prizer that you can start, and it ends up being a liability. Right? Like, that's the real, that's the real key uh, in Ancient Box right now. Is making sure that the other the other ancient Pokemon you're playing aren't a liability to your Roaring Moon, right? Because comparatively to Roaring Moon, every other ancient card in the game is just straight up bad, right? Or at least the ancient Pokemon, like Crydon, Muni X in a single prize deck, of course, um, Flutter, Slithering, etc. Compared to Moon, Baby Moon, they're all terrible, right? So you're just trying to avoid playing cards that actively lose you the game by starting them. Uh, so you play Tusk and Dino Box. I think it's fine. I think one Tusk is okay. Like, the thing about the Tusk is that it's really, really good into, like, certain mashups like Lost Box and Mirror, but you're probably always beating Lost Box anyway. Uh, yes, even without Flutter. Uh, you beat, you beat Lost Box without Flutter completely fine. Um, and then... Uh, what else? Uh, there's one, oh, Mirror Match. It's really good for Mirror, right? Um, yeah, it's really, really, really important for the Mirror Match. Uh, that being said, Great Tusk is, like, the worst starter you could play. Um, or, like, the, yeah, the worst starter in your deck. Besides, like, maybe Greninja, right? Um... So starting Great Tusk can single-handedly lose you a game. Because it has three retreat, right? Which is the issue. Well, rip to the run? No, we can still make it, right? 11-2 surely makes it. Or no, 11-3. We didn't ID, so we're still chilling. Yeah. Um, Lost of action is easy, yeah. Uh, do you used to play Giratina Originals? I have not played Giratina 2 Originals, no. I have not played Giratina 2 Originals, nor do I plan to. <laughs> uh, that deck is really fun, but it's very hard to play, and frankly, I don't think it matters how good of a player you are. Playing anywhere between 9 and uh, nine and 18 rounds of, uh, of Giratina is very mentally taxing. Um, you have to have absurd stamina to play that deck at the highest level. You're the, yeah, I'm the Sablesard man, okay? I, listen, I played Lost Zone with training wheels on, okay? Uh, <laughs> if, if, um, if Sablesard is Lost Zone with, like, an extra training wheel, right? Um, Tina is, like, driving a, um, it's like, try, like, <laughs> it's like driving, like, a, like, a really thin racing bike through a, through a forest, okay? Like, Treating it like a mountain bike when it's just clearly not a mountain bike, okay? Um, oh, you thought I was another person? No, I'm, I'm Christian Fontenot. Uh, I don't know who you're confusing me with. <laughs> I've played Tina to, like, League Cups and stuff, though. Um, right, I mean, I have Tina experience, right? Um, but, yeah. Uh, but I just played against you, lol. I'm... Oh, we just played. Oh, sick. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, GG's, man, GG's. Um, what's Paradox Box? Wait, what are we talking about? Paradox Box is just Lost Box. Paradox Paradox Box is just any Lost Box deck that plays Moon and uh, Hands. Right? Uh, how are you feeling about a version of Sablezard right now? Luxray Reversal, Belt seems like a good answer to Zard. There's no way we're playing Luxray Reversal to beat Zard when we can just play TM Devo, right? Like, there's no way that's better, surely. I mean, like, Luxray theoretically works in Zard, right? Or in uh, Sable Zard, I should say. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't, I don't see how that's worth it. Like, you could just play better cards that are easier to get into play. You can't search Luxray, you can't nest ball for Luxray. You have to draw into both the Luxray and the Reversal individually. You also don't have Raihan to search these cards out, or Clara to recycle the Luxray. So yeah, I, I just don't think you're, um, yeah. Oh no, Paradox Box. Paradox Box is uh is lost is just a normal bike, right? Um 
Paradox box is just biking, right? It's just biking. <laughs> Kyogre and Tina, that's the hard shit. Sable's art is with training wheels on, and then Paradox box is just like normal, right? There's a deck I saw today playing four. Okay, we'll be playing four. Nah, there's just no no. Like then Luxray is your main attacker. That must be scuffed, right? There's no way that's correct. I don't know. Um, I have a, uh, I think the question is difficulty playing Paradox Box compared to Tina or Sable's Art. Yeah, Paradox is just in the middle, right? Yeah, listen, people people sign up to Late Night with a lot of weird decks, okay? I've done this plenty myself. Actually, how many how many people ID? One, two, three, four, five people ID. Interesting. Interesting. So how many players were we in phase two? Twenty-four. Okay. There's a Torterra? No, they dropped. Why did they drop, bro? Are they scared to leak the secret sauce? I'm gonna do it on camera. <laughs> Uh, and this is just a tor Torterra, right? Like, is there anything special going on here I need to know about? The guy went, I might look later. I frankly don't know that I care enough to look. Interesting. The Torterra? No, they dropped. This is drop. Is that a Zul's list or Torterra list? I don't know. I didn't even know Zul had a Torterra list. He might. Oh, actually, no. He did post one to the YouTube, didn't he? I don't remember. I I honestly don't follow Zul's content that uh, that closely. I mean, close enough, right? He's probably the best, you know, the best place for like competitive Pokemon content, right? Um. At least, like, right now. Uh, Sable Star has a bike with Statewise on it. You're trolling. No, okay, comparatively to, uh, like, Comfy decks, right? Like, by playing by playing a Comfy in your deck, the deck is harder to play. But compared to other Lost Stone decks, Sable's Art is very easy, right? Comparatively speaking. Yeah. They lost when they dropped. Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe not seeing it, but do you see anything really that big with Twilight Masquerade set that's going to shake things? Oh, with the news, I have not looked at. I have not looked at new cards. I ask ask me again in two months. Um, yeah, ask ask me again in two month. Uh, two months. <laughs> um, I don't know what the what's the next what regional would that be. I think it's the Italy special, yeah, Italy special event for me, and then what else? Uh, MAIC, of course, right around that time. Blood Moon Fortress. That sounds scary. That sounds fun though. We have a lot of time for Phase Two. Hello? Wait, how much time do we have? I don't thinking about it. Um, I don't say, I don't think. I can't tell. Yeah, but like, why do we have 26 minutes left? Oh, wait, no, this is how long the round's gone. Is there no timer? Are we playing no timer? There's no way we're playing no timer. There's no way we're playing no timer. That can't be right. Stockholm was before Twilight is legal? I think so, yeah. I'm fairly certain it is. Yeah. Mm. I think the 20 codes that the winner gets being motivated. 
I actually cannot remember the last time I redeemed the codes I won in an online tournament. I probably still have some, like just lying around. Hold up. Um, where are they? Is it history? Yeah, rewards. Here you go, chat. If you wanna, if you wanna take these, do it. And now your chance is gone. <laughs> I don't know. I like codes. Codes kind of, codes kind of lost their value when we moved to live, right? They just, they just don't hold this. Like everyone, it's so easy to get to get credits just from playing the game, uh, and they give you so many free decks that it just, like, I don't, I don't think we really need codes as pricing anymore. Like it's fun to have something, but you know. <laughs> clip it if you guys want to take the codes take the codes i don't i really don't care um yeah they gave everyone a yeah i didn't even use the bug i didn't even use the bug and i'm fine right yeah that, like okay the infinite the infinite credit glitch probably didn't make it better but like even without that like i still feel like it's really easy to build everything so okay to be fair if you started two weeks ago then uh you probably don't have everything yet, but, like, you get so many free decks just for, like, starting the game, and you get enough credits to change those free decks into competitively viable ones, that I think you're just fine, right? Like, I, I, I think you're just fine. I just play these tournaments because they're fun for content, right? Like, they're a, they're a fun way to stream. Um, so, yeah, it's chill. Like I think I think late night is cool. Uh because we get you know we get to kind of like Yeah, we get to sit down and chill. Uh play a tournament. Don't have to play like games all the time, right? And just kinda get to interact with chat. And those are like higher stakes, right? Like we're playing for we're playing for glory, which isn't a lot, but it's something. Alright, all the games are done. I'm assuming we're starting now ish. Where's standings looking like? The Lugia player is Ah, they lost. The WCF Pathra. Someone's gonna make a clickbaity YouTube video out of that. I guarantee it. We need more IRL prize events. Yeah, but those are hard because um, they're kind of limited to like where the host is playing from, right? Like if I theoretically speaking, if I were to do an online tournament and there's on like there's physical prizing, right? I would have to limit the prizing to only people who live in Europe, right? That's the only way I could do it. Um, and then even then, like that's that's expensive if you were to do it like that so you need to have a sponsor and if you don't have a sponsor then it has to be a buy-in and then people just aren't gonna play right so yeah Lugia can match with me that'd be fun <laughs> watch out for us pathra does game genic do that game genic's the sleeve brand right i don't know that game genic um Sponsors events. At least not like online tournaments or like really anything in Pokemon now to think about it. Do you mean, uh, I think it's Game Grid? I think it's Game Grid, right? That do like the tournaments, like, yeah, they had a couple tournaments where they did uh, physical pricing. But I believe that was also just US only, right? Think, don't know. Alright, what is, okay, let me check the late night announcements real quick there's a server issue we're dealing with a judge call oh, okay cool okay so there's something yeah there's something going on um i don't know it's something internally for late night all right we'll just wait that's fine uh let me pull up the list i guess wait that's your profile here we go here we go okay what's chat talking about yeah that makes you're good yeah game genetics the sleeve brand all matches are complete we should start yeah so um well i checked the server and i think they're having some um they're having some issues uh with something i don't i don't know what but we'll probably get an announcement once the uh once the round is up right Da, 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 da. 
What do you think so far of what? What do I think of what? I'm very opinionated, so if you come with something, I'll probably answer. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting tired. Not doing, not doing anything like not playing. Um, not playing is making me tired. What's my plan for Sander? I'm not gonna say that on camera. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what my plan against Xander is on on live broadcast days before the event. That that seems like a trap. Uh, what's your oh of the list? Um, list is good. I think right now my idea is cut Palpad for Countercatcher. Um, yeah, that's really it. Everything else has felt good. Canceling Cologne is really not coming up that much, but that's because Lost Zone decks aren't playing Manaphy that actively right now. But it's probably a safe idea to play the Canceling Cologne for you, I see. Like, you don't want to, like, sit there against an Evolution deck and they have the... They have the Manaphy and you can't do anything. Like, especially against Zard, if you go first against Zard, right? Like, you want to be able to kill two Charmanders, Right? Dundozo, Davis, don't leak. Don't leak, Davis. <laughs> uh, have you played in any of the Doomed online tournaments? Uh, I think I've played in a couple, like, on and off. They're typically pretty late at night for me, though. Yeah, you guys have to remember, I'm in Europe. Um, right? So I don't, I don't have any, um, blah, 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 blah. Words stopped working there for a second. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, and no, we have a we have a lot more Americans in chat today, which makes sense because it's a later stream, right? I think Azul is not streaming today, right? I think he got sick, is what I have been told. Uh, no, round started, dope. Um, yeah, but I'll be on a I'll be on Azul's stream on Saturday. I'll get control. Oh, good. Um, that's fine. I need to test this matchup, I guess. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a testing game more than anything, honestly. I just see how easy it is to play around Airy. If it's easy to play around Airy, then this matchup is fine. If we can't play around Airy successfully, then this is going to get really bad. Got the buy? I guess we take those. <laughs> and they're usually like 1 a.m. for you? Yeah. Well, so there's the, there's the Tournament of Doom regionals type thing, right? Uh, this weekend? But I'm going to be busy on uh, Azul's stream beating up Xander. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be able to play on that. Uh, play on that. I would have otherwise, though. Even if it's, like, pretty late, because it's best of three nine rounds. Uh, and we start at four, right? So by the time we're over, it's getting really late. Yeah. If your superiors get misfortune by Aerie, yeah, then we're, then we're doomed. Um... But with any luck, that just won't happen, right? Oh, I have to... Oh, okay. I think they probably reload it out of the game, right? Realistically? Yeah. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see how this plays out. Uh, the thing is, like, they can also just as easily miss Fortune Sisters to wrong stuff, and we lose, right? Um, so it is going to get a bit scuffed. Uh, what do you think about the Banette deck that's 8 and 2? There's a Banette in 2? I think Banette has a lot of potential post rotation. Uh, or like in current standard, I guess, is, is the correct word to use now. Um, but... I think there's a lot of... I think, okay, my my priority is EUIC, right? Uh, and I think for EUIC, the most, the most important thing you can do is play a well-rounded, consistent deck, right? Um, those that's that's the most important thing you can do as far as your deck for EYC. Uh, but stuff like Pidgeot Control, um, Lost Zone Gudra, uh, Binette, right? I think all these archetypes have a lot of potential. I just would not feel comfortable playing them to EYC. After EYC, once the meta is more developed and we actually know what's going on in the meta, then I think um, these archetypes have a chance to break through and do well. But until EUIC is over, I would not feel comfortable playing with them. Or at least, like, I don't think, um, I don't, I don't think they're worth putting the time and energy into now. But once, like, we have a, a more 
established metagame, they were going to be worth people's time, and then people are going to play in the meta tournaments, right? And they're going to see success. So basically, Lost Zone, that, that's why I think Lost Zone is positions the best into uh, EYC. I think Lost Zone is the best position deck uh, because it is a consistent, well-balanced deck. Why did I start Greninja? I forgot I was playing against Bloxox. I literally, I turned off my brain and went, oh, start Greninja. We're playing against Bloxox. Um, Greninja is not a good start. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? This is fine. Bench this. Conceal cards. Um... Do we grab the POW now? Um, probably not, right? Well, what's their list? Alright, let's hold for now. Let's just hold the hand. Yeah, the Doom Tourneys would be... <clears throat> Really, yeah, Wicked Late or very early for you. They start Pacific. That checks out, yeah. Yeah, tournaments to start... Like, the tournaments to start around, like, European... Uh, not European Central. Eastern Central... Uh, Eastern Central time is, like, an oxymoron, Christian. Come on. <laughs> Eastern time. Uh, US. Those are fine for me, right? Um... Yeah, I play the regionals one. Also, because they're on a weekend, and if I have to, like, stay up late to play, I can just stay up late to play, right? Okay. Um, I don't have boss. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go nest ball first, find pow. Okay, I also want to play fast to, like, respect my opponent's time, right? Because they are playing block slacks. I do want to think about the game. If this game goes to time and, like, I know I'd be locked, I'm going to scoop to them. Um, uh, we can go candy. Yeah, just candy backs. There's no reason to do anything else. Um, candy, Excalibur. I'm gonna go here. I wanna go Vessel away, Friggy. They don't play Mantine, right? I'm gonna double check the Mantine real quick. No Mantine, we're chilling. Um, and then I actually really like uh, Moonlight Shuriken here. Moonlight Shuriken sets up some, for some really nasty Iron Hand stuff. Um, with the Rotom in particular. Yeah, this is completely fine. The mat is sick. The mat, the mat that's in the the prize pool this time around is actually really cool. Poke gear, interesting. Boss, sure. Cape is reasonable. Just four seals done, right? Yeah, okay. I was about to say, there's no way they're just instant charging, right? But no, they're steel stoning. I'm fine with steel stone this early. Okay, they're gonna go for the airy. That's understandable. Yeah. That's one superior. Okay, they really didn't do that much. Um... Let's see here. Think, 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 think. Uh, I can go Irida. I have four. Okay. We can go. Where's the superior energy retrieval? Oh, we prize two. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, chat. We're going for Plan B. <laughs> uh, we don't have a Plan B. We don't have a Plan B, chat. This is bad. This is this is bad. This is just bad. Um. Okay, I guess we have to, like, we almost have to pass then, right? We can't do anything here. No, we're going to have to conceal cards. We're going to have to conceal cards into something. Oh, wait, maybe... I take it back. We should have, um... We should have gone for, uh... What's-its-face? Um... That's not it. Uh, we should have gone for Earthen Vessel. There we go. Earthen Vessel would have been correct. Okay, it's fine. We're forcing Penny here, uh, and we have Rod, right? We force Penny. They cannot. They cannot not Penny either of these cards. I can't catch a Rotom because they don't have energies. 
That's the issue, right? Penny? Fine. If I top deck energy, energy work chill. None of the decks see what we could do. Oh, see what it does good too. Okay, so we go cross switcher. We go cross switcher kill Rotom. I just don't think it does enough. Because then we use the cross switcher and then what, right? Um and then what? Alright, I think we're gonna rod triple energy. Pass. No, then we get pennied again, and then we just wasted all our time. Think, 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 think. We could go concealed cards, but like yeah, what does Concealed Cards actually achieve for us? I think the Greninja start was just a bundle from the start. Well, then again, back start really isn't that much better. Hmm. I'm not... Okay. So, it should go without... Hmm. Yeah. No, that's just, just straight up bad. Okay. And still playing Evog. <laughs> just Penny. Okay. Do I... Did I say Cross Witcher again? I... Cross Switcher and Prime Catcher are the same card in my head. I think like, it's like I can't differentiate them. Yeah, there's the penny. Alright, yeah, chat. I don't like I don't like our odds here. Um We are in we are in pass city right now. We are in pass city. Misfortune Sisters. I mean at least it's not Erica, right? I mean there is okay, there is no superior energy retrieval for them to mill. In all fairness, right? They're they're not there. <laughs> Uh, energy, I think we hold it. I think what we have to do here is we have to, like, try to build up a hand, which is gonna be hard with Aerie. We're gonna have to try to build up a hand, and then try to go for some, like, cross-switcher, um, quash, like, cross-switcher, Iono type of play. A boss would also be a great top deck. Irida's fine. Might as well play it. Um, do we go for switcher now? If we go, okay, if we go switch or kill Rotom, if we go, it's catcher, it's still card, it's still card, called catcher, um, if we go catcher, kill Rotom, they go counter catcher, we basically lose on the spot, right? So I think what we have to do is we have to combo it. I think we have to combo it, um, with Iono, or we stand, or we just stand no shot. Right, we can't let them keep that hand. So I think the line is that we we go for the deck here, right? We hope they don't mill the cards we need, and then we bank it all on the Iono Cross Switcher, assuming we are allowed to, you know, do that, right? That has to be the line. I just don't think anything else will work at this point. Just candy. Let's pass. We can just let them do stuff. They either listen. They either they either hit our our cross or prime catcher and we lose, or we hit the prime catcher and then uh, and the Iono, right? That's candy. Nothing else. That's fine. I mean, they can. I'm super okay with them milling useless cards. Can't say clone. Let's retreat. Um, sure, I'll punch Snorlax. Why not? Actually, Kensen Clone bot... No, that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense. Okay. Yeah, Kensen Clone, Shivery Chills. Oh, maybe I can... Okay, well, I could have just... Okay. Spot at one blunder. I should have irritated for Kensen Clone much earlier in this game. I keep forgetting that that's actually... That's a line. Um, I also just realized we're not actually killing. But I would rather have Chin Pao active. Um, and now I get to force Penny, which actually isn't that bad. Or am I even forcing Penny? I guess I'm not even forcing Penny. Is this a throw? No, we have enough energies. We have enough energies to do this. 
The hero escape is making this a lot harder though. Okay, so I've definitely made several mistakes this game. But this is good. This is good. Because I need to learn this matchup. And making mistakes is just the best way to learn, right? Switch card. Interesting. Okay. Boss. You know, expected. Yeah. Hands. I'm surprised they haven't tried the Erica me yet. I'm surprised we haven't seen Erica. There's the Airy. Okay, they're gonna see all our basic Pokemon. We don't care about any of the items in our hand. They can mill those all they want. Um, there's no way we don't. They play two Erica. There's no way they play both, right? Poffin is not doing us any favors. Yeah, we have we have literally nothing we can do here. Um, if they area us, we skip the game. Um, what's it called? If they... Erica, there we go. We skip the game, yeah. It GG's. Our Bidoof cannot do anything. Okay. Um, also obvious... Okay. So, quick, quick disclaimer. I promoted the Greninja uh, for turn, like, starting the game, because I literally forgot I was playing against Bloxlax, right? Now... In fairness, uh, in the tournament, you wouldn't know what you're playing against before they flip over their active, right? So it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. I could have gone... Interesting. I'm going to have to go back and look at this bot. I'm going to have to go back and look at this bot to figure out what I could have done better there. Um, for sure. Okay, well, we have, what, three matches to wait for it? Yeah, let's just play... Um... Oh, not with pal. We're not gonna have time for a pal game. Give me a hands game. Uh, yeah, hands game, and then update the score. The score's not looking that good. I think we're out of top cut contention now, but we have like three more rounds, so I guess we might as well play, right? Does limitless have closed archetypes? Uh, technically yes, but they're not common for online tournaments. This this tournament is open deck list. Right. Yeah, this tournament this tournament is a uh, open deck list. So I know literally every card in my opponent's deck. And vice versa, of course. Which is cool. It, it's it's like unique to um it's unique to online tournaments. So yeah. Some do. No, yeah, some do, but most of them don't. Uh, what is this? The, oh, Golden Goat. Okay. I have no idea how this matchup plays out. Probably just like a 2-2-2 two, two, two trade type of deal, right? I guess we might be able to amp some stuff. Depending on... We could probably like amp small stuff, amp Greninja. Could amp Palkia. Kind of depends on how they play it, right? Uh, this is... Okay. We're going second, right? I hope we're going second anyway. I wonder why people don't do closed deck list and closed archetypes. Um, well, so the main thing is, like, I guess people just have, like, less faith in players in online tournaments, right? So you don't want people changing their archetype. Um, but originally, it was made to be open deck list, open archetype. Um, because, like, that's how online tournaments started with the original Limitless qualifiers back in 2020. Um, and the format for online tournaments has just stayed that way ever since. Because that's what's been normalized, Right. Uh, and I think that's fun. I think open decklist is a is a cool take on the game. I wouldn't want to play open decklist at tur like at regionals, but it's not like I don't I don't hate it for online tournaments. Yeah. Gold has really awkward numbers for hands. Yes and no. Like they play enough small Pokemon that we should be able to abuse that, right? Like, we go take one on Gimme Ghoul, take two on Greninja. Um, and we're probably, okay, We they probably never bench Palkia in this matchup. I'd be very surprised if they did. Um, yeah, 500 should be hand skill as well. We'll see. All right, let's see what we got here. Future Capsule, Nest Ball, um...
energy here, here. I guess if we're researching anyway, I might as well vacuum the stop. I really don't, yeah, I don't want to hit the stop. I don't think I need to. And we'll research. Uh, yeah, that's completely fine. Let's do capsule, not capsule, radar here. Double crown. And then we'll go hands, crown, crown, peak acceleration for knockout. Uh, and we'll throw these two energy onto the one with the ton. Yeah, this should be fine. Flip two more games we're waiting for. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for... Tina versus Zard and Ancient Box versus Tina. Interesting. Interesting. Well, let's see what they do here. If they leave even 1-1 one, one pressure in play, we should be able to win. Uh, is Boulder worth in this deck? I honestly don't know yet. I have not used it once. But if you start hitting like Arceus decks in Mirror Match, then it should be good, right? That's the that's the idea anyway. I don't know. I'm really I'm really not sold on uh, on Boulder. Um, all right. What are they doing here? Golden Go, Earthen Vessels. We're trying to just yeah bonk the hands. I guess or bonk the Rhydon. I guess. Note self, try to bench more than one gimme goal going first. That's uh that's a that's pretty good advice right there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what they do here. Hmm. Uh, what will you change about your deck? Uh, the Armor Rouge deck? Uh, with the Arc, right? Yeah, the Arc Armor Rouge. I probably don't think the Vulpix is worth it. Um, just off the bat. But I, I mean, in all honesty, man, I haven't played enough Arc Armor Rouge in this format to really say... Uh, I think right now I'd probably go for something more linear with the deck. Uh, just try to streamline it, like streamline it as much as possible. But I mean, it's been working fine for you today, right? Yeah. Right, let me I'll hold, hold up. I'll answer tw uh, chat questions in a bit. For now, though, we need to focus on sequencing this turn correctly. Uh, Generator is a great hit there. Uh, I'm gonna poke stop first. Never punish. Don't want any of those cards. So that's good to get rid of them. Um, gear. I'm going to guess if I hit energies here, that's fine. All right, so we're going to go, yeah, gift energy, boss, um, probably gimme gold, right? I actually think this is a misplay, but it's kind of too late now. We're too committed. Um, I probably should have gone peak acceleration and try to like get another ride on, which means I should have gone for the research instead of a boss. Uh, I think this just gets too greedy, right? Because uh, they have they took first two prize cards already. So like next turn, what we're gonna have to do is they're gonna go knock out hands. Then we're gonna have to go peak acceleration into golden go. Hope they don't have boss. If they don't have boss, then we amp golden go for game um but yeah all right what's going on in chat you're messing around with tier two three decks trying to see if the climb finally frustrates <laughs> and spam charizard um yeah i mean playing like i'm not even listen i am not considering iron hands for uic i don't have any plans of playing this deck okay uh, the only reason we're playing iron hands right now is because i just want to rank up the ladder fast 
And Iron Hands is just the best deck to do that because you either I mean you either lose fast or you win fast, right? And you win more than you lose, so you just spam Iron Hands until you're in Mass Ball. That's that's the cheat code to to ranking up fast on live. Just play Iron Hands, bro. Not even because the deck is that much better than anything else, or even better than anything else in the first place, but it's just like you just get to end the game so fast that as long as you're, you know, winning more than you're losing, you're gonna rank up, right? So yeah, Snorlax is the best deck to do that. Why? Because they just <laughs> concede. <laughs> I hit master now, so I can just go explain bad stuff for real, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm trying to test on live, but at the same time, I'm like, damn, I want to hit master ball. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, until someone actually plays the game. Once they play the game to raise lazy to rank up, I don't blame you, man. Listen, the only the only rank that matters is uh is the amount of weight uh, is the amount of regionals you can win. No, that's not true. Um But yeah, I'm I'm not personally too concerned about live rank. Um But it is fun to have an actual rank ladder, right? Alright, uh, can we do do we have another hands in here? We should, right? We do not. That's problematic. Um, Cause uh, we don't have a rod, do we? We don't. And I just threw away. Well, we didn't have the fighting energy anyway. So how are we winning this game? Hmm. Give me Greninja. Give me Greninja. Can I flex my first regional and I see for another game? Uh, I don't think you can, but it's a cool flex though. You can flex it, it just doesn't have the same merit. Listen, the flex is, the flex is still a flex at the end of the day, right? Alright, I'm gonna hit the stop. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, so we go... How many generators do we have? Plenty, but I don't think we have enough energies. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna go peak acceleration. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna hit hands off of prize cards, uh, and then hopefully that'll just be enough, right? Okay. And then we can theoretically arm press. How much is arm press doing with five modifiers? It's doing two sixty, right? And these have what? Two sixty? Two sixty. There we go. Now this only matters if they um. They don't have gust, right? But we'll see. If they get boss prime catcher, they pretty much win. Yeah, exactly, right? But that's the win condition is that they don't. That kind of has to be our win condition here. There's the prime catcher. Yep, they got it. Hey. Also, you need a second capsule for retreat. Oh, this is true. Yeah, this is true. Uh, did I have another capsule? I did. I still have to, you know, find it though. Which is hard when you don't have a draw supporter in hand. <laughs> yeah. You had one, yeah, I had, well, so I had one in hand, but I need two. I need one for the damage, I need another for the retreat. Okay, so I think, yeah. Uh, 12 games are done. So we should be starting anytime soon, right? Yeah, we should be, just be starting now. We should just be starting now. Discord, the late night Discord. I mean, um,
Yeah, no, round's not up. I mean, I guess round goes up in like in what? A minute and a half? Sure. Alright, chat, what we do what are we what have we been doing? What are we talking about here? I'm so calling a judge on you if you're using a Yu-Gi-Oh, Matt. What? It's because Yu-Gi-Oh players are Simeli or because it's the, it's, or is it because you think they cheat? Because one of those is a lot funnier than the other. <laughs> yeah. I'd be I'd be scared to spend a lot of money going to EUIC just to pray to God you don't die as well as a bad match but to lose. And that's fair. Right? Like Every, every tournament is like that. Like, no matter how good of a player you are, you're always going to have bad tournaments. That's just part of the game, right? So. Yeah. Uh, I ran a question I've been discussing with me. Would you go first or second playing Zard Pidgeot? Honestly, I've been thinking about this a bit more too. I really don't know. Um, I kind of like... I kind of like going either first or second against Zard, uh, or as Zard, sorry. Speaking of Zard, we're playing against Zard, uh, sorry, pitch out this round, so we're gonna have to try to see if we can sack them, because otherwise this matchup is really not that good. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know, I feel like, like, okay, before, before rotation you went second. But now, post-rotation, uh, you play four Nest Ball, which makes your going first, like, kind of good, right? Like, the list we're playing is right now is playing uh, 12 Ball Switch cards, right? Like, they could easily go uh, go first and, like, still be able to fill up their board. Yeah. But I, I really, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think Zard right now, more than anything, wants to judge whether or not they go first or second based off of what they're playing against, right? But going in blind, I'm inclined to say go first. Um, it's what my testing has resulted in, you know, being being better right now. But honestly, I don't say that with a lot of confidence. Uh, yeah, the Dango matchup, we lost to Prime Catcher. All right, let's swap over to PTCG Live real quick. Here we go. Well, so this is a matchup that for us is going to matter a lot. We able to go first, and we lost coin flip. Okay. Um, well, so going seconds into Zard. As long as we're not starting a two prizer, we're probably chilling, right? Because they are playing the max belt. And with Arvin, it's going to be really easy to get the axe belt early. Uh, I just started to really pay attention to the high tier pokes a few months ago, and I gotta say, regional <laughs> Yugi would be scared. <laughs> uh, and I'd be. Wait, we'll hold up. Uh, oh, you've won a regionals in Yugi, and I'd be scared of a Pokemon tournament? <laughs> I mean, it really just depends, like, where you're coming from, right? Like, I mean, what? I've been playing Pokemon for eight years. I basically grew up playing this game. Walking into a tournament hall doesn't feel scary to me, right? Like, you just kind of get used to it, right? Yeah, it is a classic hand start right now. I don't think we're vibing this game, chat. I mean, okay, to be fair, going second, this hand is really good. This hand is really good going second. And even going first, right? Um, The hand start is unfortunate. It's basically our yeah it's easily our worst start in the matchup uh because if we get turn two max belted we are fucked um <laughs> just put just put bluntly right but yeah playing magic for around 15 years pokemon people are legit the nicest crowd. pokemon players are nice like there's a couple of bad apples obviously but i mean on the whole pokemon is um pokemon has a great community I mean, I think I think everyone is is nervous at their first tournament, right? Like I was for I was super nervous at my first tournament, but more than nervous, I was just happy to be there, right? Um, I think like if you're going into your first tournament, like it's okay to be nervous. Just don't put pressure on yourself, right? There's no reason to put pressure on yourself in your first tournament. Go have some fun, right? Uh, meet some new people, and it's gonna be a great time, right?
<sighs> All right, Ultra Ball, what? Zard Band. Interesting. Band does a lot of good math in this matchup, right? It means if we take one prize card, they do... Yeah, if we take one prize card, they're doing more damage, or they're doing uh, Knockout and Pal. Right? You're putting pressure on yourself to go X one or one XX. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I mean, know what you want to accomplish, and try to accomplish it. Right? It, that sounds basic and it is basic, but I think basic is, you know, like it doesn't have to be that deep, right? It frankly just isn't half the time. Okay, what do we have prized? Cologne's prized. Hopefully that won't matter. They didn't do anything on turn one, which is really good for us. Um, Puffin. I'll just grab this. And then what? Irida. Ninja. Vessel. And then we go Ninja. Vessel away water. Grab... Water Lightning. Concealed cards, water. We're hoping they just don't knock us out, right? And they need to have a max belt to do that. Um. Yeah, this hand is well positioned for next turn. This hand is super well positioned. Do you like Pedro Joe's going <laughs> 207? No, didn't Pedro go, what was it, 707? No. Five, it was 5010. 5010, that's the one, yeah. Um, because you went 504 into day two, which is 19 match points, and then tied all six rounds in day two. Yeah. You went one, two, one, two? That's fine. Yeah. Nah, you're good, man, you're good. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> One of the ties day two was my mate. <laughs> love to see it. I love to see it. All right, what's my opponent doing here? They're attaching to a Charizard, and they have a Charmeleon. So I think we're winning. <laughs> I like our odds of my opponent's doing that. And it's a charge again. All right, we're, we're dope. We're, yeah, we're chilling. Um, here... Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball Poffin, probably. Like, we're getting rid of thinnable cards, but I think right now the line is just maximizing um, maximizing the odds of us either killing Charmander, Charmander, which is Cross Switcher. That's still called Prime Catcher, Christian. Get your shit together. Or killing Rotom, right? Um, so I actually think... Well, super cold. Um... I think, yeah, Super Cold to Greninja, draw 5 seems good. Yeah, Catcher, Catcher, Charmeleon, Ninja is just the optimal line. There we go. Um, no way, it's not, it's not guaranteed. Wait, we need another energy. But we could go... No, going into Pow doesn't get enough energy. Do we then go... Okay, here's what we do. We go Concealed Cards, and then we grab our Irida card based on what we hit. That's just not changing anything. Um, yeah, we're one energy short of hitting it. I'm not missing anything, am I? I don't think I am. Yeah, oh well. Uh, this will fine though, because what we do is we do... Hmm. I mean, okay, if we're killing Rotom, we're winning. How are we killing Rotom? Superior energy retrieval... Gets us three. We retreat. That's ten shorts. Actually, this is super awkward. Retreat into ninja. I have to just grab something. Um... Uh, Chin, Cross Switcher, Search to Retreat into Ninja. Yeah, but we're, to Retreat into Ninja, we're discarding the two we just found. Right? So it doesn't actually do anything. Um, yeah, this is just kind of mid. I guess I'll grab a cat here. Leave this one in hand. I think we just have to go here. 
this feels really mid and is really mid, but at the bare minimum, we're getting the Charmeleon off the field, which I guess is our best bet, right? Like, like nothing he'll nothing nothing here feels good. Well, maybe okay, maybe leaving a one prize when the active was actually better there. It's not too late. We still go for it, but then we no. Let's just go with knockout. Let's see what happens. Now I'm just curious. Um, now I'm just curious to see what happens here. I actually, I actually think this is a misplay, because if they get Zard, if they get Zard belt, we lose. Well, okay, we don't actually lose, but we probably lose, right? Then we have no, they play Tarot to pick stuff up, so maybe not. Hmm. Yeah. Just win the first regional you attend, <laughs> then you could never top that achievement. A pack of Apalka, you might, you, you know, you, you wouldn't happen to, like, speaking from experience, would you? That wouldn't happen to be the case, would it? <laughs> Imagine the interview you'd give you in one of your first regionals. <laughs> well, wasn't that, um... I think someone did that this season. I mean, besides... Besides the, the one guy in chat, but... Um... <laughs> I think someone in NA did that, right? I honestly can't remember. Either way, it's not unheard of. It's happened before. Was it was it Alexander's first regionals? That checks out, right? That sounds correct. That sounds correct to me. My chapstick is rolled away. He did, but he's also competitive. Yeah, that's that's what I remember, right? Like, I don't think anyone has won a region, like a, a Pokemon tournament, or like a regionals, I should say, um, like their first regionals, without any background in other competitive games, right? Like, it's not unheard of that like pro players from other card games come to Pokemon, they do really well, right? Or even like poker players or chess players or whatever, right? Because there's a lot of fundamental skill that carries over between those games. Alright, has so my opponent played a supporter? They played Arvin. Okay. I'm really only scared of Belt here. They have Belt. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, so I have a couple ideas on how we get back into this game. But, if they don't bench a Charmander, they can respond with Zard. They go to two prize cards. Hmm. We have the hands in play, but if they, the hand start is just so bad. <laughs> the hand start is so bad. Um, all right, Shin Pao, retrieval. Um, super cold. I also had the realization that if we hadn't grabbed Lightning turn one, then I think we would have had the knockout last turn on the Rotom. So, that's a thing. Oh, do not. Thank you. There we go. Uh, so, Yoshio Tate is Ishlash was God tier magic player, then top aided his first book. Yeah. Well, so, um, Yoshi Tate has also just, like, done consistently well in Pokemon as well. Like, it's not just a one time thing for Yoshi Tate. Um, you know, you have folks on the game? No, <laughs> I refuse. Uh, we have enough energies here, yeah. Um, do we boss? Probably not, definitely not, but you know, yeah, let's take the knockout. The Zard responds, and then we respond to Zard with probably Greninja, and then we hope they don't go knock out hands for game, right? I think that's our most likely line. And because they haven't been able to establish Pidgeot, if we go, unless they're able to protect their Pidgeot with Manaphy, which I believe they, no, they still have the Manaphy, okay. Um, so they have to go like Pidgey Manaphy. Or Pidgey Pidgey, for that sake, I guess. Um, well, Pidgey Pidgey, we can still just go Snipe Snipe Pidgey Pidgey. Leave the 
Radzard and be active, and then it has to go like Turo or some stuff. But anyway, we want to go Iono, ideally, right? Iono is the key here. Um, yeah. All right, I'm home. I'm gonna go to bed. Gonna wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Good night, Anton. Yeah, I did not expect to be streaming this long today. Admittedly, but it should happen. Okay. There. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Iona would be the game plan here. The, um, the, uh, what's it called? Man, if he's making this harder, but still, Iona is the line. They're gonna go counter catcher. Um, interesting. I don't think killing hands here is correct. Second Charmander is fine. I think our line remains the same. Kill Radzard with ninja preferably and then iono um we iono them to two they have no draw they have no board and then the turn after that we go cross switcher or i guess boss uh boss kill run for game right hook stops good but risky um i feel like every time i have a line where cologne is good i prize it <laughs> Without fail. All right. How do we thin this? Pokestop. I'm gonna Pokestop first. Fuck it. That's totally fine. So we go plenty of energies, plenty of energies. Okay. Uh, Nest Ball with, actually Bidoof wouldn't have been a bad shout there, but too late. Um, Nest Ball Whiff, Retrieval, Away to Energy, get the Waters, then we go Retrieval, Away, Retrieval, Water, get more Water, <laughs> then we have Free Energy in Deck, we go Rod, if they have boss, they win anyway, right? Well, not necessarily. Well, no, if they have boss attack, they win anyway. Yeah, so we're not we're not grabbing back max. So we go this. Then we go super cold. Just put these energies everywhere. Here, we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, I guess. Hold boss. We need that for later. We can't get rid of it. There we go. Uh, and then we incisors. There's the Ayano. Perfect. <laughs> Dude, Burst makes such fun content. I love that guy. Being like being on his channel was super cool. He's just chill. Right, we have no more energy recovery cards, so we need to be we need to watch this. Uh, we need to watch how we do this. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do anything I don't need to. We're just going to go here and, I mean, wherever with the last one, right? Weakness kills Radzard, and we should just win. Right? Yeah, this game was super scuffed, but we made it work. This game was super, super, super scuffed. Hmm. Let's see what the opponent does here. Now we're trying to uh, dig for boss next turn. Now, to be fair, I should have grabbed the Bidoof earlier on the Nest Ball, I think. Or was it Poth? It was Pothin. Uh, yeah, I should have grabbed it regardless, which was a misplay. Um, but with any luck, it wouldn't matter. We'll see, though. Hmm. That display name actually goes so hard. Whose display name? <laughs> well, mine or my opponent's? Lumen for Roxanne. Interesting. I guess that's their best bet, right? 
Vine, what? Master Torchic 69? <laughs> Hey, listen, the only the only person that could take credit for that masterpiece is a 13-year-old Christian who thought the word, the, the number 69 was really funny and creative. Um, which it is, of course, of course, sure, surely. Uh, but it's fun, it's fun. Not being able to change your username on live is, um... Is, uh, pretty unfortunate, I ain't gonna lie, though. Right, Rod Fire Sard. <sighs> yeah, and Instant Charge. Okay, we don't have Prime Catcher, so we have to find Boss if we're trying to win. Um, so Ultra might as well grab Pal, right? You could change your name, really. Okay, so let's see here, here, here. I think we leave energy. Wait, hold up. No, we shiver chills first. We shiver chills first. Two water. We have lightning. How many burnable cards? There's not enough burnable cards for me to do this first. Oh, you submit the ticket? Yeah. I mean, okay, I could submit a ticket, but I kind of don't want to submit a ticket for that. I think we go. Attach one and sizers four. I don't I actually don't think that was correct. Oh, well, we can also just hit boss Never punished Never punished GG's um, Oh, can I thank you That last energy totally mattered trust <laughs> Yeah, GG's um, Yeah, cool this puts us at what five, eight, eight and four. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> the only thing I've eaten today was like the one piece of bread I ate on stream, and then I had a little bit uh, to eat right before the stream. I did not expect to be sitting here for six hours today, but I also didn't think we were playing phase two. Um. All right, we got two matches left. I don't think we're ever having time to play a, um, a ladder game. So here's what we're going to do, chat. We're going to take a look at current standings going to this round. We've got an, an Ancient Box running around here that is two Fluttermane. That is less Fluttermane than the usual lists, though. So that is a, a thumbs up, although this card just shouldn't be here. Um, triple Countercatcher is good. Four Gear is kind of nice, actually. Kind of vibe with that. One Patch... One superior. I actually don't dislike superior. Why has been net sick? Um, nine two. That's a great question. Let's take a look at the net list. This is just a, a standard net list. No Salvatore or anything. This is actually just the old old format net list. <laughs> Right? Like, we have the Tomb. We probably don't need Tomb. Well, maybe for can... Mm, no, we beat Control anyway without Tomb, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not exactly Mateus' 60. Uh, obviously, there's a Hero's Cape and Buddy Poffins in here, but... I mean, it, it is not that far off. <laughs> and and uh, Cypher Maniac, of course. Um... Yeah, this deck seems well-positioned. I mean, no, no Salvatore is odd but i mean it makes sense right um it makes sense because if you're not playing fish you have no way to find it and playing fish might just not be worth it so as that we got future hands a couple of those zard zard where are we on here yeah not not great oh we're like yeah <laughs> we're like not living um Interesting. Well, we go up after this round, and then what then? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm trying to figure out if we can make cut. I just don't think we can make cut. Right? I don't think we make cut here. What's this Jin Pal list? Now I'm curious. This is Eight Waters, Bundle, Double Code Breaker. Yeah, this seems fine. This seems good. I probably, I probably should be playing counter catch on my list, in all honesty. Up. 
All right, one list, uh, one game left. Who waiting for? Control player? Yes, no, maybe. Lugia versus Sablezard. And this is Sablezard hands. I'm gonna have to play that on a Friday stream. I'm gonna have to play that on a Friday stream chat. Uh, let me just close all this. That's gonna be fun though. I'm looking forward to trying that actually. I'll probably like figure out what I'm playing for EYC sometime Monday. Most likely won't leak it to the stream. Keep playing different stuff type of deal. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun. There's a lot of Japanese players doing really well. That's cool though. You made back your Reggie points? Dope. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we'll pull up here. Here's the list we're playing, by the way. Anyone tuning in now? Oy. Actually, chat, I should grab some water. Um, I'll let you guys stare at my 60. I'll be back in like literally just a second. I'm just gonna grab some water and then round should be up pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. All right, how are we doing, guys? Uh, is round up? Yes, it is. Let's check in. All right, what are we playing against here? Oh, we're playing against Aspathra. Um, this seems like a good matchup, but the scissor is scary. Okay, interesting. Let's see, my opponent's checked in. Well, it looks like it just went up, so good timing on my end, I guess. Uh, I dug through my fridge to find anything that you know, remotely resembled food that I didn't have to cook. And, uh, well, I have a block of cheese. Um, now, it's, it's not like, I'm not like raw dogging cheddar or anything, but uh, <laughs> it's, um, it's like an aged Travati, which is actually just a, a cheddar, so maybe I should shut up. Um, but yeah, um... Got a nice, a nice cheese here. Uh, I'm gonna sit here and be very fancy and European. Um, 
That's on this on this Wednesday on this Wednesday night. <laughs> gonna go snack on some cheese. It was on sale, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna treat myself to some fancy cheese, right? Um, do you think locals or late night are better training? Um, it depends on your local scene, right? But if your locals are just casuals and beginners, then probably late night. You should go to both, though, realistically. I will not devour the cheese. I, I will savor it, okay? I will enjoy this nice block of... What is it again? What am I eating? This is a... This is a mature cheddar. Okay, so it is... I am actually just eating cheddar, okay? But it's a mature cheddar, okay? This is adult cheese. <laughs> Oh god, no one should actually be taking me seriously. Um, what was her name? It was sports fan. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Um, I'll just wait for them to log back in. <clears throat> yep, stack and cheese. In the U.S., a lot of locals are Wednesday and Sundays. Yeah, that checks out. My local league in um when I lived in the U.S. was Sunday, which was a, a, really a shame because I couldn't attend it that often. Was live glitching because I can see the blue thing up here, but I can't see that they're. Yeah, I have to. I have to restart. No, oh, and it came up. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Stuttgart incident? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> but thank you, Model Zero. I appreciate it. Mm. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my mature cheddar. Do I sound fancy yet? Posh, if you're so inclined. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I say something like that? Probably. Better than enjoying an immature cheddar? Yeah, that's called American cheese. <laughs> no. I love the Midwest. We had some pretty good cheese, I'm not gonna lie. We're spoiled for good, uh, for good dairy in Denmark, though. It's really not comparable. <laughs> Ooh. Well. Alright, we're going first. We're going to South Path, all right? Um, let me pull up their list real quick. It's probably just like a Shen Pao star angle, right? I don't know what else we'd want to do here. Is it better than... I'm not trying to pronounce that, but probably is, because Danish cheese is goaded. Bet there's a lot less lactose intolerance in Denmark? I don't actually know. Um, that is not something I can claim to have done any amount of research on. It might be true, but I, I frankly would not be the guy to ask. Um, yeah, we go here... I mean, this isn't, like, this isn't bad, but it's not exactly what I deem an optimal start here. Um, we might have to go next turn, do, like, an Earth and Vessel Away Lightning Whiff type of deal to draw more cards off the barrel. If we find out to Max Caliber, this hand is nice, but until then, we're not doing a whole lot. You know? Yeah, that checks out. Well, I think, I mean, okay, I'm no doctor. I know, I know jack shit about this, but in my head, it makes sense that if you eat something, meet something from an early age, you grow a tolerance to it, right? That makes sense to me, but I don't know. 
Also, I have never seen a juicier Greninja kill to Scyth uh, Scyther in my life. Um, this Surely this is always just Irida for Bax Ninja. Bax Nestball Ninja, I should say. Yeah, that, that seems optimal here. We have the energies because of Vessel. Bax, Nest Ball. Nest Ball, Ninja. <clears throat> Candy, Bax. Um, we have enough energies to use Concealed Cards, so I think we will, right? I mean, we might as well. We have two, but we have the Vessel. I'm going to toss the Iono because we have the Pal Pad. And then we go Concealed Cards. Um, and I guess Nest Ball is fine for Bidoof. <clears throat> I'll do Pal Pad for now, and then I'll go Super Cold. Three to Greninja, wipe the ciphers off the board, leave my kitty cat alone. And I think we're just chilling. Alright, what's what are we talking about? Lactose. Number guys, one of the lowest lactose intolerance in the world. 36 US, 4% Denmark, 85 in China. I guess that makes sense. I guess a lot of people in Oh no, this is that's true. I have heard about this. Um in East Asia, I think there's a lot more people who are lactose intolerant because people just don't grow up drinking milk, right? Which makes sense, right? But still. All right, that's your um, that's your fun fact of the day. <laughs> Drink your milk for real. I don't know, man. I just want to be able to eat my cheese in peace. I'm a I'm a big uh, big fan of cheese. Hmm. Not like a put it on everything, but enjoy it in um, smaller smaller quantities. Oh. Even though 85% of China is lactose intolerant, they are the world's largest dairy importer. <laughs> okay, that is that is pretty funny. Uh, I'm sure there's like an actual reason for that, but it does not make it less entertaining, right? Oh. They are prime capturing a Bidoof. Okay, that looks like a stall tactic if I've ever seen one. Yep. Um... Okay, so let's do Irida. And I we really just want two burnable cards, right? Like that's all we're doing here. Oh god, no, Phillips here. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's so over, chat. Pack it up. <laughs> Pack it up. Oh, yeah. How are we doing, Flip? Why are you awake at this hour? I thought I thought the children were put to bed by now. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that's some burnable cards. Sure. Uh, yeah, I don't need those. You're on vacation. Oh, right. That makes sense. That checks. I will retreat to my beaver. Um, and I will move my shuriken, the cipher, because it is still the number one threat, and the flittle with all the energies. And I think we just kind of win here, right? Like, there's just no way we lose from this position, surely. Surely we just can't lose from this position.
Also, wow, the bit limiter has to go up. <laughs> that's that's on my to-do list for tomorrow. That's on my to-do list for tomorrow. Limit bits to like, I don't know, 50 probably. You mean, what am I playing against? Bro, it's this Pathra. And they're bricking. All right, yeah, we have pretty much game, right? Uh, yeah, we go super cold, two energies, and a superior energy retrieval. Greninja game, right? Oh, hello, thank you. <laughs> and we should just be winning. Yep, GG's. Philip, I will ban you from chat. You gotta calm down. <laughs> I will I will ban you from chat if you keep spamming that. Okay? Other people have to be here too, man. Alright. Uh yeah, so that was um that was a quick and dirty affair. I guess we take those though. Um I have an Aspathra Scyther deck in the kitchen right now, but I don't use Zatu. I just toolbox with effective glasses. That's interesting. I think Aspathra Scyther low key kind of seems like a cool combo. Um, like it's not, it's a little too gimmicky for me to like consider for EYC right now. But again, like it's, it's worth keeping in mind for like later down in the format. Partially genetic parental exposure. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, new products with, lasto with lactose have... Mm. So I don't know a lot about that stuff, but I have heard of that. Or basically, like, if your parents... Um, have, like, have a lot of lactose. I guess specifically your mom has a lot of lactose. Um, during pregnancy, I think. It also might affect stuff, but... We've talked a lot about milk and dairy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once the format really established and you're going against Zard, Lugia, Chin Power every game, it's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, and Lost Box. Um, you're going to be playing against more Lost Zone ducks than any of those three. I promise you that much. Mm, let's try hands. But yeah, we'll see. I think this is going to be another very open meta. Like the type of thing where you have to be ready to prepare for upwards of six decks, right? D-Shaper, I am not reading that out loud. I am, I am not reading that out loud. You almost got me, but I will not read that out loud. <laughs> I mean, this path route probably has a good Lost Box matchup, right? Like, if you get Ninja too early, it's rough, but... Otherwise, it's fine. Is two at a time fine? Not really. <laughs> it's just a sound's annoying, so don't spam it. That's all. <laughs> Hmm. Says they're just crazy against Shin Pao. Exactly. That's why I killed the Cyphers. <laughs> All right. Um. Techno Radar, Away Boulder, Double Crown. Oh, actually, maybe. Mm, no, wait. Double Crown is fine here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Booster. I'm going to go Gift, um, and then I am going to boss up the Bidoof. And we're going to go Peak Acceleration, and basically we're going to go try to do a a 1-2-3 one, um, one, prize trade, right? Alright, with that I've ended the pain. Thank you, Philip. I, um, I would like to thank you for your... Um, 
very long-winded uh, 100 bits. They are greatly appreciated. <laughs> F for Zora Box, for real. I wish Zora Box had a chance to, like, really be good. There was just never a good time for Zora Box, unfortunately. The Lost Tina players are going crazy right now. In late night, or what? Oh, I cannot pronounce that name. Um, Sush Labels? Uh, yeah, I butchered the hell out of that. I'm so sorry, man. But thank you so much for the Prime sub. It's greatly appreciated. It's greatly appreciated, man. All right. They Code Breakered here. Interesting. The Elixir A spec have been broken. Uh, mm, maybe, not, maybe not quite broken, but it would have been a lot better. That'd be a good ace back for the deck. It's German nickname, don't worry. No, okay, that's fair. Okay, well, if, if I knew it was German, I'd probably try to pronounce it better, but uh, my German's terrible. I just had mandatory German in school, right? <laughs> yep. Can I make more use of channel plans? We were talking about this earlier, Philip. Um, that will be coming. I promise. I know I've said that for a long time, but I promise it will actually happen. Is that, look okay, the last card in their hand is Superior Energy Retrieval. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, I guess they have no cards in hand, right? Well, okay, they're going to have one energy, but still. Yeah. <laughs> they did to me what I did to my hand's opponents in, um... Yeah. Oh. Uh, in late night. There we go. We need. Oh, we want to gamble. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I should have promoted hands. That's that's a blunt. Well, actually, no. I go. I go arm press this. So this is fine. Um. Let's do. How much am I doing? Yeah. So we go crown, Arvin. Generator, wait, no. Booster, tech, that's the Techno Radar, Christian. You're doing great. Um, future Booster. We go Radar, I don't know, probably. Uh, grab Hands Bundle. Keep Bundle in hand for now. Generator, let's go. Um... Let's attach a booster capsule to it. And then... Actually, okay. Booster to Iron Crown will probably be better there. Well, it should be fine regardless, though. Source Bro Trust. <laughs> oh, for real. Yeah. That's true. Actually, I don't even know if I can make it so that you can, like, gamble channel points on my, um, on my channel. Because you're not allowed to do it in Denmark. So, I don't know if I can set it up as a Danish streaming, uh, streamer. Hi, Venom. How we doing? How we doing, Venom? <coughs> Something in my throat. Besides cheese. <laughs> I'm actually reaching the point where I'm just straight up having a block of cheese for dinner. Mm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm really hoping they release the world date soon. Because Hawaii is expensive, right? Like, it's pretty unreasonable it's gone this long without world states. I am not doing a gambling stream. If I did, Big Pikachu would be very mad at me. Hmm. Okay, Techno Radar isn't doing us anything. Uh, Arvin. 
generator booster capsule. Let's do Poke Gear, Thin That, Radar, Thin That, Generator. Easy. I will amp you very much for 220 damage. <laughs> Easy. 666 game points to move to kick and do crypto slot stream. I did. I don't think you could pay me enough money to do that. I'd actually rather just not. I would actually rather just not. <laughs> bring, P bring PF or a gambling stream? We're not gambling, chat. No gambling. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we have one game we're waiting for. As far as, um... As far as next round is concerned. Let's see, what's the pairing we're waiting for? It seemed... Oh, and it's done. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, in which case, we should be starting any second now. I need to go to Hawaii for Worlds to go 03 drop for the minimum amount of money, bro, for real. <laughs> nah, bro, just win. Trust. <laughs> uh... Alright. What are we playing against here? Ooh, this is straight up future box. Well, okay. I say that, but there's really not that much else going on. This is cool though. This looks cool. Let's uh let's send them a let's send them a friend request. <coughs> Ugh. Venom, we're not doing a gambling stream, okay? Although we might have to do a kitchen group trip to Vegas sometime when you're turn 18. <laughs> that sounds fun. Kitchen vlog in Vegas? No. I think the big Pikachu in the sky would be very mad at us. Oh, sorry. My bad. 21 for all you freedom loving Americans out there. <laughs> I can't even go to Vegas. Oh god. I just, yeah, I just had to be reminded that you have to be 21 to drink in the US. I actually forgot. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. Sucks to suck, I guess. This is the last round, right? I think so. Yeah, this is the last round. I don't think we're making cut, so we are just kind of vibing. <sighs> Great now I feel old again. <laughs> Unlucky. I just, okay, I just turned 20. To be entirely fair. You, Canada, couldn't even imagine. For real. Well, like, in Europe, the drinking culture is that you pretty much start when you're, like, 14, 15, depending on the country, right? Um, that doesn't apply to everyone. No one is forced to drink by any means. But it's just very normalized here, right? So. What is Canada sounds kind of made up. Fuck. <laughs> you just turned 32? I mean, that's not bad. You'd be older. Listen, if you're younger than my dad, you're still young, okay? That's how that works. Wait, 10-4 is bubble cut? I don't know. Not to my knowledge. 
I don't expect to be playing more Pokemon after this game. I am fully expecting this to be the last game. Um, yeah. Yeah, 14th. That's when I started drinking and going to parties and shit. Like, that's because that's, that's the norm in Denmark, right? Like, it doesn't mean you have to at that age. Wow, they're benching a lot of stuff. You don't have to at that, at that age. No one that's forcing you, but... Um, it's, it's pretty common, right? America could never. <laughs> America could never. House of Mana, then what is, um... What is Toronto? Is Toronto not real? All the deaths when half the people in the US are not as legal. Yeah. Well, so it's, it's normalized in Europe, but it's also safe to do at that age, right? I think that's, that's the real kicker. It's actually safe. Um, because it's normalized right like the country's kind of built to handle it right you're not really getting in trouble you're not put in a position where you can actually fuck up your life so all right enough about alcohol let's talk about chin pal um i'm trying to probably just trying to end my turn with the chin pal the active right realistically that seems pretty good um in which case we're doing Poffin Chin Pao, right? Poffin Chin Pao just seems safe here. Um, we'll retreat away the lightning, just kind of get rid of it. Uh, and then we go Poffin, uh, Double Friggy. We go Shivery Chills. Double water. Nest ball for Greninja. That's fine, I guess. Uh, and then I think we passed the turn here. So basically my opponent really isn't doing that much, right? I don't expect to get hit by the hands. I expect to get hit by Maridon. <clears throat> and then we can either respond with hands or we can gust, right? So we have options. We have options going into next turn, which is good. <sighs> uh, let me check. Like as my oh wait, it's bundle. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Take my Greninja. Um, uh, let's check pairing. So. 11 2 1, 11 2 1, 10 2 2, 10 2 2. Okay, technically, I think it is possible for a 10 4 to make it. I just don't ever think that's us based on resistance, but I mean, I guess we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. Are they knocking us out? Nope, they're not. Cool. It says like if we lose to make sure we miscut. <laughs> that is a that is a great way of describing it, Venom. What should I plan second late night? I have like okay. Um play whatever you want, man. I'm gonna be real. This meta's pretty open, it's pretty fun. Just pick a deck that looks fun and go with it. Like, that's boring advice, but it's probably the best I can give. Also, I think we just have hands knock out here, right? Yeah, we do, uh, which is kind of cool. So let's go Candy Backs. Um, yeah, we go Candy Backs here. And then we go... Uh, this hand is super weird. There's way too many Retrievals and Ultra Balls in this hand. How, many, how much hand disruption am I opponent playing? They're playing two Iono, nothing else. Hmm. Interesting. 
I think what we do is we go superior. Let me double check. Yeah, four way fine. Uh, we go superior. Wait, these two. Grab all the energies we need to amp, and then we hold double superior ultra ball, and then next turn we ultra ball from a barrel, right? And we kind of play from there. Um... Oh, I retrieve. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Oh, dude. That, oh, dude. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, chat. I think that's the end. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> uh, this is what seven hours of Pokemon does to you? For real. For real, Mooncake. Yeah, okay. I just, I let my, I've been, I've been so, like, up on it, like, the entire day, right? Like, I've been keeping it in mind as well. Like, okay, I have to, you know, actively remember to use Super Cold when we're doing stuff with Iron Hands, right? Like, I've been, uh, I've been thinking about it all day, right? Um, but of course you let you let it slip at the wrong time and just like that you fuck up the game right ah that's a shame oh well i mean just you know there's not stakes right but i i can go here and be a bit a bit salty at myself if they, if they don't do anything we're kind of still winning right but realistically that's not what's gonna happen here but i don't know they need to have a generator well they could also go are they killing with arm press no they're kill they're currently not Killing with arm press. Okay, well that's not a bad shot. So where are we going? We're going Crime Catcher. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's the line. Uh sure, we should be able to respond for that, right? Also, we have energy on on hands. Um and I think what we do is we go Chin Pow promotion. Um and then we do this, probably. And then we bib and we try to draw something here. Mm, that is completely useless. Um, Palpad, actually no, Palpad's not useless. Palpad gives us more outs in deck to Iono, right? Yeah, that's still called an Irida Christian. All right, it's officially past my bedtime. <laughs> It is officially past my bedtime, and it's just not, because I'm going to go to sleep in like two hours anyway, but I should go to sleep earlier, um, and that's whiff. Okay, well, I mean, they're not knocking us out, right? But we're not exactly set up for success here. Um, that's, that's not smart. That was not smart. That was just not smart. That should have been a fridge of backs. Okay, um... And we're passing here and we're kind of just hoping we survive the turn right yeah yeah this is not this has not been played um particularly well i guess that's what fatigue does to you right listen there's a reason my normal streams are only four hours okay <laughs> there's a reason they're normally only four hours oh well lightning active cool are we bossing Home store. Nope. That's fine. I mean, the line is still amp into amp. Um. But we have acquired win conditions, right? I mean, it can't be worse than the actual tournament for real. Uh, let's do. Yeah, let's do poke stop. That's fine. That's completely okay. Um, I am a bot. There was no Bexcalibur in my deck. Uh, heard a dirty, dirty, dirt. Um, shivery chills. I am actively just throwing this game. Um, like every turn I'm throwing. I'm still, okay, I still have the knockout without, um, there's the rod, Iona. Mm, how are we going about this? Christian <laughs> Scoop, No. I refuse. 
I will not scoop this game. Watch. I will never be punished, and I will go... Um, yeah, I'll Iono into the sauce. Source? Grow trust. Oh, we still knock out the hands, though, right? Because we manually attach to the cat twice. So we don't actually need to hit it this turn. It's winnable. You just gotta believe. Chat, do you believe in the power of friendship? <clears throat> Do you believe in the power of friendship, chap? Uh, okay, can I, like, attach my energies properly? Holy, there we go. Do you believe in the power of friendship? Friendship? Friendship. I cannot even speak anymore. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna clutch this game, okay? We're gonna clutch this game. <laughs> Heart of the card. Trust. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. They're gonna amp our Chin Pao, right? That's within our expectations, okay? They amp the Chin Pao... We amp their Maridon, okay? We amp their Maridon. They can't knock out the Iron Hands. We win the game. Brilliant. Mind-blowing strategy, chat. They'll never see it coming. They'll never see it coming. We do not play Vacuum. Why'd you get 300? That's a great question. I don't know. Um, I thought I needed five energies. I did not. Countercatcher. Uh... Hmm. I mean, <laughs> is Draven anything to try? Can I? Okay, I want to check if I can rob my opponent of this game. Hold up, let me cook. Let me cook, chat. Let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> the, pro the power of friendship is useless. <laughs> the power of friendship lied to me, chat. This Bidoof should never... Okay, I can name at least five points in this game where I actively threw. Um, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Is that copium? Maybe it is. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Why? Because we have uh, the new, the new and improved power of friendship. <laughs> we have uh, the power of friendship's uh, older brother. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have booster. Oh, it's Jover. Um. Oh, okay. Well, at least let me scoop. Yeah. No. Okay. I give. That's it. It's it. You know what? I'm packing it up, chat. I'm packing it up. The brain's too fried. I, um, you know what? Frankly, that was just like among the straight up worst games of Pokemon I think I've ever played in my life. But what did we learn, chat? Don't misplay. That's a that's a great life lesson to take away from this. Okay. Um. Well, as it seems, my brain is officially fried, and uh, we are out of the tournament. I think this is as good a time as any to end today's streams. So thank you guys. Yeah, this is the last round. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming out today. It's been a great time. Bigger stream than usual. Uh, love to see it. Streamed a bit later. Uh, caught a couple of the uh, the NA audience. It's been a great time meeting a lot of you. Uh, having you guys hang around. It's been fun. Check out my streams on the regular, right? If you're, uh, you know, looking, um, looking for something a little more uh, European sleep schedule based, right? Um... And I still can't pronounce that. Uh, Shuff Slabs? That's the closest I'm getting. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Mooncake. Love to see it. Love to see it. Thank you so much, man. All right. Yeah, that's it for today, though. It's been fun. It's been a good time. Bigger stream. Love to see it. Uh, Schlapp Ass. That's how I'm pronouncing it. <laughs> got it. Um... You got it. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out today. It's been great. It's been really fun. Uh, longer stream than usual, but you know what? That's fine. That happens, right? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of buttons down below. You can go click them. They do. They all do cool stuff. Or you don't click them. I really can't force you, you know? But they're cool. That was a bunch more, you know, American... More more American people here. I can't speak. I really should go to sleep. Uh, go check out 88 Card House, right? A bit more local to some of you, maybe. Um, there's a link down below to the Kitchen Affiliate link. Go click on it. 
buy some stuff or don't. I mean, I, I can't force you, right? But it is cool. You can go click on it and uh, figure out for yourself, right? With that being said, that's it for today, guys. Next stream will be on Friday at 1 p.m. European Central Time. European Central Time. I'm blurring my words at this point. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, stay tuned. Not stay tuned. Check in. Not I. You guys know what I'm trying to say, okay? I'm getting lost in the sauce here. The words aren't wording. Uh, the mouth isn't mouthing. Um, <laughs> but you're 1 p.m. European Central Time on Friday. Be there. It's going to be a good time. With that being said, chat, um, good night. I need to go to sleep. Um, it is officially like midnight in two, hour, two minutes. Um, so that's going to be it for me today. Uh, so, yeah. Bye.